At ease, soldiers. Good day to everyone. Sergeant Fury here. Tuesday, the 28th. October. Three days till Halloween. You know, you probably won't be going out trick-or-treating this year. Sort of sucks, but... I know some people are going to try, so... Be careful out there. Trick-or-treating land. Huh. Why is like I have no audio? Oh, you know why? I think I know why. Cause Good morning, Thomas Lee. Did you survive yesterday without me? I was over on Twitch. If you don't see me here, you should always check Twitch. Just to let you know. You might find me running around over there, man. Doing the Twitchy thing. I got your Wi-Fi fixed, Thomas. It's good, because you were freaking out the other day over that shit, man. Thank God. Yeah, you were, you were having some Wi-Fi issues, that's for sure there, bro. Well, glad that's taken care of. Shit there, son. Blow your shit up too, dickhead. Huh. Penis erectus. Last sight. I was playing Red Dead for a while yesterday. Yeah, I streamed on Twitch all day, man, because I, I gotta start streaming on Twitch because I got people that follow me over there. So if I don't stream over there, and, you know, I guess I'm gonna have to start like switching every other day. So you're just gonna have to figure out how to, how to watch me on Twitch. It's easy, just go to twitch.tv forward slash USA Sergeant Missouri. So. <coughs> That's not hard to get to. She's able to get their computer fixed because she you knows computers acting up and she can't game right now for some stupid reason. Well, her biggest problem is she wants to keep installing Windows again when she has a problem and she doesn't solve anything. That's like the stupidest thing to do. Every time you have a computer problem, you don't reinstall Windows. Like, you're not, 
that's stupid. Because what's going to happen is you're going to load up the fucking software that's causing the problem, and you're going to have the problem again. So Windows isn't the cause. It's whatever software she's got on. She's putting software on her system, and that's what's causing the computer to crash. In that sense, because it was working perfect, and then she started. Then she decided to change motherboards and CPU, and that's when she started having problems because you got to load up the right drivers and all that shit for the new motherboard. And so it's basically, what started this whole fucking thing is because she decided to change, and I kept telling her not to. I even said, if you're gonna change, don't go, to, don't switch brands. Just stick with that fucking Intel. You know, you know. Now she learned. Now she said, okay, now I learned my lesson. I'm never gonna use AMD again. I'm like, see, didn't I tell you? You know, it's like, don't. She, her system. If your system's working good, don't fuck with it. Just leave it the fuck alone. So I told her, I said, just don't change your motherboard. Just change your CPU. If you're gonna put a faster CPU on that motherboard and more memory, I said put a faster CPU, another 16 gigs of RAM, and if anything, buy a better video card, get a 2088. They're like dropped in price because everybody wants a 3000. They go to NVIDIA or 5800 ATI or. <sighs> she got fucking silly and decided to start getting into shit that she shouldn't get into. Plus, she's running the SSD drive. Which games don't like to fucking run off of SSDs, and she's got she's got everything wrong. She's doing everything fucking wrong with her computer. Everything that I, I tell people not to do, she's done everything. It's like she just wants to compound the issue. So now she's frustrated. She's pulling her hair out because her computer's not working. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna say I told you so, but you know I mean? man's got to know his limitations, man. As Clint would say. So, this is the problem, man. It's like, you gotta realize she doesn't know what she's doing. First time, she's not a computer tech. So, that's, you're gonna have to just like defer to people that know what they're doing. And, because, like I said, I'd have had her shit up and running, but she won't listen. She's stubborn sometimes. But we'll get her shit up and working eventually. Sooner or later, she'll fucking come on. There she is, see? Feeling sad and free? <laughs> Why? Okay, did you get your list miles and start finding out what's going on with your fucking computer, man? Since you're all depressed about that goddamn thing. So I feel bad too, because I wanted to help you last night. I was so fucking tired, I couldn't stay awake. But we're going to make you, if you want to be a computer tech, then you're going to learn the right fucking way. You're not going to be half-assing and going off on your own. You can do exactly what I say and then it's going to not deviate. So we can get shit fixed. Ha. Huh. Oh, I want you to know. That's why I think about you, because I want you to show up. This is exactly what I want. Are you kidding I don't want the opposite. I want you to show up. Kitty. That's exactly what I want. Sir, yes, sir. There you go. Now you're fucking starting to talk like a goddamn fucking soldier. That's what I'm fucking talking about, sis. Okay, so anyways, beyond all this frustration that we're both feeling today, what's going on? This, this, are we any closer to getting your fucking PC working? What's up, Gundam? Let's, let's, let's figure this out. I know. Kitty and I want you to show up. I was hoping you'd be here first thing this morning for me already. 
You know, I can't start my day without GT Devil, you know that, right? If I don't get a fix of my sis in the morning, I'm just like a cranky motherfucker, man. No, no, man, I don't want to fucking hear all this good fucking bad news, bad for you and me both bullshit, man. No, I don't want to hear that shit. Fuck that bad fucking bullshit crap, woman. You might as well fucking tell me, man, and get it over with, right? <sighs> Jesus Christ. I need to get fucking laid, man. That's what I need. I need some sex. I'm not some goddamn fucking virtual fucking prostitute in my fucking car. Okay, so what's 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 happening now, sis? You might as well fucking tell me. Get this shit over with. What's up, London? All right, we've got that Bahama. Hello, this is Agatha. The cas yeah, I know Miss Baker, man. Chill out. Hi there, this is Bryony from. Well, you didn't have to feel bad about me helping you with the fucking internet to begin with. It's called a donation. You don't, you don't have to feel bad about that. So now what happens? Shit. <sighs> well, you're just dragging this shit out this morning, man. Thanks. You heard a loud pop. What do you mean you heard a loud pop? Even if you don't have a video card in the computer, it still should turn on with the power supply, she devil. If the computer doesn't turn on, then yeah, then you fucked up your power supply. But you can't fuck up the power supply. In other words, if the, if the power supply goes bad, it's not going to burn up the video card, the GPU. That's impossible. It's not even going to burn up the motherboard. It's just a capacitor is going to pop inside the power supply, and then that's it. Now, in fact, you probably smell the power supply, and you'll smell it. There's a capacitor that popped in there and burned. Yeah, okay. So, so your problem all along was you had a bad power supply is what your problem was. But now you need to get a hold of Coolmaster and RMA that power supply back to Coolmaster now. You be, you're gonna be good RMA tech for me, man. You're gonna know how to RMA up the motherfucker. You're gonna know how to do all the RMA me. I'm just gonna tell people, here, contact my my um, representative here over in India and she's gonna take all your pertinent information to help you with your RMA. You're going to be my RMA assistant. I'm going to defer everybody to you. All the emails to you I get for RMA and products. You're going to be my RMA expert from now on. So you know that that's what it was. It was your power supply. Is what it was. I had a feeling that that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. You might even have a counterfeit power supply. I don't know where you bought, bought that power supply at. What was it? You'll be rich? Well, you'll be you'll be making money, but you'll be tired of dealing with all the frickin' people and answering all their questions about where their shit is and what's wrong and why can't you fix it over the phone. So you, you, you might make some money, but you're gonna be a little frustrated too. You're gonna be tired of how the fuck Sarge does this for a living, man. Don't. <laughs> like he's like crazy doing this crap for 30 years. Yeah, so anyways, so today you're going to get a hold of, um, or today, well, it's already evening for you. So you already got a hold of Coolmaster? 
So you can army that power supply back to Cool Master. Because I know it has a one year warranty on that power supply. What's up, Bogey? Imagine that's what you're gonna that's your next option. See me, I gotta take that fucking rockets off the top of the truck after I get my three hundred thousand dollars back from Rockstar for having me out of warranty? How can that power supply be out of warranty? You just bought that, didn't you? You just bought that power supply. It's got a one year warranty on it. Or is that the one your sister bought you for your birthday? Remember your sister bought, that was last year, year before last. Maybe that was two years ago that she bought that for your birthday. Maybe that was two years ago. I remember that when she bought that for that power supply for you. Yeah, well, that's what it was. I know it was a gift. I remember, I remember. Was that your old computer that she got the power? I remember your sister bought the power supply for you for your birthday. One, one of your computers. So anyways, you know what the problem is, right? Your power supply was bad. And now you need to get a 750 anyways. A 750 or an 850. That 650s, like I said, I'm worried about, I have a 650 in mine. You know, that's like nominal, man, on our, fi our, our 580s and fi RX 580, 590. That's about the least you can run as a, as a 650 because your motherboard's drawing power. So that's the problem, man. You can't go too low. And the more crap you put in your system, then the more it's going to drop. You got an SSD drive, you got a regular drive, you know, they all start pulling power. Oh, so it wasn't a brand new one. It was an old one anyways. All right. Well, at least we know what the problem is. And so how come I don't have to help you with your internet? Okay, well, you gonna get sponsored by that company? Marketing. The one that said they were talking really? about an internet deal? They're gonna like be a sponsor or something? Gaming sponsor? Anything, you should hit that internet company up and have them provide you with a computer. I believe that's what you were talking about, that these people approached you about giving you a better plan. Cause that's all you need. You just need a sponsor, man. That would help your situation out a lot. Me, I can't get one. There's too many fucking people over here in the United States, man. They got bigger, better tests than I have. Uh, my tits aren't big enough. If I had bigger titties and my chest wasn't hairy, I could probably get some good sponsors over here, but. I'm just not sporting a nice rat. That's all. That's the problem, man. Sarge so ain't got a good rack. So my tatas are too small, man. Oh, oh, so, so that's it. You're just not gonna buy a power supply again. You just are made a motherboard and a CPU that you're gonna get back. So what are you gonna do? Just let them sit there? Fine, I'll drop another fifty dollars on your fucking PayPal so you can go buy a fucking power supply today, man. Then you won't have an excuse to not go buy a power supply. You keep it up, I'm gonna put five hundred dollars on that fucking account so you can buy a whole brand new fucking computer, man. So this way you'll have no damn excuse to not play and you'll quit dicking around trying to build them yourself. I know you're trying to save money, but look in the long run and it's costing you more money to dick around these things. Even though you're learning. I mean, that's how I learned, the same way you're learning, by effing them up. But, because I guarantee you, you did something wrong. When you were putting that motherboard in there, you fucked up your computer. Whether you want to admit it or not. Because everything was working perfect until you stuck your hands inside there and started sticking around. So I know you shorted something out. So you got to be real careful when you get your shit back and you put everything back together again. No dicking around, no jewelry on, 
You probably got them damn bangles on your wrists, like I said. You probably got a shitload of bangles on your wrist and rings and you probably and then you touch something inside of there and that was it, man. You messed up the computer. Silly. <laughs> No, you're not, sis. Oh, 100 megawatts, half the price, but it's still 1,500, it's very good. Yeah, but 100 megs, that was nice, that's nice. Dude. So let's go that route, Key Devil. The 25 bucks a month will cover that. So all you gotta do now is get a power supply. So work on getting a power supply. Then when you get all the components back, we're gonna make sure that you put it together correctly this time. That you don't short anything out. That you got proper lighting. You're not trying to fucking do it by candlelight. Or kerosene lamp or some bullshit. That you touch the case when you open up each bag. That you got the... See, like I said, this you're doing shit wrong. I, I know what you're doing because, I again, I made the same mistake, G-Devil. You know I've been doing this for 30 years. So you know how many computers I've effed up by accident? So... Don't beat yourself up, but it's not as easy putting the computers together as what people think. You know what I mean? That's why all these people have problems. Oh, you're not going to get a power supply in fucking five to six months. You're so full of fucking shit. You know what? I'm gonna, I just put $50 on there just now. So you're trying to tell me $50 fucking dollars U.S. You can't go out and buy a fucking power supply? You are so full of shit, man. Go bullshit somebody else, man. I'm not in a fucking mood this morning, T Devil. Go bullshit somebody else. But you can't go buy a fucking power supply today for fifty fucking dollars US. You know how much that is in fucking ruples? Jesus fucking Christ, man. You know what? <sighs> Drive me crazy, sis. Drive me crazy. That's all I can say. You're going to give me a fucking heart attack. There's more places to get a power supply than Amazon, and it doesn't take five to six months to get power supplies. Uh, you and I both know you can get a power supply in India, man. Off of the fucking eBay in India. You can get a brand new power supply. You want me to go show you? You want me to go to eBay India and pull up a power supply right now? Man, you were just like stubborn this morning, man. No, don't give me this bullshit. You can't get a power supply for five or six months. That's like, you and I, that's like, you can go get a power supply today. You can order one today and have it shipped. There's no eBay in India? All right, well. There's, there's lots of stores in India that sell power supply. India is a big fucking country. There's no mother effing way you're trying to tell me they don't sell power supplies in India. Oh my God, it's like the IT tech hub of the effing fucking world. There's more IT companies in India than any other place in the world. So how are they working on computers, she devil? What, the, they're all just sitting around with no power supplies? Oh my god, we all have to wait five or six months for fucking Amazon to send us power supplies. Really? In the whole country of India, you can't buy a power supply anywhere in India. Over 100 million people. One third of all the tech companies in the freaking world, but she devil can't, you can't get a power supply anywhere in the whole country. Wow, you know what? BS somebody else, man. It's bad enough Glendam at 16 is coming here bullshitting me. You're in your fucking 30s and you're trying to bullshit me. Wow, oh, man. Okay. 
What do you mean you don't trust local shops? Then go to a big city and buy one from a big city. There's no big cities in India. <laughs> she devil, please, okay? I'm going to put the money on your account. You do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. You can sit there and spend it on whatever. You can pay guys to water your fields. You can buy diesel fuel, whatever. I just want to hear the bullshit that you don't have the money and that you can't get a power supply. Okay? So don't trip on me, man. Figure out how to get one. And then when you get one, you get the parts back. We'll put everything together the correct way together. And you're going to stop installing Windows every time your computer has a hiccup. You're not going to sit there and reinstall Windows. Because you know why? This is why you're effing up. Because first off, you can't run everything on an SSD drive. For some reason, you're one of these stubborn people that think they know everything. Oh, I got an SSD. This is why you have problems. You put a regular fucking hard drive in your computer, had one hard drive with everything loaded on it like the normal world, you'd be okay. But every little, every pussy that whines on fucking Reddit, you know what they're whining about? Oh, I got an SSD drive and oh, oh, it crashes and my games crash. And I, yeah, because you guys don't know what you're doing. Ubisoft will tell you you can't run your games off an SSD drive. Steam will tell you, you can't run your games off an SSD drive. And all the companies try to tell you guys that, but you know more than every... This is why I've been doing this professionally for 30 years. Do I have an SSD drive? No. You know why? Who gives a shit if your computer boots to the desktop in five seconds? Your games don't run any better. Period. Your games crash. My shit runs better on a 10-year-old. I can take my 10-year-old computer right now and run circles around all those guys. I got videos from five years ago doing ARM at 120 frames a second when these guys are dropping $1,500 on a 1080 video card and they can barely chunk out 32 frames. And I have video up doing 120 frames on a 10-year-old. Because you know why? You guys don't know what you're doing. You're amateurs, man. And you're trying to do what professionals do. Leave the work to the professional. Just bite the bullet, let somebody put your computer together for you, and stop mucking around with it. You're not a computer tech. You have more problems, she devil, in the time that I've known you with you dicking around your computer. Because you don't know, you can't build them. Stop trying to do shit, you know. It's like me getting into the ring and wanting to be a boxer. All of a sudden tomorrow, I'm going to go out and be a UFC cage fighter. I'm going to get my ass kicked because I'm not a boxer. You know that. It takes training, it takes dedication, plus it takes skill. You can burn the PC all you want. That's not going to stop me from putting money on your account. That's just silly. Okay, but she devil, you got to do something. You got to stop dicking around and dicking around your computer. When your computer has a hiccup, you don't have to reinstall Windows. This is, you, you are just so impatient. All you had to do is not do anything and wait till you got a hold of me. Hit me up on Discord. Say, hey man, my computer's acting up. Can we sit there and go over it? No. You fucking reinstall Windows and then what happens? You get a, you, you're, you know, you're, you're taking it apart and putting it together and, I mean, you got to stop doing this you're not you know what I mean and just enjoy your computer like everybody else in the world does you get it you just sit back it, you put the drivers on you do the windows updates and leave it alone man quit going in there mucking around with shit ah silly woman man see and I'm frustrated because you're my gaming buddy and you keep effing up you know what I mean? So I have nobody to game with. Except for a bunch of kids and crap who don't know what the hell they're doing half the time. Well, don't cry, sis. Please don't cry. I'm sorry if I'm making you cry. You know I love you and it's all good love. But damn it, you make me feel bad because you don't want you don't want to let me help you. You you're trying to show me that you can do it on your own, and I'm very proud of you. But it's, it's a lot more complicated and you can see that now. You know, it's very easy to get to this point where you get frustrated, right? And you're sitting there going, fuck, this is bullshit because now nothing's working right. 
you know, my power supply is messed up. I had to send away a motherboard, a CPU. Sarge is all freaking out on me on fucking on the stream, right? So I love you, man. So you know that, sis. You know I do. I'm sorry if I'm making you cry. I'll shut the fuck up. I don't mean to make you cry. I apologize. But let's just concentrate on getting your computer back together, okay? Let's just work on getting your power supply. Because if you get a power supply in there, and you'll be back up and running. I know your GPU is going to be okay. I had a feeling that that cool master power supply, that's where you're, you were having a problem, but I didn't know for sure because the fact that you, we didn't know if it was that new, the other motherboard or CPU was having an issue, right? Now we know it's the power supply. So at least we're on the same page, right? So let's just work on getting your power supply, period. But don't, don't, you're not gonna burn your PC and you're gonna let me help you, man. You know what I mean? This is what this is what it's all about. You know what I mean? I've known you since 2018, hey, and look at how many fucking hundreds of hours you put in helping me get shit done in video games. Hundreds of hours, not just a few hours, hundreds. So you trying to tell me all the hundreds of hours that you dedicated your time that you could have been off doing something else that you spent with me? That's not worth me giving you 25 bucks. Are you freaking crazy? That's like, I mean, you spent, what, 10 cents an hour? That's all your time is worth? A dollar an hour? Bullshit, man. You don't, your time is worth more than that to me. Your friendship is worth more than that to me. So, you know what I mean? And you know me, sis. How many video games have I bought for people since you've known me? I mean, I even had somebody I was gaming with, I paid for their, play scripts, their PlayStation subscription because they couldn't play anymore. So I paid for their subscription. I paid for their games. And what happened? I still got fucked over by them. When I introduced them to one of my friends and then they both started cheating behind my back. You know, so that's the result of me trying to be nice to somebody who I cared about. I got stabbed in the fucking back after I paid for all her shit. You know, the other day I helped out Jupiter. Jupiter, you know, because you know how she likes to do all that shit. And she had a problem with one of her accounts because she's a modder and she got in trouble. So she had to start all over again. So I paid 10 bucks and bought her a criminal starter pack. So this way she could, um, you know, have all that property and try to do that stuff legal. I didn't mind spending the 10 bucks and I figured, I found out you guys can go to games, game spot for $10 and get the criminal starter pack, which will give you like a million dollars cash and the maze bank and the Vasuki property and the motorcycle club and, you know, I didn't mind doing it for her and, you know what I mean? And I, I've only known her a week, but it was, you know, that's because I didn't want to have her take a chance on compromising her account again and doing something that's going to get her account. And that's even said, oh, I could just do all this again. I'm like, yeah, but can't you just have like one account that you don't do anything wrong on that we can play together on? Keith, good morning, man. Need to take a chill pill? No, man. I don't need to take a chill pill at all, Keith. If I feel like spouting my shit, I spout my shit, bro. Sarge is not politically correct. Sarge doesn't take chill pills. People don't like it. There's the door. Don't let it hit you in the ass on the way out, man. 
That's what I tell people. I had got Nightmare One got pissed off at me a couple weeks ago because he was talking all this shit to people and I told him to shut the fuck up, right? So he bails off my Discord, bails off of here, but yet I still host him on Twitch. So I was there the other day, I had eight people fucking watching from my channel watching him. And I even said, dude, okay, you treat me like fucking shit and you bail off my channel when you talk shit to another subscriber, but yet I still host your shit for you. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're making money off of me and my kindness, man. Even though you want to treat me like a piece of shit. No way. Ah! You know, but yeah, no, I don't need to chill, man. I'm worried about She-Devil and her getting her computer going, and she's a little stubborn this morning, Keith, because she's my sister, and that's how we are. We're two peas in a pod when it comes to like that shit. But Keith, how's life down under, man? I heard Melbourne finally had zero fucking cases and they got to lift their fucking restrictions. Man, that's so nice, bro. So nice. This COVID shit is like to totally depress me, man. Ah, oh, Jesus they fucking Christ, man. Can't you make up your mind where I gotta pick this idiot up from? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been locked in my frickin' house for months and months and months. Now wintertime is here. I've been locked in my house for even longer. It's it drives me crazy, man. I can't turn on the news because apparently nothing's going on in the world but COVID. It's the only news. Other than our stupid election and the fires that California is burning to the frickin' ground, apparently. Like it always does, but... Now, like I said, man, she devils like, we're trying to get her shit going, and she blew up her power supply. Well, I guess it's good it went out, because we finally know what's wrong with her shit. Her power <laughs> supply is bad, so... Because that revolved that problem. I mean, I bought like, I don't know how many copies of Arma I bought for people. And I think only one of them has ever played with me. Out of the like 12 copies of Arma that I bought for people. I won, I only had one person play Arma with me. This is hilarious. Oh, you're up in Queensland. All right, bro. Well, I'm just glad Australia's getting right, shit together because everything was okay down there and then everything started getting this. crazy. So it's nice it's going back the other direction, man. Are you on Snapmatic? Because the United States is out of control, shit. man. Like, I'm a brand ambassador for so many brands We're just now. starting our second wave here in the United States. So uh, you can, by next spring, you can expect another half a million people dead in the United States easy. Because nobody here wants to take these shit serious, weird. man. I mean, last college. night, they're I celebrating the Dodgers winning the World Series, right, in us. Los Angeles. So, I'm watching on the news that all these people out there celebrating and screaming and yelling with each other. Nobody's got face masks on. The in <laughs> you know? They're all jumping up and down at the restaurants and jumping up and down in the streets. And I'm like, oh my God, man. Yeah, but if it's okay where you live, then you don't have to worry about it, Keith, right? That's the whole, you know. Shit. Here, it's not okay. Los Angeles is like hey, it's in the red zone. They can't even open up anything in L.A. because their cases keep going up. You know, they're getting, you know, every day they get another 500 cases or something. So, yeah, Southern California is like blowing up with cases. Get your but yet, out, you watch on the it news the and that's all they're doing. The they're just out celebrating. And everybody Macintosh. goes to the beach and... You know, they want to open up Disneyland. Fucking Disneyland's all pissed off. Oh, you got to open up Disneyland because there's nothing wrong. I'm like, so let me get this right. You want to open up Disneyland where people come from all over the world. Not just California, not just the United States, but all over the world. So they're going to go to Disneyland, get infected, and then go back to their country on an airplane, right, at the airport. Oh, yeah, it's like a perfect plan, man. Let's just do that. Makes perfectly good sense to me. 
right? Like 100%. Like, let's, I'm all for that, man. Yeah. Yeah, let's open up an amusement park that people can come from all over the planet, get infected, and then fly back to their home country. Clyde, man. Yeah, see, Clyde's in Buffalo, New York. You know what I mean? So thank God it's wintertime there because that slows down the tourists. But he's in a tourist town where people want to go see Niagara Falls, right? Niagara Falls, big tourist attraction, right? So therefore, you got people coming from all over the fucking planet <laughs> want to go to Niagara Falls. So what are they going to do? They're going to shut down Niagara Falls? Uh, last time I checked, it's a bunch of water that you can't really shut down. I mean, I think they can close some of the dams, you know, and slow it down a little bit. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna shut down Niagara Falls, man. I, I think sort of Niagara Falls is gonna just like run continuously, which means people are gonna show up. People like to go in there in the winter time because they like to see it frozen. So you would think, oh no, nobody's gonna go to Niagara Falls in the winter. Oh no, you get a whole bunch of people going there just because they want to see it frozen. That's the whole other, you know what I mean? So. Niagara Falls is gonna get people there all year round, guaranteed. And so again, you got people showing up from all over the world, all over the country, they go to Niagara Falls, they get infected, then they take it back to wherever the fuck they're going. They're traveling on the road, every rest stop, every gas station they stop at, they touch everything in the gas station, they touch the gas pumps, and they basically spread it back. And this is how it's spreading across the United States. What you think, people are wiping down gas pumps and wiping down the ATM, the pin pad machine at a gas station when you go buy gas. You guys are wiping all that shit down. Right. Go bullshit somebody else, man. Have you seen any gas station attendants out there wiping anything down at any gas station? Have you seen somebody standing out there going around wiping down all the gas pumps in between people using them? At any gas station in the United States, anywhere, I bet you not one, you're not going to see one gas station that they're doing that at. But apparently nobody uses gas in their cars, right? Nobody pumps gas. It all just pumps automatically. When you go to the bank, when you go to the ATM machine, when you go to the post office, Well, yeah, Keith, because the economy moves. I mean, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, Keith, right? If you shut down the economy, then everybody suffers to the point where your whole fucking country goes down the shit tube. So you can't have that. <coughs> so, you know, we can't shut down. Look at India, where she devil lives. Hell, when she got sick two weeks ago, I started thinking she had COVID because she got 106 temperature. She had dengue fever, thank God. But there's 7 million cases in India. They've got 2 million more almost than we have in the United States now. Or, oh no, I think we're maybe we're up to 8 million or something. Yeah, India's going, they're blowing up, man. They can't slow it down over there. So I've got to worry about She-Devil because, you know what I mean? It's like she, you know, she has to protect herself where she lives. Hell, she just went in to fucking go do her internet and she got bit by a mosquito and got sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the chances of her driving around in a bus, on a crowded bus and a bunch of people, yeah, she could get COVID real easy that way. Real easy. So we have to worry about sea devil. Hey, DH degree, Trump or Biden? It, it, either way, it doesn't matter, man. Whoever wins, it's like... A, the COVID doesn't care, bro. This is why I don't care about who, who gets elected in that sense. I mean, I don't really think Biden's a good choice for our country right now because we're in a crisis. I don't think you need a transitional team going in and trying to change everything around in the government right in the middle of a crisis. It's like in the middle of wars, it's not a good idea to do a transition. So if it wasn't a COVID this year, you know, it'd be a whole different ball game, but you know, we got a, a serious problem going on in the United States and you need people, everything's already in the administration's already running. In other words, if Biden steps in, you know, everything stops and they gotta hire all new people and that'll be a whole fucking year before they get their shit together. So that's a whole year for the virus to spread farther in the United States, right? So, and plus DH degree, we don't talk about politics here, bro. 
No politics, no religion, no sexual preferences, okay? Just to let you know since you're new to my channel. This way we don't start fights between people because that's all you're doing is you're setting up the stream and the chat for people to fight with each other because you know that some people here are going to pick Biden and some people are going to pick Trump. So let's not even go there, bro. But good morning anyways. But yeah, next to the no political conversations, period. Yeah, see, and Clyde has to worry because he's already compromised, because he's a diabetic, he's type 2 diabetic, and he's already been trying to, you know, get over shit, so. Yeah, so DH degree, like I said, bro, just, I appreciate you wanting to, you know, put some stuff out, but that's the last thing we talk about on the channel, because it just caused too much problems. So yeah, let's, let's just <laughs> relax on that shit this morning, please. Uh... Other than that, what's going on, man? Anything exciting in your life? Are you working, DH, by the way? Do you work? Do you get to work? I know a lot of people aren't working, so if you're working, man, you're lucky. That's one of my biggest frustrating factors. Oh, you're not working either? Fuck, dude. So you're feeling the same thing, right? You're just sitting at home, just... Trying to figure out what the fuck you're gonna do. You're not, you got, are you married? You got kids? You got family you gotta worry about? All that? I'm not trying to get nosy, but you know, we're just, we don't know a lot about you, so. Other than you have a hell of a nice fucking smile in that fucking picture, dude. I'm jealous of your smile. If that's you in that little picture of you. I used to have a really nice smile, man. My, my fucking teeth are all fucked up, man. Cool, just your family? Good, man. Yeah, like I said, man, it's a, we got so many problems in our country right now that I'm really worried about the United States, man. We got way too much shit going on. So we don't need an election this year. I mean, we really don't. You know what I mean? We got way, because, you know what I mean? It's What we need is, we need to figure out how to fucking fight this virus, man. And people got to get serious about it, man. This is, I mean, I really, I, there's a frustration level that's really high. Yeah, because people are tired of being locked up. People want to get back to normal. They want to work. They don't want their kids, you know, people are getting tired of their kids being around. Kids are getting tired of their parents being around. Like, you know, nobody has any free time, right? Or free space or, so I think that's a big frustration level there too, is that we're all on top of each other and we can't, there's no distance. You know, normally, you know, families are apart during the day, right? Parents are at work, kids are at school, you know, so then they have that social time in the evening when they're going to eat or hang out or whatever, right? Watch movies, TV. Now, it's like you guys are locked up with each other 24-7, you know, so it gets to the point where, like, you try to walk into a room and, you know, you can't even find a private space in your own house for the most part. You know, it's hard to find privacy in your home because everybody's on top of each other. So I can see how that can cause the frustration level to go through the roof for people, right? Because people are like, ah, oh, man, this is like fucking crazy, man. You know, like my kids are driving me crazy, my wife's driving me crazy, or, you know, because, yeah, because, like I said, people don't have their space. This is... Well, see, and the whole problem is everybody wants to point the finger at everybody else. You know what I mean? Look at it. Put it this way. If President Trump, way back in March, February, March, had issued a mandatory lockdown, everybody in the fucking United States is locked down, right? It would Nobody would have listened anyways. It would have caused even more problems. This is why he wasn't trying to go that route. He, we were trying to figure out how to you know, do this and keep the economy up at the same time. Look at how bad it was at first. You guys don't remember there was no toilet paper? I mean, have you guys forgot how there was like for a whole week, two weeks, there was no toilet paper in the store, no paper towels, no hand sanitizer, no Clorox bleach. Remember, there's a big run on all that shit, right? Because everybody's all panicky and shit, right? So this is why he didn't lock down the economy. Because if he locked everything down, we wouldn't have any fucking food in the stores right now. We'd all be sitting here with no food to eat. 
because all those people they're canning all those food products right and packaging all that meat remember all the meat pl packing plants that closed down and that's why you're paying what you're paying in the store right now for beef and chicken and eggs fucking eggs are like five dollars a dozen for freaking eggs so imagine if everything had been shut down, what you would be paying for food in the store, if you could even find food. So the fact that he didn't do that is actually a good thing in one sense, right? <laughs> Keith said you need to buy a five-year supply of toilet paper, man. Keith, I got a sock, bro. I can take a fucking cotton sock wipe my butthole with it and then wash it in soapy water in my sink and let it dry out bro i do i do not need toilet paper okay toilet paper is a con is a convenience of the modern society right i think for thousands of years people have been wiping their butts with claws and leaves and all that shit, right <laughs> so toilet paper is not high on my priority list if I had a choice between having a five-year supply of toilet paper and a five-year supply of rice and sugar and flour, I think you know what where Sarge is gonna go, right? <laughs> Keith's probably laughing, going, yeah. But I, I mean, I like the joke. But no, yeah, to me, it's more important to stock up on food, right? That type of stuff. Just like all these people wanna hold, uh, hoard gold, right? I have all these gold coins that I'm hoarding. I'm like, and you're going to eat that gold, right? Because when the minute there's no food and no money and you start going around flashing gold coins around your fucking town, guess what's going to happen next? How many people do you think you can fight off? Do you can fight off a couple dozen people showing up at your house armed? I don't think so. Then they're just going to torture your wife and your kids until you tell them what the gold coins are. Then they're going to kill all of you anyways, right? So having all that gold coins is really nice, but I think I'd rather have uh, maybe 500 rounds of fucking 9 mil or, you know, 40 Smith and Wesson and a fucking gun. <laughs> then I worry about, you know, getting food somehow, some other way. Yeah, gold's cool. <laughs> exactly, you got. Yeah, if you don't have no food... You're not going to be crapping much, right? <laughs> That's why I was laughing when oh, there was this big run on toilet paper. I'm like, oh, why the fuck are people buying toilet paper, dude? I, I Like, you guys don't want to go buy food? I'd be stocking up. I would get every bag of rice, every bag of sugar, every bag of flour, salt, pepper. I'd be grabbing all that shit. Fuck the toilet paper. Because at the end of the day, or in coffee... Let me see. You haven't had a cup of coffee in six months, and all of a sudden you smell coffee, right? And some guy's like, yeah, I got coffee for $25 a cup. <laughs> hey, you're going to be scrounging around for that $25 to get that fresh cup of coffee, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, in times when there ain't nothing, porno. How much you think porno mags and shit, <laughs> right? If there's no society, people are going to want porno magazines, right? You gonna have a whole. You gonna have to have a couple cases of porno mags stashed, man. At your, at your house, porno mags is gonna be worth so much money. <laughs> They'll be selling like hotcakes. You won't be able to keep them in stock. <laughs> no. That's in porno magazines. Because <laughs> there won't be no TV, no internet, right? No power. <laughs> so, porno mags, man. People are like, God damn, I get fucking horny as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got porno mags. He's, he's selling out one, he's selling one page at a time for 10 bucks for one page. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey, DH, uh, in the uh, Army, I did, I was an aircraft weapons repair specialist. That's, uh, I work on attack helicopters from... The Hueys, the guns, the mini guns, and the, and the rocket launchers that you see on a Huey through uh, Cobra and Apache attack helicopters, all the weapon platforms. And then in the Air Force, in the United States Air Force too, as a combat communication specialist, basically sets up all your communications when you're in combat, right? Field phones, telephone, tropo, shortwave. 
And then you do um, electronic countermeasures, you know, where you jam the enemy signals and, you know, put out fake broadcasts, all that crap. That's all part of combat communications. So I did that for a while. Then I became a police officer. Those guys you see driving around the police car, right? Arresting people. Just same as a civilian policeman, you're just a military police. So you just go to, you went to a military police academy at Lackland Air Force Base and all that shit. Then I became a combat arms instructor who basically you teach people how to shoot. You're a range master and then you maintain all the weapons and all that crap. So, so I'm quite proficient with a firearm in the real world. I mean like very proficient. You would definitely not want to get in a shootout with me because I would definitely shoot you dead as a fucking doorknob. Before you know what, before you know what happened, you would be toast. I don't, I don't have the pucker factor going on anymore and I don't hesitate. I can, I can draw and shoot in less than two seconds, man. I put three rounds in your ass. Two in your chest and one in your forehead, man. That was my unofficial way of teaching people because the Air Force, you know, most military, they want you to shoot center mass. You know, Army, Air Force, Marines, whatever, when you go out on shoot them, what, an M16? They always teach, that's why your bullseye is dead center of the chest, basically. Because you, you can get more critical injuries, you know, shooting in the heart and lung area. You know, diaphragm, that whole area, yeah, but what I used to teach is, this is the saying I used to tell everybody, two to the chest, one to the head, make sure that motherfucker's dead. See? Pretty straightforward. Because in combat, guys can get shot. They have ball ballistic vests too, you know, or they make homemade ones. They'll take steel plates and put them up inside. They'll like, you know, hang plates over their front and back with ropes and shit, you know, steel plates and put on, you know, so they'll have homemade bulletproof vests. So you may shoot some motherfucker and it's gonna knock them down because the foot pounds is like getting hit with a sledgehammer in the fucking chest, you know, so it's gonna knock you back. But, while you're standing there shooting the fucking shit with your buddies going, yeah, nice kill, that dude gets to get up and get his AK and fucking pop you in the fucking head or kill one of your friends. So in that sense, I'd say you shoot him twice and then you walk over there and you put a fucking round in his head. See? So I used to teach him. I got the Air Force Achievement Medal for doing that in a fucking combat training scenario where we were being overrun by terrorists and these guys had three of them prone on the ground and we thought they had explosive vests on them so everybody was standing back. So I just went up there and pulled out my nine millimeter Beretta and shot them all, three of them in the back of the fucking head. And this, this um, one of the, um, like the interpreter inspector, you know, he's supposed to be from that country, ran up there and started screaming and yelling at me in Farsi that he was gonna report me because I just violated the Geneva Convention. You know what I said? I looked him right in the fucking face, stuck that pistol in his fucking nose, and said, fuck the Geneva Convention. And turned around and walked away. Said, now call, 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 um, call, um, EOD, and have him come and get the fucking vests off these assholes. Everybody was, that man, they were laughing about that for several days after that. They go, fucking Sarge just walked up there and shot those three motherfuckers in the back of the fucking head, and then told the fucking guy from the fucking UN fucked the Geneva Convention. <laughs> See? I'm telling you guys, you gotta be prepared, man. Well, you know what, Keith? You guys down in Australia and New Zealand are safe because the government's gonna keep you safe from the terrorists, bro. You guys ain't got nothing to worry about, right? That's why, that's why New Zealand took away all the assault weapons. Because, and that's why she just got re-elected to a second term. Because she's going to keep you all safe, man. At the end of the day, nothing Terrorists are going to come down and do nothing to you, do man. It old school and put fly posters up or so see, Keith, you can sleep good tonight, man. Knowing that you're protected. Right? The Aussie government's got your back. <laughs> Keith's rolling his eyes in his head and says, Yeah, we don't think that way in Queensland. Sorry. He's like, what? we don't think that way up here, Sarge. We, we don't think that they got our back. Are you sure? 
God, is this for real? Yeah, if you want to rely on your government to keep you safe, just ask yourself, how good of a job are they doing right now with the COVID-19? Answer me that question. Right? Because your government's keeping you so safe. Like I said, man, you got to protect yourself, man. You got to think of you and your family. When the shit hits the fan, you ain't calling 911. I mean, it's you against who's ever trying to come and attack you in your house. That's the bottom line, man. That's the way it works. So, you're either going to step up and take care of business or you're going to die. That's about, you ain't going to have, calling 911 ain't going to do you no good, man. You might as well forget that shit. You might as well put that out of your head, man. But you don't need to have a firearm in that sense, okay? You guys, believe it or not, you get a, you can get a pressurized air canister, you know, like an air, like an air tank, you know, with pressurized, you need you know, put air in it, right? You get a small one, okay? And you can attach that to a piece of PVC pipe, like plastic PVC pipe, okay? And you can put a hose on that tank and put it on the end, you can fashion the trigger. All right, then you can get some steel ball bearings, right? Some steel ball bearings, and you can put them in that fucking PVC pipe, and then you can sit there and then open up that fucking valve, and guess what's gonna happen? Those fucking nine, those ball bearings are gonna come out of that fucking piece of PVC pipe, just like you were shooting them out of a 12 gun gauge shotgun, and you were shooting nine, you know, buckshot. So yeah, you can use a just a plain air, a piece of tubing, and a, so that's it. And you can make a pretty damn lethal weapon, man. Well, yeah, Keith, in that sense where you live. My favorite weapon is revolver. It would be a Smith & Wesson 357 revolver. They don't jam. They fire every time. If they don't fire, you simply pull the trigger again and rotates the cylinder to another bullet. Automatics are nice, but the best automatic you can get is a Glock. The next best is a SIG. Glocks are the best because they can fire whether they're dirty, whether they're wet, whether they're frozen. Doesn't matter with a Glock. Glocks, you can interchange parts. You guys know you can't interchange parts for weapons, right? If I take a 40 Smith & Wesson, take three 40 Smith & Wessons and disassemble them on a table and swap the barrels and put it back together, they're not gonna fire. That's just how, that's how guns are manufactured. Glocks, I've taken a, I, I take a whole bucket. I've taken six Glocks, disassembled them, dumped them in a bucket with sand and water and ice cubes, mixed them all up, put all six of them together, loaded them up with magazines and fired them all. With not, uh, not without even a hitch or a glitch. That's why Glocks are, that Glocks the best gun to get, man, in a combat situation. Best gun. Gonna keep, you, gonna keep you alive longer and faster than anything else with Glock. Guaranteed, kids. That and a revolver, because a revolver is a cylinder. So you're not going to get any stove pipes, you're not going to get any hangs, you're not going to have a bad magazine, a bad feed. You're not going to have none of that shit, man. If you pull the fucking trigger, it doesn't work, you pull the trigger again, it rotates the cylinder, bam, another round. Pretty quick, man. So. Yeah, see? I have I have a Civil War musket here from the Civil War from 1862. A real musket, right? That thing has a fucking bayonet on it that's two and a half feet long, the bayonet. The frickin' musket is like, you know, six feet tall, right? So that's like eight feet between me and you that I'm gonna be sticking you with that fucking bayonet the whole frickin' time. That you're trying to come at me, I gotta be, and that fucking bayonet is sharp. It's from 1862, but let me tell you that you don't want to get stuck by a fucking bayonet, a two and a half foot long bayonet. Oh, hell effing no, man. 
that's going to ruin your day like so bad. Yeah. So you're trying to come into my house and get me and there's eight feet between you and me and two and a half feet of that is a pointy object that I'm going to be poking your ass with. So what's the chances of you getting close to me? Well, I'm like shish kebabbing you. So, Kyle, good morning, man. Ah, see, Clyde's all set. He's got a desert eagle, man. He's like, he's rocking it. He ain't got to worry about nothing. No, like I said, if you don't own a gun, get yourself a nice sword. Nice big sword. If you don't have a sword, you can make a Hawaiian sling. You know what Hawaiian sling is? It's like a long broomstick that you put a three-pronged trident on the end of it, three-pronged trident, right? And at the other end, you take surgical tubing, right? And you loop it, and you hold the two looped ends at the top, right? And then you wrap cord around that. So what happens is it makes that surgical tubing now has a hoop that you can stick your hand in, and you slide that pole all the way back down until that you've stretched out that surgical tubing. When you let go of that thing, that motherfucker flies through the air, man. It's going to fly through the air, and it's going to stick into whoever's in front of you. So you can make a Hawaiian sling. Oh, you like the 1911s? Yeah, degree. The 1911s, uh, I used to have one with an Essex steel frame, a combat one. With an Essex steel frame, so 911s are nice. They're, the problem is they're just, they're really old school. So you can basically go get a Smith & Wesson 10 millimeter, which is basically the same thing nowadays. 10 mil Smith & Wesson. Do the same thing with 45, Will. That's probably one of your better, better bets. You're gonna shoot somebody. But no, like I said, if you live in an area where you can't have a gun, there's plenty of other options that you can explore to F people up besides guns. Hell, you can get a super soaker, right? A super soaker, everybody knows what those are, right? Super soakers, right? Things your kids use. Load that sucker up with, with ammonia or load it up with bleach. And when somebody comes in, super soak their face with bleach or ammonia. What do you think that's gonna do? When they get a face load of ammonia and their fucking eyes are a face load of bleach from a super soaker. Wait, you think they're gonna be a happy camper? That's gonna burn the shit out of them. You can even put lye. You can make a lye mixture and squirt them with that and that with lye, you know? Oh my God. That will F them up so bad, man. And that's just a super soaker. You can buy those everywhere. That's just a squirt gun, man. You just load that sucker up with lye. Or you can load it up with hydrochloric acid and just super soak them with hydrochloric acid. Let me tell you, somebody super soaks your face in front of you and your body with hydrochloric acid, you're not going to be thinking about attacking them at all because your face is going to be peeling off. See, Sarge can get pretty hard fucking core, folks. I, I don't need a gun to kill you. I'd kill you with a fucking credit card. Right across to your fucking... You wouldn't even know what the fuck happened. Yeah, there's lots of ways to kill people that I don't need a gun. Guns are just convenient, but that's far from what I need to kill you. I'd kill you with more shit underneath your kitchen sink than you make your head spin. I bet you I can make a bomb with the shit you guys just have sitting underneath your kitchen sink. I can make a bomb powerful enough to blow your fucking house up. That's the shit they teach you in the military when you learn a lot of counter-terror measures and all that. And because you gotta teach insurgents how to deal with what they have on hand. Yeah, bombs are... I mean, bombs up. Ah, uh, DJ, man. You taking off for the day, man? You gonna be back? Arson Y, man. Good morning. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, man. Guns are okay, but don't, don't, like, you gotta think outside the box nowadays, man. Because, like you said, a lot of areas are restrictive, right? You guys can't own guns. Right, so if you can't own guns, you gotta you gotta figure out some other way. 
to deal with the bad guys that are going to come into your house. But that's why I said, you know, super soakers are like a real easy thing to use. A lot of people don't think about that. But yeah, those squirt guns, because they're pretty powerful. You can pump them up and it's just a pretty good spray. So you just get a little... That's why I say use ammonia or bleach. And that will really F them up pretty good. It'll burn their eyes enough where they're not going to do shit. You know, you can even make up, you can take like, um... Tabasco sauce or Dave's Insanity sauce, like, you know, that one that's like five, ten million or whatever on the fucking hot, the hottest. You can take that shit and mix that up with water and put that in that motherfucker, man. That just comes in contact with your skin and burns. There's plenty of things you can put inside of a plastic super soaker. Just keep that thing there and when somebody comes in, you pump that puppy up and let them have it and they're going to be a little unhappy. They're not going to be a happy camper, man. I guarantee you that. And you're not killing them, right? It's basically non-lethal. They're just not going to be happy camper. Yeah, well, she devil. Well, not everybody is a fucking Indian state boxing champion either. Yeah, see, she devil. She'll just beat the shit out of them because she's a boxing champion. So don't come up to her and think, oh, this this lady she can do shit. Yeah, exactly. It's a, just ammonium nitrate is all it is. It's fertilizer, man. Ammonium nitrate, I can go buy that right now. Ammonium nitrate is just fertilizer. You take ammonium nitrate, right? You pack that into some drums, and then you fill it up with diesel fuel because you have to have some type of, you know, of liquid in there, that explosive liquid, and diesel works really good because diesel, diesel won't burn. Diesel will explode before it burns. Yeah, they, they basically take... You can take up any type of container, plastic container, metal container, whatever, just pack it up with ammonium nitrate fertilizer, and then you fill it up with diesel fuel, you know, and then basically you have to have a primer, you know, some type of primer to ignite it, and that's, it makes a hell of a big ass bomb, man. I mean, a quarter cup of gasoline quarter cup of gasoline, one quarter cup of gasoline, right? that's four ounces, right? I mean, that's two ounces, sorry, two ounces of gasoline. That's equal to eight sticks of fucking dynamite if you, if you pack it the right way. That's only a couple ounces of gasoline. That's how volatile gasoline is. You know, people don't, more, more vehicles explode from an empty tank where you don't have any gas in your tank, you just have fumes then with a full tank of gasoline. You'll get a larger explosion from an empty tank blowing up on a car than you will from a full tank. It's just, that's just how it works. That's because the, that, the way the containment is, the pressure and the fumes, you're gonna get a larger, a larger initial explosion. You don't think it's a good idea to talk about it? It's just normal to devil, man. It's just... Yeah, see, disposable, disposable cigarette lighters. Yeah, there's lots of things. Alright, so what else do you want to talk about, sis? Because we can't talk about that. He's almost putting a mix to our conversation, guys.
You know who we haven't seen for a few days, Clyde, is Jimbo again, man. Have you, like, reached out to Jimbo at all? Because we haven't heard from him for several days now, man. We ain't worried about him again. Because I've seen him come on, and I've seen him go off, but he doesn't come on the chat. The fly oh, there you are. are everywhere. Jimbo, good morning, bro. I was fucking worried about you, man. All right. Good man. How's your leg doing, bro? Oh, I'm so glad to hear Jimbo's here, folks. He had, to, he had to have a major surgery a while back here and unfortunately had to have his leg amputated, so he's on the recovery road right now, so... Good, man. I'm glad to see you here, man. Yeah, because I see you come on and go off and come on and go off, so... Oh, fuck yeah, man. They're almost healed up. Nice. So now it's just the itching. Now they just itch all the time, right? Now you got that constant itchy, itchy, itchy feeling going on. Hey, meow. Good morning. Sub to your channel? Which channel is yours? You're going to have to give us a link. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a friend request. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta um, give me a link. Meow. I need some type of link. Waiting on biotech for the new leg. Nice, bro. Yeah, I can't have people sub to your channel unless you give us um, some, some way of getting a hold of your channel, right? That makes sense. Don't let she devil fool you, Thomas, man. Thomas, she devil was an Indian state boxing fucking champion, man. Don't let her fool you guys. She's like a UFC champion fighter, cage fighter woman. She can kick the shit out of all of us at the same time, man. Don't let her fool you, man. Don't let her give you some bullshit about how she just barely boxes and she doesn't know what she's doing. She wouldn't have been an Indian state champion unless she kicked the shit out of a lot of people. So yeah, don't get, you give that bullshit to somebody else. Just enough to hit some punches and kicks. Yeah, oh yeah, that's all. I just, I casually like, I go punch the bag every now and then when I want to get the frustration out of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Thomas Lee, you like, you do some boxing, huh? You go to the gym, huh? You get in that ring, do some speed bagging, huh? Ah, there you go, she-devil. Thomas Lee likes to box, huh? So, meow, you're not answering me. If you don't answer me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hose your, um, hose your comments about people joining your channel. So, if you want us to join your channel, you're gonna have to give us some more information, okay? Because how are we supposed to join your channel when we don't even know what your channel is? Right? Like, how are we supposed to look you up? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? You know what I mean? We don't mind helping people out, but you got to give us a little bit more than subscribe to my channel, thanks. Like, what the hell? Like, how are people supposed to sub to your channel? 
If we don't, we can't find you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So yeah, so, yeah. Don't mind helping people out. Don't mind pimping people's channels. But you gotta know who you are. Right? Meow. If, if this is you, because I found a meow, but I don't know if it's you or not. Honey. Does that make sense? I found somebody on Instagram with that name. I don't know if that's you or not on Instagram. Instagram. The soul of the R and B, all served up to you by the soul sister with two turntables in front of her, and I'm gonna unload both these motherfuckers. Yeah. Meow, you meow is like a popular us. name, just to let you know. Oh. So there's like a lot of meows. Cruising through the housing projects, up in the hills, you know. down by the sea. Roll down your windows and share this music. We have to, to turn out which this one town you around, are. baby. Don't worship celebrities. Don't worship a man on TV who performs in a talent contest. Don't worship a man who chants Kiflam. Take care of each other. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Love me right now, baby. Come on by the studio. We're going to get crazy up in here. I'm giving you the lowdown. <sighs> Ah, uh, hold on, this might be right here, hold on. There's another meow one on YouTube. Let's see if this is you. Aha, I think I found you. I think I found your ass. Let me see if this is you. Oh yeah, that's you. Here you go. I just followed you. Cool, okay? following you. We'll see what happens. Cool. Jimbo. We'll see you in a bit, bro.
go. There you go. What do you what do you Alright Clyde, we'll see you later, man. Make sure you say tell Izzy and Bella that I love them. Okay, and I miss them. And then, yeah, you be careful when you take them out on Halloween here. You know that man. I don't want them getting sick. Hey, don't scratch over there. <sighs> All right, so meow, we went ahead and um, I'm going to post your link to your YouTube page up on my Discord, so. Anthony Ham. Just watch my Arma 3. Press newbies. Very helpful. I'm so glad because Anthony, I get such controversy on that. If you've noticed some of the comments there, some people say you don't know what the fuck you're doing and you know you shouldn't be doing this and the, the intro video is too long and, and people can watch that or they already have. I'm like, dude, you know what? If you want to make better Arma videos than me, shut up. Put a YouTube channel up. Put your freaking videos up. And let people come over there then. Hey! But so I thank you so much, man. The biggest thing with Arma, because we were playing it the other day, is people just don't have patience. It's not Call of Duty. You're not loading up a game and jumping in there and running out there and killing people. That's it's the farthest thing from that. It's like learning to drive a car. Right? You don't learn to drive a car by getting in it, turn on the key, put it in the in the gear and stepping on the gas and take it off driving. You know, there's like, you know, you gotta learn the rules of the road and, you know, your state laws and, you know, how to, you know, there's a lot of things involved, like ride a bicycle, motorcycle, drive a, you know, so yeah, so people think, oh, Arm and 3, I can just load it up and jump in there, and then they know what to do. But when they start it up, they're looking at a front end that just has servers and all your mods and all that, and they're like, okay, well, what the hell is this? Then they see the play button and they click that. That just takes you to another front end for the game. And then you're really confused. Because you're like, well, I already had one front end and I clicked on play. And now I'm in another front end. So that's why I made that video. To sort of explain people what you're going to look at. How it's going to be. What you're going to, yeah. And this guy's like, oh, it's too long. I'm like, hey, you ever heard of fast forward? It's that little fucking arrow down there that points to the right. And you go down there and you click on it. I said, nobody's like putting a gun to your head and making you watch the whole video. But Arma 3 isn't the type of game that you can make 10 minute little quick videos on. That's, it's impossible, man. All right, Thomas, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, you can, it's impossible to do that, man. You can't do that. It's, this is why Arma videos are the way they are. And you know what I mean? It's just because, I, you know, I can only do so much, and if I don't do it the way I do it, it doesn't make sense to you guys. So, I appreciate you coming and telling me that, because like I said, that's one game I get. And then this guy says, oh, you don't even have any time in this so, game. Here's what we're gonna He's like, do. this guy says, I got 300 hours in Arma, man, and you don't know shit. And I know, I like, I could do better videos than some bullshit. I got 300 hours, I got 6,000 hours, man. Fuck you in your 300 hours. <laughs> Hell, I got 800 hours just driving around in fucking vehicles, man. I'm not even shooting anybody. This fucking guy, I got 300 hours, man. You don't know what you're doing. I was like, uh, okay. Good morning. Okay, Dorothy. All right, bye. She's gonna come and pick up her computer. Yeah, she had to give me some fucking attitude the other day. This lady, she wants me to drive like 80 miles each way, set her computer up for her, right? Get her internet, her printer, her scanner, all that after I just fixed the sucker and I'm selling her another computer because her old computer's broke for $100. 
And she wants me to do everything. Give her a brand new computer, drive all the way to her house, set everything up all, for a hundred bucks. And that's why I said, well, if I do it, I'm going to do it at my convenience. And so now she's complaining. I really need my print. I need that. I'm like, well, then you can drive down here and get the fucking computer then. And take it home and try to figure out how to hook it up. And I'm going to tell her, you know what? Don't ever call me again, man. That's it. Because I'm, I lost money on this fucking lady, man. Because, you know, it's like something happened. To her. Somebody vandalized her house and tore off her whole lid off her computer. And then I tried to get it up and running, and she just had a major problem with it. So I said, look, I'm just going to give you another computer, because she just wants one of the 17-inch screen. So I got another computer, and I put Windows on it, and I put antivirus, and get all her shit loaded on there, and do all this shit. And then she's bugging me about, oh, you got to drive. And it was snowing the other day. She wanted me to drive up on Monday, and it was snowing. And I'm like, I'm not fucking driving 80 miles each way. I said, for $100, I said, you can come down here and get your computer, man. Take it home, and then if you have problems hooking it up, I'll walk you through shit on the phone. I'm like, well, fuck that, man. Sounds like something X would do. Hey, Will and James, good morning, man. 20 years on console, I made the switch to PC. Your video came up and was like, cool. Are you doing a part two? Anthony, I got a lot of them there. If you need something specific, specific, um, just ask me right here on the stream, bro. I can probably answer your question as to what you're looking for or what you need. I, I have several Arma videos there, so there might be one there, there already, but is there something in that you really are interested in that you didn't see me do? Like I said, I can, I'm more than happy to tell you what it is. If there is. Well, what it was is, um, she's an older black woman. And so, well, obviously, somebody broke in and vandalized her house because she's black. Which is funny, because she's the only black woman in that whole area up there. She lives, like I said, a little in northern Maine. I know she's the only black woman in that area. And she's, like, in her 60s or something. So, just, you know, a sweet older lady went by. But, yeah, somebody broke into her house, and they stole one computer, and then they ripped the screen off of that one and then trashed her house and shit, broke a bunch of crap, you know, just basically vandalized. So she brought it to me, so like I said, I could get it working, but I was having issues with it, so I just told her, look, is this really better if we just, I said, you know, if you just need something to go on the internet or whatever you're doing, I said, I got a used one here, I'll just give you that for a hundred bucks. I think I, I don't think I'm going to get this one working right. So, um, yeah. But then, like I said, you know, the weather's been a little crappy, and I've been not, you know, doing a lot, of, a lot of shit. So she, so I really need my computer. I'm like, well, you can come down and get it. I said I only offered to take it to your house because I was afraid you were gonna have trouble with, um, you know, your Wi-Fi and scanner and printer. But I said, you know, so I said that's why I offered to bring it up there. But if you really need it that bad, you're gonna have to drive down here, man. That's just, that's the bottom line. have a lack of motivation, man, to go all the way. I've done this like four times for her, not when she's at, you know, I've fixed her computer four times and three times I've taken it up there and, so, yeah, you know, I like to be nice and helpful, but I just get a little burned out because, you know, it's just like, eh. It's a long ways to go. That's 160 miles round trip, man. And, you know, gas is going to cost me 20 bucks in gas. So, I mean, I only charge 80 bucks to work on it. But again, I'm giving her a computer and a copy of Nord. And I'd reinstall her windows. That was 12 bucks. I mean, so I'm, I'm out over $100, obviously. But I realized that she got vandalized. And, you know, so I want to do something nice for her to, you know, instead of taking advantage of it. And I just had that computer sitting around anyways. I got like three really nice Dell 17 inches one time from this guy for free because he didn't want them. He had power supply. So. Oh, come on, man. 
quit fucking beating up on me. God damn it. Stupid dick. Idiots. So, yeah. But she's driving down to pick it up. So, Because I told her I don't know where I'm going to come up there. <laughs> I said, I'll be honest with you. I don't really feel like driving up to your house, man. Just too far. And I just don't have the motivation right now. So, no, that's cool. That'll work out fine. So, Waylon, man, what's up this morning with you? What are you playing? What are you up to? Anthony, you know what? You're the second person, um, just tactical, just a tactical guy. He lives down in Australia, and he just switched from console to PC, bought an Alienware PC, so he could play Arma 3. Because he said he got tired of the fact that the console world is just like cheating you guys and they don't want to give you any good tactical shooters. Which I don't understand why. I mean you guys are stuck with Ghost Recon Wildlands is about one of the best ones that they came out with. You know, and then you got Call of Duty, and that's about it. You know what I mean? And Battlefield and shit. But yeah, the console man, they don't really give you guys you don't get squad, you don't get insurgency, you don't get arma. You know, so all these cool military ones, for some reason, you don't get them on the console, man. Yeah, and Call of Duty's okay, but the single player sucks, and multiplayer is just little, you know, skirmishes for 10 minutes where you run around and kill each other like chickens with your head cut off. So, you know, Battlefield 1 sucks, Battlefield 5 sucks, Star Wars Battlefield sucks, Apex is whack, you know, Fortnite is whack. Yeah, so there's, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, don't let this guy kill you, sir. Beat him. Motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, they're dead. Ass wipes. Ah, man. Some people, you just can't reach. And that's what we have here, man. I don't like this any better than you men do, but when he asks for it, you have to give it to him. Cause what we have here is a failure to communicate. Welcome back, Thomas. Yeah. Don't like this any better than you men do. Oh, it's not smashed up yet? Oh, no. Oh, well, F that. Call me. Boom, mission over. Bum, ba da da. Just in case. That is our move. Well done, my friend. I've seen what the. <laughs> Thanks, you devil. I forgot all about the car, sis. I was like, oh, okay. Beat the shit out of those guys. That was fun. And I see the timer. I'm like, why is there a timer on the screen? I just beat up all everybody. Yeah. That, that would help, huh? Okay. So that was fun. Now what do we get to do? Huh? What's next? Huh? What's next on the agenda? Who do we get to beat up next? That was fun. All right, let's see what's on the hit list over here. Laszlo! Laszlo Meister, you. So remember, today's your last day to get the, um, if you're gonna buy the, um, the Luxo, today's your last day to get it, man. Don't let it, don't let it go by. Uh, you'd be crying like a little, You'd be a little wussy wussy tomorrow, man. <laughs> it's back at the 5.3 million. <laughs> Sarge told me I should have got it when it was 1.9, but oh, I didn't listen. <laughs> I thought I could wait till today, and now my internet's not working, and my computer's acting up. Oh, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> AIE, good morning, man. Yeah, so if you're gonna get that frickin' Deluxo, man, don't, don't procrastinate, man. Jump on it now. Right? 
Don't buy a freaking, don't buy any property today though, because it's gonna change at midnight, man. Oh my god, I can't believe you. Somebody the other day was, I don't know what the hell they bought, and I was like, dude, why the hell did you do that? It's Wednesday, man. Don't buy shit on Wednesday, because you know Thursday is gonna change. It's like, it's like going to the store and shopping the day before fucking Black Friday. Oh, I'm gonna go on Thursday so I can avoid the crowds. <laughs> Ah, she never. Uh, what's wrong? You can't get your Deluxo? We, I can log in and get one for you, sis. I can log into your account for you. You want me to do that? Just send me your account information and I'll log in and buy one for you. I can do that. I can run around on your account and cause some havoc. We can do that for you. I don't mind. She devil's upset. I'm telling you, these vehicles don't come along very often. That hunter that we got last week is crazy, man. The deal they had last week with the hunter, that was insane, man. That's why, and I got an air, I, I, I was able to buy a hangar at the airport and the Apache Longbow attack helicopter for what it would have cost you to just to get the buzzard, that little buzzard which is like crap, right? Oh, AIE, you shouldn't have asked her about her computer, bro. That was a bad thing to do. That was a mistake. Oh, shit balls, here it comes. Huh? What? Did I make her cry earlier? Maybe. Maybe I made her cry, whatever. She'll get over it. He's, he's tough. She just go beat somebody up. That's all. Okay, so anyways, yeah, right now, this is on sale. See the normal price? See? 4721000 right? 4.7000000 And you can get it for how much off? Almost $3 million discounted. $3 million discount, right? Oh yeah, it is. A, 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 oh it, yeah, it is. AIE. This is um. Yeah, it is. This is from Amazon Prime. This is your Amazon Prime Twitch. So you have to belong. You belong to Amazon Prime, right? AIE. If not, go sign up today, and you'll get a million dollars. Yeah, it's from Amazon. This is an Amazon Prime discount. This is not a Rockstar discount. Rockstar doesn't discount their vehicles this much, folks. Rockstar gives you $500,000 off on their shit. That's it. They give you 40% off sometimes. But no, they're not. They don't give you $3 million off. No, nope, it's not happening, man. Guaranteed. That's, they're not going to do that. Just like this, see? This is the Apache Longbow. Right? See that? Look how much the price is. How much is the price on that? And how much did I get this for last week? $824,000. Yeah. 80% off. At the same time, people were spending, were buying this piece of shit. And this is why I told them, dudes, you guys have lost your effing frickin' mind, man. I said, you trying to tell me, this guy's like, oh, I'd rather have that. That buzzard's a better helicopter. I'm like, what? Have you lost your mind, dude? Where's it at? And they're not savvy shoppers in real life? No. No, I can tell you that. Yeah, they're far from savvy. Where's it at? Oh, it's over here. Hold on. it up already. I must have passed it up. Is 
over here 1.8. Where's it at? You must get mad in that oh, here it is. This. See? That buzzard helicopter cost you 1.75, right? So for $2 million, you can get an attack helicopter, right? You can either get that helicopter right there, which just has those little rockets, right? And a mini, it has a mini gun, right? Or you can get this attack helicopter which has stealth capabilities, right? Has stealth capabilities, has a co-pilot that can use a chain gun, the rocket, all that crap. And we could have got that for 824000 So you just connected an AIE, so you missed out on this Hunter, right? You didn't get the Hunter? So I was able to buy the Hunter and buy a hangar at the airport. And when you get the hangar at the airport, they give you one of these for free. They give you this one for free with the hangar. You get one of these. Where's it at? The Cuban, this one. The Cuban 800. So they, that's 240000 So the hangar costs... 1240000 for the hangar, right? But they give you that plane for free. So basically you're paying $1,000,000 for the air, for the hangar, right? And then I paid 824000 for the attack helicopter. So again, less than what you would pay for a buzzard, I was able to get... And at the hangar, you could have $4 million with a cargo sitting in here that you can get for free. You can go out and steal $4 million of the cargo and sell it. And when we do the double week, you'll be $8 million. So for a million dollars, you get a hangar that you have four million dollars of cargo, an attack helicopter, right? And a, no, like I said, that's this is why you want to buy this shit when it's on sale. When shit's on sale, that's when you buy it. When it's not on sale, you don't buy it, man, because you're just gonna you're wasting your money. Lyle, what's going on this morning, Lyle? Welcome. Yeah, Amazon Prime, you have to get Amazon Prime to get the Deluxo She-Devil. You're not going to get the Deluxo, so you have to spend, you have to sign up for Amazon Prime, but you can cancel. You don't have to spend 120 bucks a year. You just have to sign up for Prime, and then I'll link your Twitch account, and then you'll get the discounts, and you get the million dollars and 200000 a week. So you could do that, She-Devil, just for the million bucks and the 200000 then just cancel before 30 days is up. So, That'll, that'll give you that'll give you another 1.8 million for free. Plus, you get the Basuchi Nightclub too. If you don't own the Basuchi Nightclub over here, when you sign up with with uh, Twitch, you'll get this nightclub for free too, and that's a 1.2 million dollar nightclub. And then you can make more money because you got the nightclub already. Nightclub is one of the best ways to make money in this game because it makes passive income and then you can have all your technicians making money. So you can, Nightclub will make money, 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 man. Yeah, they need a credit card, Chi Devil, but you can cancel. You know what I mean? You just need to sign up with a credit card and you can turn around and cancel. You can get a PayPal credit card. You can get a PayPal debit card. If you PayPal, you have a PayPal account, they'll send you a debit card for free. And that ties to that PayPal account that your husband has. And you just get a PayPal debit and that works. That's what I use. You don't need a, a real credit card. You just have to have a debit card tied to some account for Prime. But that's a good offer because you get the, you get, you're getting 1.8 million. You get in the nightclub if you don't own it. And you just cancel before 30 days is over. And then you'll get a couple weeks of discounts, whatever the discount is every week. Last week was the... Uh, you know, the Hunter, this week's is the Deluxo, the week before. What was, what did we get the week before? Oh, I got the XA. Oh, I bought that at the podium. Oh, I have the, I bought that other race car. Remember, I got that race car for, it was like 2.3 million, and they had it for 440,000. It was like 80% off that other race car I got. Yeah, but you can get one through through that PayPal. You know, the PayPal that you're linked to. They'll send you a debit card. You can just go there and apply for a PayPal debit and that's, they just send it directly to you, she devil. Oh, I'm at the limit on my safe again. See how fast my safe is maxing out? Just, I've only been streaming 
an hour or so. And we're already mad, we're already maxed to get on the safe. Yesterday I made a half a million dollars off this safe just sitting there. Not even doing shit. Yeah, I've been streaming an hour and 50 minutes, and this is already the third time I've had to empty the safe. That's $210,000. Buy you a safe like that just fills up with cash. It's filling up with cash because people that will have my nightclub maxed out. Silly. You don't have to do anything, just pew. Yeah, and see, and everybody says arcade makes more money. And I don't know how your arcade makes more money than the nightclub. People say your, your arcade is the best way to go. But you gotta spend millions of dollars to get all those damn machines in the arcade. And then who's coming in there? I guess it's supposed to be NPCs. But you watch, this is empty. In an hour from now, we'll have 70,000 sitting in the safe again. You know, that'll be the fourth time. That'll be 280,000. So they, that's passive income. That's not, that's just from these people dan dan dancing and buying drinks. That's where all that money's coming from. Yeah, it's 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 doing it. Yeah, it's everything's generating automatically. I'm not doing anything. The reason it's going up so fast is because they're giving triple rewards on your payout right now. That means instead of ten thousand dollars in my safe, it'll be thirty thousand. See, it's getting triple. So instead of thirty-five thousand, that's why you're getting seventy. So it's doubling. So every hour you can get seventy thousand dollars in your safe every hour. Yeah, AIE. That's AIE wanted to play Red Dead Redemption yesterday, but his his safe was blowing up like mine. Because literally, you want to stay in the game right now till tonight, because you can make a half a million to a million dollars just off of your safe. <coughs> well, Red Dead doesn't have anything going on like this right now. See, when they have specials like this, you decide you generate your cash. Well, you got to remember, I already bought the penthouse. So I own the penthouse. I do those six missions to get that free car eventually, right? I got the nightclub. I got the maze bank. I got my hotel. I got the bunker. I got the arcade, right? I got two special cargo warehouses, a special vehicle warehouses, eight garages, right? I don't want an attack helicopter, an airplane, a regular helicopter, a hanger, and I've never gotten more than ten million dollars in my account ever. Yeah, because some people they're like, "Oh, I got a hundred million. I got you know two hundred million. All this." Yeah, but what it doesn't the money doesn't matter. It's owning all the property because the property is going to generate income. So you could have a billion dollars, but it's the gate. It's in other words, having all that money is not doing you any good. You, eventually, you'll get it as you own all the property. The whole object is to have a lot of nice cars, own the property, all that. You know, it's, it's having a criminal enterprise. Me, look how many garages I have. I got eight garages with ten cars in each one of those garages, right? So, Joseph. All right, hell, she devil. You better come back. What's going on this morning, Joseph? How are you? What's up with yourself there today? Yeah, so, you know, like I said, for me, you know, a lot of people just, they just want the money. I mean, for some reason, they're just focused on how much money they have in their bank account. You know what I mean? It's like, I gotta have a billion dollars. I gotta have, but for me, I it, it's not the money in the account, it's, the money is the is the ends is the ways to the ends. The ends is owning all the property, owning garages, owning the nightclubs. Because you can only own one nightclub, you can only one, own one arcade, you can only own one bunker, one motorcycle. You can move them around, but you can only own one at a time. So I'm happy with where they're at. Yeah, maybe I could locate them elsewhere, but why? They're there. They're they're running. You know, same with the motorcycle, the MC. You can own the cocaine and the meth, you know, and the weed and the counterfeiting and the forgery, and all this, but your technicians, you only got five technicians here, first off. So your club can only generate five items. So having all that extra shit for the motorcycle stuff is cool, except for then you're gonna be like AIE, and you're gonna be running back and forth with a chicken with your head cut off, trying to do all your motorcycle shit. 
So it's easier to let the club do all that. That's where all this comes in. This is your bunker. This is your, your special cargo warehouse. That's the cocaine. That's the methamphetamine. That's the weed. That's the forgery and documents. That's the counterfeit. So by buying those, yeah, because it's a counterfeit business that you own. Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but yeah. Pharmaceutical research, that's a methamphetamine. And then South American imports, that's your cocaine. Sporting goods, a bunker, that's where they're manufacturing weapons. Cargo and shipments where we steal all those crates of medical supplies. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, and you only have five technicians. See, and I got one right now that's doing nothing. So I'm gonna buy the cocaine, this one over here, but I wanna wait till tomorrow because maybe tomorrow motorcycle businesses will be discounted 40%. So spending, spending, spending 700,000 on that cocaine business, I can get it for 40% off, correct? Yeah, Keith, uh, it's Dece December 10th. Yeah, but you know what? It's better to have it delayed and to have it come out perfect then, well, the whole reason it's being delayed is because they can't distribute it. They can't get enough copies. Hey, stop that. Yeah, you. They can't get enough copies. Stop that. Stop. Hey, stop doing that. What are you tripping on? I'm scratching that. Yeah, come here. Yeah, so... You know, so owning all those businesses is stupid because your club can only generate from five of them. So, you know, like I said, you can own all the motorcycle businesses, but then you're spending a hell of a lot of money running back and forth doing nothing all day in that sense because these are a grind doing these, I think. I don't like the motorcycle part. It's just too much running back and forth. I mean, just to do that stupid one with she devil, we had to drive all the way down to Los Santos with two motorcycles, right? Then we had to fight all those idiots off at that park by the Beverly Center, you know, and then go do the drop offs. It's like a pain in the fucking butt for forty-one thousand dollars. Yeah, well, what happened? They have nine platforms they got to put that game out on because they have to do it on on three Xboxes, two. Playstations and then three for the PC for Mac, PC, and Linux. Yeah, so they got nine platforms they got to try to put that out on. So even though it's gold, the game is gold, it's distributing it to all those platforms. That's where they said they're that's where they're running into their logistics problem right now. So which sort of sucks. Right. Yeah, exactly. See, that's see, they have to have everything working on all the platforms at the same time. So, and then that's like I said. That's, a, that's why they want to have a zero patch for day one. They don't want to have to have a patch. They want to have everything done so you can just load the sucker up. Yeah, AIE. Well, the, the problem is, AIE, all the motorcycle shit's out in the high desert. Have you noticed that? Like all the motorcycle stuff, the counterfeit, the meth, the weed, the cocaine, they're all out, out in Sandy Shores. Right? If you notice. So there's no way to locate those businesses down here because all that shit's out there in the desert, basically. Yeah, you don't, again, you don't have to upgrade anything at the motorcycle ones because it doesn't do any good. Does that make sense? See, I, I upgraded it, but it doesn't matter. 
In other words, your nightclub will continue. Your nightclub is what you want to upgrade. This is where your nightclub makes money. Is is spending the 1.4 million here. This is where you're going to make your money. Right here. This is going to cost you 1.4, 1.495. So $1.5 million. And that's what makes all the money. That and having all the floors. Having having five floors. Because five floors will give you the max. Five floors give you 150. In other words, there's like two for floor for the cocaine, right? Does that make sense? There's four for floor for that, right? There's 20 there, right? There's 10 there. So if you only had one floor, you'd only have 10, right? 20, two, 10, right? 20, five. That's so, by having five floors, you max out that total number by having all five. And those floors are gonna cost you 150,000 each. Except for right now, they're discounted. Right now, 40%. Yeah, Keith, that's, 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 they're trying to have a day one patch to fix everything. It's called a zero patch. Right. Yeah. So the whole object with the motorcycle, I made that mistake, AIE. I thought, oh, I got to go out there and I got to get security and I got to upgrade my staff and all that, right? Because that's got almost a million fucking dollars, man, just at the counterfeit place. But then I realized the cash, the, your club will make money even if there's nothing sitting out there, literally. Like nothing, your, your business is going to make money. That doesn't have to be anything. I'll go out there right now and show you. I'll switch over to an MC and show you. They're empty and I'm still generating money here. That's why I realized the only reason that you would do those is if you don't own the nightclub. See, people without the criminal starter pack, they gotta make a decision. Are you gonna buy a motorcycle club, right? Because that's why motorcycle clubs are cheap because everything else is expensive in the motorcycle club, right? That's why they sell them to you for cheap. I met this girl last night. Because like, wow, you, you're paying 700000 to a million for each one of those freaking businesses, and then you're spending well over a million dollars to upgrade every one of them. How long is what sales on what floor, bro? On what, on the motorcycle or the... Hey, where are we hanging out? Yeah, I did it for the counterfeit business and then I realized I threw away all that money. And I'm running back and forth doing all these stupid runs for 20000 and 30000 You can go do a freaking sightseer for twenty-five grand that takes 10 minutes. Right? For getting three briefcases. That's $25,000. So why in the fuck am I running all the way back and forth on on a motorcycle all over fucking Blaine County, right, for 20000 or 30000 with like a chicken with my head cut off? When you don't have to do that at all. You just have to own the businesses so they tie to the nightclub. That's, that's the only thing you got to do. You got to own the business. Once you own the business, everything's fine. It all ties together. Yeah, exactly. That. But see, you don't have to upgrade anything at all. That's a mistake everybody's making. See, look at, there's my counterfeit cash business. What? How much stock do I have and how much supplies do I have? Here's my forgery. So I can go sell that shit off right now, which I'm gonna go do probably. See, they're empty, bro. They're empty. You don't, you don't need, you just need to own these so they tie to the nightclub. That's it. That's that's all you need.
See, this is why you want to get the cheapest one. You want to, when you buy, you want to buy that one right there because you're not even going to fucking use it. You're going to go do the first run and that's it. She devil, yesterday we run around with chickens with our head cut off for $41,000. I can make that back in 14 minutes doing one headhunter and one sightseer. And I can make more than one. And she had to give me 21000 of that. So I got half of what she did. She did a $41,000 run and I got 21000 So she only made $20,000. That's less than what you get on a headhunter. Exactly. That's what you do. You start over here, right, with the counterfeit cash. That's why they give you that. And then you build up your money here so that way you can buy the nightclub. Then once you buy the nightclub, you start hiring all the techs, you upgrade the club, you upgrade your security. Then your club will start generating all that money for you. Yeah, you can run out here and do all this shit, but all the work that you have to do running back and forth trying to sell off these little things, there's e you could sell a fucking car for $100,000, right? What, an $80,000 profit for selling one car, and that takes 15 minutes. Because again, you and I both know, if you let your stock get up to where it's 90000 they're going to make you have three vehicles. Even if you're in Blaine, you're going to have three vehicles for your forgery or counterfeit cash. Then you're going to be running back and forth like a chicken with your head cut off, trying to do all three of them. Remember that time when you had to fly around and I told you don't worry that you'll make it? Remember you were all panicky when we were flying around doing the drop-offs with the helicopter? I think that was you I did that with at McKenzie Field. Yeah, so like I said, that's, that's the problem, man. You don't want to get tied up in these businesses because they're not worth it, man. The bunker, you'll make more money off your bunker than you'll make off of this crap. By a long shot. Because your bunker, when you go pay 75000 and two hours later, you can make 140000 doing one run. That's 70000 an hour. So your club's doing 70000 The bunker's giving you 140000 right? So, yeah. So the MC clubs are just... I just, if you don't own the nightclub and you don't own the maze bank where you can have special vehicle and special cargo, then the motorcycle is the way to go. They basically be given these options. You can either be a CEO at the maze bank, right? Or you can be a nightclub owner, right? Or you can be an MC. Or you can be all three. See, Criminal Starter Pack gave you everything. That's what. That's why for ten dollars, it's a hell of a good deal, because you get everything. You get the nightclub, you get the fucking bank, and you get a motorcycle club. So you literally, you can start up all three enterprises. Yeah, that's what made it so. That's what's making it so cool right now. AIE is because you don't really have to pay for anything. You spend. Ten dollars, and you get you get started. You know what I mean? Back in the day, we didn't have any of this, guys. When we first started playing GTA 5 online, you didn't have shit. You didn't have no money in your pocket. You had a fucking pistol. That was it. And you had to, you know, go out and get an apartment. That's why I bought my first Dell, that Del Perro Beach apartment, man. You had to go get your money just to be able to buy the damn apartment. You had to go steal shit. You know, so yeah, it was a whole different ball game, man, back in 2013 when this game first came out compared to what it is today. Big difference in this game, man. So what I'm going to do is I have a garage up in the high desert. I think I'm going to move, I'm going to move this dirt bike and this ATV out to the desert, those. That Sanchez, I'm going to move those to the desert so I can um, bring my other bike over here. With my gold chopper, my pimp chopper. And then I got, like I said, I got those doom buggies and all that crap. I think I'll put those out in the desert too eventually. Snow Wolf, good morning to you. 
So hopefully this is sort of making sense to everybody, what, what AI, AIE and I are talking about, as far as you don't have to have an active motorcycle business going with all the, you know, with everything where you're running back and forth like a chicken with your head cut off trying to fill up the supplies constantly and trying to sell shit. You just have to own them and then let the nightclub make the passive income off of them. You can go out there and do them. Like if you're bored, you know, and your bunker's going on and the nightclub's going on and you don't feel like selling cars and you don't want to do a special cargo, yeah, you can go out to one of your night, your motorcycle ones and, you know, do some runs and do some sales, but it's not essential because the, the nominal amount that you get from that motorcycle isn't worth it, I don't think. For all the running around that they're making you do, I don't think it's worth it. I think we're doing, doing way too much running around and I can make money way too much faster elsewhere. It was a good option at one time, but not anymore. Uh, and again, owning all the businesses is stupid because the club only has five techs. So if you, if you get seven of the businesses, you're, you're not gonna be doing two of them, you're not gonna be doing shit with anyways, right? Either the weed or the meth or the coke, one of them, two of them are gonna get, so wasting them a million and a half dollars buying businesses and then upgrading them that you're never gonna use is throwing your money away. Unless you finally have everything and that's like the last thing that you wanna buy. Oh, when December comes around, well, that's why I want to get my enterprise going now. See, once I get everything going like I am now, now I can start, you know, saving my money up so when the new one comes out, you know, when whatever is going on, we can get into. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you looked awful fancy there, dude. Almost hit me on that baggio bastard. Yeah, because in December they're supposed to expand the game and I'm sure they're gonna have new shit and you know new vehicles and Man, the other day I got one of these with two stars, but I was doing that mission with fucking Jupiter so I couldn't fucking keep it. I was so pissed off, man. Yeah, I got one of these the other day with got on it and had two stars, so that means I could have kept that damn thing. This is an expensive one, this one right here. I don't want I don't wanna I don't wanna buy it, man. There's too much fucking money there for a motorcycle. If I buy anything today I gotta buy that that sucky bus or whatever the fuck it is. The Halloween bike. It won't be around until next year. That one. Does that make sense? But yeah, I made the same mistake, man, AIE. I I started out with the motorcycle thing and I sunk all that money into it with the security and upgrading the staff and all that. And then I got raided by the fucking cops and I couldn't get out there and the whole thing got shut down. So then what happens is you gotta go out there and start it back up again and do another supply run. You don't you lose your security and staff, but every, you lose everything. And I have like $800,000 tied up. I had product there. I, you know, I was full of stock and full of fucking um, supplies. So I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna bust out. You know, I have $400,000 sitting here and shit. Yeah, and the police came out there. I lost everything. <laughs> lost it all. I was, I was so fucking pissed off. Because I couldn't get out there in time. By the time I got there, I rolled up there. And I didn't realize there were gonna be that many cops there either. And they just shot me full of holes and that was it. Oh, Snow Wolf, yeah, Lee. you know it's legal here, man. I tell you guys that all the time. That pot's legal in Maine. One good thing about living here, I can smoke all the weed I want and I don't have to worry about getting in trouble. That be a set. I think I'm gonna hit up a bowl right now. Let's get some BHS. 
How's that? Watch some movies about lost innocents, jet planes, and gophers. I'm Loggins. Come with me. We're gonna do this together. Legal man, totally legal. I think you like, at least I hope you like them. Should be legal everywhere, man. Jesus, it's only weed. The fuck? <coughs> how many people die of alcohol related injury a deaths every year compared to how many people die of marijuana? Death every year. I can tell you what those statistics are. Alcohol related, over 50,000. Marijuana, zero. <laughs> so, there you go. There's your stats. Ah, proper talk etiquette on Arma. <coughs> <coughs> Most people aren't going to talk to you. I'm not saying that to be a smart ass, I'm just telling you. Um, communication is is global. What, the, what type of hat does this guy have on? Yeah, what's, what is this guy? What type of helmet does that guy got on? That's what I want to do, dude. What, the, what type of helmet are you wearing? He must work at the airport. Yeah, he must work at the airport. Oh yeah, he's over there. He's a pilot. He just came from the airfield right there. He's got his flight helmet on. I wonder what that helps. You guys are all weird. Yeah, some of them is Snow Wolf. So Anthony, the whole thing is when you go in there and you go into your communication settings and your you know your key mapping, you're gonna see their side channel, right? That's gonna come up blue when you talk on side channel, that's basically everybody in the game can hear you that, right? Then there's group. Group will be green, right? That's That means everybody in your group can hear you talk, whether they're close to you or, or any place in the map, right? Then there's yellow. Yellow is vehicle. Vehicle means what it means. Only people inside that vehicle can hear you talking. So even your group members outside the vehicle won't hear you. It's basically when you're inside of an aircraft or a tank or armored vehicle or jeep or different, whatever, whatever vehicle. Then white is command channel. And that's more like an admin type channel, right? So those are the voice channels. Now, sometimes people don't realize it and they'll be on blue, which is side channel, and they'll just be fucking talking away. And then I have to go on there and say, dude, Go on your fucking group channel with your group and shut the fuck up. Because I don't want to fucking hear you. Alright, AIE, I'll see you when you get to work, bro. Have a safe drive, okay? Okay, now, as far as if you need help in the game, right? Say you're in the game and you're out doing shit, right? You can call for an extract. Basically, to say... You say, hey, is anybody a pilot, right? I need an extract and I need to RTB. RTB is return to base, right? Or I need to go to a different AO, area of operation, right? Or I need resupply. So you want to carry white smoke, right? White smoke or green smoke, right? Usually white, so that way you can pop some smoke when the helicopter is coming in so they can see where the fuck you're at. Because it is a little hard to see in that game, as far as seeing people, because you're camouflaged, you're standing on the earth. So a helicopter pilot is easier if you're popping smoke. So in general, you can just get on there, and you can hit your U key, usually, or your Y key, and that'll pull, pull up a group menu. You can either start a group, or if there's people playing already, you can click on them and join their group if they don't have it locked. At that point, you'll get a little icon, right? You get a, you'll get a, 
which will be, you know, white pentagon above, above your character. And then that way you know where you're at and where everybody else is at. Because there's no marks on the map. When you open up the map, you don't see people on the map. Because it's a military map. You're not going to see anybody on the map. The only way you're going to be able to tell the friendlies is by visual. Or if they've grouped up with you, they have that icon. So it's sort of important to see how people are dressed. And this is where people make a mistake in that game. Is they want to dress like fucking, you know, like a tango, man. And I'm like... If you want to fucking dress up with a fucking, you know, silk pajamas on and a vest and a fucking baklava and carry an RPG and an AK-47, I guarantee you I'm going to fucking kill you. These are some great because you're, you're dressing like the enemy, you dumb shit. What American troops go out in combat or any country's troops and dress like the fucking Taliban or Al-Qaeda? unless they're going into some undercover covert operation, right? If you're doing straight up combat, are you gonna fucking dress like the enemy and carry their own? Even in Vietnam, American soldiers wanted to use the AK-47, right? Because it's a very reliable weapon compared to the M16, which jammed all the time because it's precision made. So it doesn't have the tolerances for dirt, even, you know, carbon, even your, uh, um, your gunpowder residue will build up and jam an M16. So they love the AK. The problem is, the minute you hear an AK-47, your first reaction is to turn that way and shoot that fucking direction because you think it's the Viet Cong, right? Or the NBA regular army. Dress like the hottie that just walked past. You're hilarious, Keith. Yeah. So in Arma 3, if you want to dress like that, then you got to make sure everybody knows that you're dressed like that by having an icon. You don't, and then people say, yeah, but I don't want to be in your group. I want to be alone because everybody wants to be a sniper, pilot, lone wolf, right? That's fine. You go off and do your thing, but get a fucking icon. So this way, when I'm shooting people from a thousand meters or two thousand meters, at 2,000 meters out, you just look like a little fucking, you know, bad guy running around to me. You know what I mean? I see you running around in the town. You may be killing those guys in that village or town or whatever. But if you're dressed like them, it's a little bit hard sometimes to tell who's shooting at who. Because there might be other friendlies down there. And you're like, oh, I'm going to be all cool and dress like these. Yeah, so then you get shot and they start whining. But generally, as a rule of general thumb, you just have to know about... You know, people are gonna, you're gonna hear RTB a lot, which is return to base. You hear that all the time. You know, but most people just you can type. Also, right, you hit the T key and you can just type in there. Hey, I need an extract. I need a pickup. I need the RTB. Who is anybody a pilot? Because some guys, that's all they like to do. They they just like to shuttle people back and forth. Literally, that's all they do. When the AOs, you know, the operation starts. They'll pick you up, take you out to the AO, and then they just shuttle people back and forth. Because a lot of servers will have the flagpole turned off because there's a spawning flagpole. Or but or people just jump in the chopper. So you get a lot of chopper pilots that'll just, that's what they do, they just shuttle. Now, to be a pilot on that note, if you plan on being a pilot in Arma 3, most servers require you to join their team speak. They still use TeamSpeak. And a lot of them are using Discord now. But it is a requirement. If you're going to get inside of an aircraft, you have to be able to communicate. Because the problem is only so many aircraft are in these games. They don't just, like, spawn out the fucking ass. So if you're a sniper pilot, that means, well, I'm going to dress up like a sniper, and I'm going to go steal a fucking helicopter and go fly it out there. Arma 3 is like role playing. It's like being a real soldier. So let me ask you this. You're assigned a role as a sniper. You are a sniper and you have a spotter, right? And you're assigned to a squad, which is assigned to a platoon, which is assigned to a company, you know, and then they're assigned to a you know brigade, battalion, and all the way up, right? You get your fucking M320 and all your shit and ghillie suit, and you run down there to the fucking your 
you know, aviation division, because most of them have an air cav, and you just go jump in a fucking helicopter and say, I'm going to fly off and go shoot some bad guys, and tell me how far you get. First off, the security police on the flight line are not even going to let you get close to the fucking airplanes. First, you're not even going to get on the flight line, because you're going to get stopped at the fucking gate, and they're going to ask you for your ID. And if you don't have flight line ID, then they're not going to let you on the flight line. That, it works pretty simple in the military. They're, they're not that stupid. So, that being said, in Armored 3, it, since it's, you're pretty much playing a real soldier and people who play that like to role play like they're real soldiers, if you're on that type of server. Obviously, if you're on a survival server or a player versus player server like Battle Royale or King of the Hill Cop, then the rules are different. We're talking about straight up military, you're a fucking 11 Bravo or a medic or you're a combat lifesaver or engine or whatever. You know, EDO, sniper. Yeah, you gotta play by the fucking rules of Arma 3, not by your rules. This is why people don't realize how fast they can get kicked off a fucking server. See, you get kicked off a server because there's people there lots of times that you don't even know there's somebody there. Right? So, it's, it's, it's called SOPs. SOPs are standard operating procedures. And the standard operating procedure is there's usually a big ass billboard right there when you spawn in that'll tell you what the fucking rules are. And what, usually one of the first rules is don't blow up all the assets at the base because people like to get guns and start blowing everything up for some crazy reason. Don't get vehicles, like don't jump on a, mo a little quad bike or whatever just to fucking, because you don't want to walk fucking 300 fucking meters to a helicopter. And then you leave the quad bike there and get in the helicopter and fly away. Nope, can't do that. Don't fly a helicopter unless you're a pilot. Can't be a pilot unless you're on TeamSpeak or Discord. See, these are all rules. This is why you don't have a lot of kids playing Armor 3. Because it ain't a fucking kitty game. This is why I always suggest to people, if you're tired of the bullshit, you're tired of the kids, the fart night, you know, and the, and the pug, and the fucking COD, and you want to step it up, you're going to have to get a PC, you're going to have to start playing Armor 3. It's the bottom line, man. There's no way around that. It's the difference between playing in the minor leagues and the major leagues, man. Right? You know? Oh, meow. You Do me a favor, meow. Um, you can't keep coming in and doing that, okay? I don't mind you doing it once, but now you're, now you're, um, you're spamming my channel. Alright, so, I'm gonna do this first. I'll put you in timeout, and give you a little bit of time to think about what you're doing, because you know why? You're not even coming here and saying, hi, Sergeant Nick Fury, hello, how are you today, hi, everyone in chat. Now you're just coming here wanting people to go to your channel. So, if I report you to YouTube, you could be in a little bit of trouble, because you don't have a lot of subscribers yet. So, it's one thing to be helpful, but it's another thing to come to a party at somebody's house, right? And walk in there, and tell the host, hey, motherfucker, give me a beer, and then slap his ass on the wife and say, man, I like to tap that fucking shit. You know what I mean? And that's what you're sort of doing. You're sort of disrespecting my house. So, when you get done with the timeout, because it basically deleted all your shit, so nobody's going to see anything you said, you can come back and either do two things. You can tell me, hey, I want to be nice, and yeah, I'm a new, a new YouTube user, and I only got 47 subscribers, and it would be nice to get some more followers, or you can be a dickhead and I'll just ban you from my channel. Yeah, see, hell, she devil, man. She don't pull that shit with me. And she's my sister. I would let her get away with that bullshit before I let you get away with it. So again, now you're being a dickhead. You know what I mean? So, you're going to feel the wrath of the fury at this point. Welcome back, sis. Yeah, so you need to, like, there's a right way and a wrong way. I even have on my Discord, literally, a whole section for you guys if you're streamers. You just have to say, hey, Sarge, I stream, can I shoot you my info, and I'll put you right up there on Discord. And we'll pimp, we'll tell people who you are, and if you're a streamer, and we'll check you out. I don't mind. Dude, fuck. 
people have a choice, man. If they want to watch you, they're going to watch you. If they want to watch me, they're going to watch me. Right? I'm not threatened. Oh my god, you know how many channels I've been kicked off of on Twitch? Because these idiot women. Oh, hey, Sergeant Fury, welcome. What are you doing today? Oh, well, you know, I was just getting ready to stream over here. Blah, blah, blah. You've been banned from the channel. I'm like, well, you fucking ask me what the hell I'm doing. What do you want me to lie? Well, I got my handy wipes here and my lotion because you're so hot. I just want to masturbate while I watch you. I mean, that's what they want to hear. That'll get your, that'll get you a little tickle, a little giggle, and a little, oh, aren't you so cute? Oh, my God. Oh, you're so flirty with me. Yeah. They don't want to hear, hey, I'm like, you know, getting ready to stream because, you know, I do these type of games. And, oh, no, you start putting that shit in chat. Bam, you're out of there, man. Like, oh, hell no. Because they're so threatened. And then they, they don't even change the expression on their face when they're banning you. That's They're so calm and cool and collect, that ban will pop up right there. You've been banned, and they won't miss a beat. They'll just keep talking. They won't even, like, pause to, like, oh, I had to get rid of this asshole. Excuse me, everyone. Oh, no. That's how smooth they are, man. So, no, that's why I streamed on Twitch yesterday, right? All day. Because I want to listen to hardcore rock music and stuff, and YouTube freaks out. Because I can play this music in the game, right? But the minute I try to play Spotify, they go, Hey, Skywalker, man. Good morning, man. Yeah, the minute I play Spotify, they freak out. They, they stop my stream. Right? So, that's why we were on Twitch yesterday. But, yeah, Twitch is like crazy, man. I don't really like Twitch anymore. You know, it's fun to be over there, but I don't want to work. You know, and Twitch is a lot of work. Twitch, you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta like smooge people all the time to get them to give you bits and you know all the interaction stuff. To, you know, it's like it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on Twitch. YouTube's work too. However, you people are more mellow, man. You're more willing to sit back and chill and listen to me and play a video game or do your work or housework or driving the car, or, you know, whatever the fuck you're doing, or straight up watching me. Over on Twitch, oh my god, it's like this total engagement of the fucking audience, man. Total. You know, and then, like I said, you gotta push, you gotta push it. It's like, ah, man, that's like, do that, man. Yeah, see, Keith, that's what most people go for, Keith, is the cleavage, man, duh. At least you're being honest. I mean, come on. You're flipping through the Twitch channels, right? For Call of Duty or Division, right? You see some geeky guy, right? With a scraggly looking, you know, scraggly looking beard, half half grown beard that looks like weebies and all this. Right? Geeky up the butt, right? And he's like, you know, trying to talk to you all geekish and stuff. And then you go to the next one and some hottie girl with her little pink ear bud headphones on in her pink chair and all the little lights in the background in her bedroom because they all stream in their bedroom why do women stream in their bedrooms can you guys know why right it's not like oh my god i wish i could be on that bed with her right now man oh if i was right there we could turn off the stream and we could be just doing stuff man <clears throat> So why do women scream in their bedrooms? Huh? <laughs> why every time I walk by here, happy? Because we're talking about quit, you know? And why all these women, like, I say, look, you're going to be quick looking at all the gamers. You're gonna, I want to watch you to play Call of Duty. And this weedy guy with glasses and juicy looking, right? And you go to the next one, it's a girl. Who the fuck are you gonna watch? Are you gonna cook back to the creepy guy and go hang out with creepy dudes? Or are you gonna sit there with the fucking hottie and you're looking at the bed thinking, oh yeah, I wish I was in the bed with her. 
That's what these women do. That's stupid. Sex sells. If you don't know that, then you guys really need a reputation, man. Sex sells. Right? Straight up, man. Sex sells. Sex. Sexy. 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 Sexy car. Sexy clothes. Sexy food. Oh my god. Dweebiness does not sell. Dweebs don't sell. Nobody wants to buy a dweeb. Women want dweebs because women don't want a good looking man. You know why? Because they're worried about the other woman taking them. That's why women don't want to date good looking men. Or they date them but they don't want to marry them. Women will marry a plain man faster than they'll marry a hottie man. Every day of the week. Because they're worried, they get insecure. They got a hottie guy, they're gonna constantly worry about some other woman hitting on them. They got a normal dude, that ain't happening. Come on, man, you guys are, I have to really say all this? I will. That's a fact of life, man. Ah. Why, you don't see it every day. You don't go places and see some not drop dead gorgeous looking model lady, you know, and you know, and she's with some guy that, you know, has a big beer gut and, you know, balding and, oh, I know where everybody goes. Oh, well, he has a lot of money. No, not necessarily. Women are more practical than men. Women will marry out of necessity to have somebody there to give them kids and they will for looks because they know looks fade so in the long run a woman wants somebody that can work hard and provide and give them security and all that Man. <laughs> well Keith yes there are a lot of legitimate women gamer on Twitch and you hear me say that too. But that's a small minority. It's not a majority. You're talking, and most of those you never see. You, you're trying to tell me when you guys go to Twitch and you go to watch somebody play GTA 5, you go to all the way to the bottom of the list where there's some girl that has one viewer. Bullshit. You're looking, you go to the hottie girl that's got all the people watching her and shit because she knows how to pimp herself. That's it. That's who most times, you know, that's why those other girls only have one viewer and two viewers. They could be like, oh, she must not be that kid because she's only, those are the people I support. Those are the ones I go watch. The people have one viewer or the people have zero viewers. Those are the ones that say, hey, you know what? You're doing a really good job keeping up. And they're like, what? <laughs> They're like shocked. I'm like, yeah, you're doing a really good job. I like the fact that you're willing to sit here and stream with nobody. That's Ask Mr. Ortiz. Next time it's Tommy, Mr. Ortiz comes around, ask him when I first told him about streaming. Ask him what impressed him about me more than anything else. He said, when you watch Sarge, he talks whether he's talking to one person or 300 people. That's how I talk to my audience. I don't care if there's one of you listening or 3,000 listening. It makes no difference to me. The message is still the same. Always, man. You know. So, yeah. Kudos to all those people that can make a living, right? And they're honest and they're hardworking and they're good gamers. But I guarantee you, man, I've been in this business a long time. And most of the people that are over there are just fakes. A lot of them don't even play, guys. This is why you don't see their hands. Go watch. Go look at what I'm saying. This is why you don't see their hands. Because they're not using a keyboard or mouse or a controller. Somebody else is sitting. This is why you see them and you see a little box in the corner with the fucking game running. Because... You don't give a fuck about the game anyways. You're paying attention to her and her tits. 
or her eyes or her lips or whatever, you know, the way her body, you you know, this is what it's about focusing on them and not about the game that they're showing you a little screen. It's the ones the opposite where they have the whole game running and you can barely see their ass down in the corner. Those are usually the more the gamer type women, you know what I mean? Because they're not pimping themselves as much. But when it's the opposite, when you see a babe sitting there and you got a little dinky game running, I can pretty much tell you where that whole stream is, is where the whole mindset. What? All right. I'll be right back, everyone. The customer's here to pick up this computer. You want to run out to my car? I'm going to get my face now. I forgot to get it.
All right. The customer's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. We're all happy. And she's got a $200 computer for $100. So she's a happy camper. But I can sell off her parts. Um, I got parts I can sell from her old one. So. I got the screen I can sell and the keyboard and it's got a CPU on the motherboard. Motherboard's actually good. I think it's um it's the switch that I got sent was bad. The new switch, but and I got refunded for that, so <sighs> okay. So anyways, enough of that bullshit. <coughs> the reason we're out here, because I bought this warehouse over here. See, you know how I am, right? I like to buy shit close to where I have my shit sold, right? If that makes sense. <laughs> so, since I have a counterfeit business right up the street, right? It sort of makes sense that you get a um, garage. Like close to where your shit's at, right? Does that make sense? So what I did is I came over here. But where are we at? Hold on, let's slow down here. Back up there, big boy. Yeah, see, here's a, the free motorcycle club I have. But since I already have that one, you know, I don't need two, right? That makes sense, correct? Oh, the garages are on the other one, sorry. I was like, why don't I see the garages here? I remember. On this one. My bad. Alright, so what I did was... I was thinking about buying this other one because it's by my um, cocaine place. I think that's the one. Zoom in. There's one right next to my cocaine. Yeah, there's your apartment. We don't need that. There, here it is. This is it. That it? Nope, that's not it. What the hell's that garage at? That I can buy. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's over here. I always get confused, man, trying to figure out which one of these stupid ones to go to. No, nope, that's the one I was at. So where's that garage? Because there's a garage right over here by the end of the airport. That I want to buy. It's at that. But I don't see it on here. I don't see it on this one. It's, I'm getting confused. Let's buy this one. It's over here. Yeah. I'll just go out there. It's right here. I'll just go there. I'll show ya. Look at this. Yeah, this is a helicopter they gave you for free, so you can win these froggers. Well, I like to watch people game. Like I said, you know, I enjoy watching people because, like I said, there's all sorts of hidden talent out there, right? Very talented people. And a lot of times they don't get the spotlight, right? This is why Twitch is bad because you get buried on Twitch, 
right? You have to drill down and drill down and look for people and look for the game and then, you know, scroll and uh, all this crap. Whereas on YouTube, you just go there and there's a, you know, there's a sidebar that runs. Yeah, see this, there's this um, place right here for sale. This garage is like a too far. The reason I was thinking about getting this, right, is because the counterfeit business is right there, right? So you can always store a vehicle right here. That's some type of armored vehicle that you have to go do runs and shit on, right? That's what I was thinking about buying this one, but I can't find the damn thing. This is that other stupid one. Yeah, see? Two-car garage. Cool. Now we have, are you watching this AIE, by the way, what I'm doing? Oh, that's right. AIE is on driving to work. I forgot. My bad. You'll see this later. I'll have to remind them. Yeah, so this way I have that little garage there and you can stash a vehicle because, you know, sometimes you have to go on runs to do shit and you come out and you got to run around and look for a fucking vehicle to drive. So if you own that garage right there, you can just run in that garage and have some, you know, vehicle in here that you can use so this way you're not shuttling vehicles around and all that crap Does that makes sense and we're going 28k for a two-car garage so that's like nothing that shit anyways. I guess I don't want to bring those other vehicles out that I have over at the um, club and those two motorcycles, the quad bike and that Sanchez. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? Yeah, which one is that? The um, that little Volkswagen one. Oh, the Granger, we can bring that out here. I'll bring it to you. That's like an SUV. So you keep that out here. You could semi-armor that, put bulletproof tires or some shit on it, and then you could use that for running back and forth for your shit. vehicle there because like I said half time you come out and you gotta run around and either spawn a vehicle up or go steal one out of that freaking parking lot so if you have one that's armored and bulletproof tired then at least you got a halfway decent one so you can go out and do your shit and do your run and come back with it so what brings you in today 
See, it's only 35k. That's armored and bulletproof tires. That way we can go use them on our run. So if you do decide to sell shit from there, at least you have a nice vehicle that's already ready to go. You just run in that garage, get it, and go do your thing. Don't forget to make it pink. Oh, Keith. I don't think I can do that, sir. You're funny, man. Funny, man. But see, like I said, this way you got your counterfeit business right there. You got a two-car garage right here. So you already have an armor, you know, a hardcore vehicle in there. That's good enough for right now. You know, later on if you want to get something silly. But again, you just need something with bulletproof tires and armored that you can drive to pick up the shit and then drive it back. Because lots of times you're gonna, you don't need a vehicle. It'll tell you if you need to have a vehicle or not. But lots of times you're just running back and forth. So better just to do it that way. All right, let's get into the other one up here. I'm trying to remember what these ones are that I have. What's that? I can go look it up before I call it up. That'd probably be the easiest way to do it, huh? This BF injection, that one. That's the other one I'm going to bring up here. And then the two bikes. And we'll put those over at the end. You're through to your garage. We'll you uh, need me to bring you a ride? Yeah. This one. It's on the way. Yeah, this way we'll put these two here. And then the, the the bike and the quad. I'll put it the other other garage. And it spawns right here in front of the T-shirt shot. If you should you need a vehicle, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So this one, we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure the tires are bullet bulletproof and it's armored up. Best mechanic in LS do for you. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure out something, dude. I'm quite sure, but we'll figure it out. 100% guaranteed. Well, 
to keep this, we don't want to lower it. We keep the suspension high on this one. Does it matter? Uh, Thomas, no, man, that was only that one day, Thomas. That was all. All right, so there you go. So now you got another one that's fully armored and bulletproof. So if you want to go, like, if you have to go cross-country, you can, like, bounce all over the place with this one. If you're going to go straight on the road, you can take that SUV. Plus the SUV holds more than two people. This is for two people. Oh. Explosive. Explosive attachments are, you can put explosives on the vehicle, on the ignition. So if you're in player versus player, you can leave the car unlocked and then you can like lure other players in to try to steal the car. Right, so I can put like, I can get a car and like fix it up really nice. And you know how I like, I run up there and I see cars in the game and I try to get into them. So basically, you leave it, leave it so it's accessible to everybody. And then you put an ignition explosive. So when they go in there and they try to hotwire the car, it blows up and kills them. Exactly, a booby trap. So if you're gonna, so it's a way, it's a honey pot. One of these days I'll show you guys. What I'll do is I'll go get a nice car and I'll set it up like that. And then we'll go park it someplace and we'll hide and go into like ghost mode. And then we'll let somebody, some player will come and see that really nice sports car sitting there or something. Go, fuck, look at that car, man. And then they'll jump in it and boom, and they'll be dead. This is why lots of times you'll see me just blow them up because I don't trust it. Yeah, you can F them up, bro. All right, so anyways, we got our garage here, right? With both these vehicles are bulletproof, armored, right? So that way when you go do your runs. Now the forgery business is right down the street on the other side. Well, actually it's on the other side of the lake. So we're gonna go over there and buy a garage over there and do the same thing. This way you always have vehicles close by. I mean, you can't get any closer than this. You know what I mean? That's like, but for 28K, it's worth having the garage right there. This way you have the convenience of knowing that you have an armored, bulletproof, tired vehicle at your disposal. See, I don't have anything going on here, but there's, you see they're working away, right? No product, no supplies, but they're working. You know why? Because the nightclub is buying. See, I have the guy at the nightclub, he buys directly from them. So he'll take cash from their nightclub and he buys here. That's how it works. That's why the nightclub is your money maker. These, these things are okay if you have time and you're not doing anything and you want to come out and dick around. But these people will work. And you just have to put the staff here. You have to make sure there's people. You know, but you don't have to have any product or any supplies. Nope. Everything they make is going to the nightclub. Nah, no problem. 
Your typing isn't bad, Thomas Lee. Don't worry about your typing, bro. You know what the fuck you're saying. Yeah. This is why I was telling you guys, you don't need to have... As long as you've upgraded. You gotta upgrade, though. You don't upgrade, you're screwed, because they won't produce anything. Okay? Here, I haven't done it yet. But, so, like I said, if you don't have a nightclub, right? Say you don't have a nightclub at all, okay? All you have is a motorcycle club. Then you have to do these. You have to do the equipment, the staff. You have to. You got no choice or else you're not going to make any money. See, now, as I get to the point where I'm comfortable, I can do this and they would start generating faster stuff. But then again... You get in a problem like she devil had and I had that as soon as you get over forty thousand, this idiot game, you need two people. It's like if you keep it like twenty five K you get lucky, you might have one you can do by yourself. But yeah, the idiot game, once you get up a little bit, oh it's gonna take multiple vehicles, make sure you have enough people, you're like, Oh my god. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. But if you don't have a nightclub then you're going to want to upgrade because obviously they're not going to make any money on the slow. I mean, don't make it, but the more you put in, the faster it comes out. Yeah, that's all they're doing. They're just printing. Here's the paper right here, Keith, where it goes in. All right, roll the stock paper, right? And they print the first color. It's a three-color process for American bills. You know, it comes out over here. It goes on the tray. And then this guy's got a hand paper 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 cutter. He's gonna cut it by hand. You know what they do over here is they proof them, and then they, they um, use a chemical on there to keep the ink from coming off the paper, right? Then what she's doing over here is she's adding poker chips, and what that does is that puts the right color fibers on there because of this cloth that's going to imprint but this is all old it's, it's none of it's done like this anymore what they're showing you is all old technology man in that sense but that's what she's doing is the poker chips are going to embed plastics right the green the blues and the reds and the whites and all that into the material because american money is most money is not paper feels like paper it's actually cloth that's what she's doing then obviously they're doing the final check and prepping and then stacking and cleaning and then it goes on these carts over here. If you were to have product, these carts would start filling up with cash to the point where you have to sell them. So that's it. But again, if you don't have, if you don't own, see and there's your stock. If you don't own a nightclub, then you damn well want to buy everything here. You want to buy your security, you want to buy your equipment, you want to buy your people. And that way every day, you're making a pretty good income every day. Because that's your main source of income. You're a motorcycle club owner, right? That means you're going to be running back and forth doing your motorcycle club shit. Does that make sense? But it gets a little overwhelming if you have a lot of shit going on at the same time. And no, you can't you can't uh, hire an associate and then let them come out and do shit. Only you can log into the computer, which sort of sucks. It'd be cool if I could like hire she devil and then she could run around and go check on the businesses and all that crap. That would be cool, but that doesn't work that way. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Okay, so now we're going to move the Sanchez out here. It's coming at you. That's a dirt bike. I just want to move that and that little uh, quad because I don't need them. I don't need them um, down there. They're just taking up space. I'll move them out here to our other garage.
Yeah, because I've got this, I bought this garage over here when they were on sale for like 120k for this 10 car garage. Because this is good because you can keep your kit that you want to uh, spawn. Like I'm spawning those sand king trucks because they're worth, you know, 20 20k for the sand king. Or if you need a larger vehicle, then you have this warehouse right here. Yeah, see, this is one of the blue ones that are hard to get. So what I do is I keep that, and when you have that, then what happens is you can just drive around, and the yellow ones and blue ones will spawn. Uh, over at the car dealership, the used car dealership across from Los Santos. Yeah, they'll just spawn up, but you got to be driving one of them to get the other ones to spawn up. And you can sell those for 16000 to 20000 So if you're up in this area and you just grab one of those and you go sell it real fast and then you start your day off with twenty k in your pocket. Or if you want to give them to a friend, you want to get one for, you know, a random player... It's easier to get one and then have them spawn up if you're already driving one. Alright, so then we'll get the quad bike and get the quad bike out here. Now if we have two spots at my motorcycle club so I can buy that I can buy that that Whatever that anus incubus incubus whatever that motorcycle is it's gonna cost me frickin one point three million dollars That motorcycle All right, so what's that quad bike called a little quad bike a lot of dirt bikes so if I decide I want to buy you know a couple dirt, couple more dirt bikes I would have that one I could buy you know in case I want to go riding dirt bikes to do something where's that little quad bike at or this a dune buggy because to spawn the Easter egg Doom buggy, you have to own one of these doom buggies. See, that's how it works. Or else you can't get the Easter egg one. See, our safe's already up to 48k again. Alright, where's that thing at, man? That little quad. I know they're not that expensive. No, it's not that one. It's the other one. Oh, this one. That one? I think that's it. Street Blazer. That's one I want to move up here. That's a cool looking car right there. It's a Dinka Jester. I don't have this one. That rat one. I gotta buy this rat one. See? Okay. I don't have that. We did, We bought the Albany. And we bought the Albany Frank. Frank and Strange. Yeah, so eventually if I get all these desert trucks and all that shit, as they go on sale and crap, they can put them out here at this garage. So the purpose of having a desert, desert garage for the desert shit, right? Yeah, this is the one I have to buy right here, the Sanctus. I didn't have a place to put it. 
That's why I had to free up a spot because I didn't have any place to put it. So when we get up to four, four, three, nine, six, five hundred, I'll buy it, and that'll give me three million even again. I'd like to get this party bus, man. If this thing ever goes on Twitch Prime, if they ever do that 80% off, I'm definitely going to get that fucking party bus. No doubt. But yeah, I'll be buying this um, before the end of today. So. Just let me move that other one over here. And get on with making some money, huh? Probably getting a blazer. Nagasaki Street Blazer. Then I want him with the Volkswagens. Maybe. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Maybe. Let me know. Oh, here it is, right here, Blazer. I'll get there as soon as I can. Cool. Yeah, so this garage is worth buying because, like I said, it's, it's right here off the highway, so it's a good place in case you need vehicles and shit. Robocall. Alright, so, yeah. Guys, yeah, no, you can steal these, man. These things are sixty freaking thousand dollars. I didn't realize I was gonna buy one, and when I saw they were sixty grand, I'm like, oh hell no, I'm just gonna steal that thing, man. You have that bus? F you, Thomas. Yeah, when I found out these things were sixty thousand dollars, I went around until I found some dude driving one that was already tricked out. Already had the all-terrain tires on it. Everything. So you can find them. I just changed the paint. But yeah, it was already semi-tricked. You can get them crappy, you can get them tricked. But I was like, hell no, man. No freaking way I'm going to pay that type of money, man. For something I probably won't drive. So. Alright, so that freed up my two spots down there. Cool. Yeah, because I want to move my uh, chopper down from the arcade because I got shit. You know, the arcade. Oh, they gave us that freaking fob, too. You know, the doom buggy with the machine gun on it. The problem is you need a fucking Avenger or whatever to modify the stupid thing. I was like, man, it's like so silly. They give you all this cool shit, but it's hard to modify everything. So anyway, that's that's where we're at. We're here, chilling like a villain in the hood. Let's see if we can pull up a, um, get another Sand King real quick. Just in case we can get one. be interesting like I said with the next one as far as what we get to do and some of the shit we get to have we were talking about that last night they're going to upgrade the radio stations you know like what are they going to give us
Wow, look at that full moon. Nice. Pack works really nice in this truck. Siren. This is where you find that guy sometimes you can rescue. Sarge isn't in the mood this morning. I can talk no more shit. Just have to get you another power supply as fast as possible. By whatever means necessary. <coughs> Now this other guy, what he does, what you have a sand can, he just like drives up this hill, Chaz and drives around and it'll spawn when it's that car he just gets a different by. I'm not sure. I've done it a couple times with the Sea Devil this way. I've done it with a couple other people, so it does work. The other one is we just drive out to the beach. You know, by um, the coast by Palado Bay, along the coast there. And I can get one up there, but I already got a yellow and a blue one up there too. So. I had to spawn up the yellow one for you guys. But these are the Easter egg ones that you can get. You know, you don't get a lot to sell them, but if you were to take and buy one of the trucks and do all this tricking out and all that crap, you have to spend a couple hundred thousand. In fact, you can get them for free. is nice. So spawn at that dealership across the street over there. Most of the time it's only 8 to 10 in the morning. That's what's so lame about this location. Yeah, that's the lucky part. But I didn't think it was going to work. I have had them spawn at night time. A traditional way is by coming down here and jumping this fucking house over here if I can do this. Without getting this fucking rock like I used to. Now I can jump the house, see? I'm supposed to jump that house. That blue house. And it's supposed to spawn it when you jump the house. We did it with G Devil. We went across the road just from the other side over there. It so worked fine. There's a, there's a rock over here, so when you come up on an angle, you can do it on an angle, but you gotta be careful. There's a fucking rock over there you hit. You come hauling ass around here, and you hit that freaking rock. So usually, I'll do it from across the road over here.
usually that's what you're supposed to do. Then you drive down to this road. When you drive all the way back around at the proper time, it'll spawn these up in that, where that car lot is, where that security guy was. But most people say it only happens between 8 and 9 in the morning. Obviously, it's not 8 and 9, but I do believe we did it at night because that security guy was there. I think when we did it one time. But that's what you do. That's how I did it here. And then the other time I drove up the hill, like I just showed you, I drove around and I spawned one that way too. So, two ways to do it here. The blue ones are harder to spawn than the yellow. The yellow ones spawn pretty quick. And the yellow ones are worth more, so it's just sort of bizarre. It'll be the opposite. Like I said, I don't know. I did it both ways, but it definitely looked like it was that certain time of day. It was between 8 and 10 a.m. But on the coast, it happens a lot more frequently. You can lock the game at 12, too, and the one on the coast will spawn all the time. It's like the little rat trucks in that play, though. So we're going to go over there and do a bunker run right now. So I got 210,000 in the bunker. It's just the club not going anywhere, so we'll do a bunker run for it. See if this is fun, what up? Oh, come on, man, you're still gonna have to go lay down. Yeah, lay down, lay down. Let me lay down. I have I had them spawn both ways, and but there's not. But this is where you would do it is out here. It's gonna spawn, it's gonna spawn. It's gonna be about that time, I think. Fine. So it works. Okay. Tough deed, man. I like that. You get up again? Okay. You get 12 fucking dollars, man. I didn't need beer money. That's all. 128 bucks. Even better. A cute little car. It would drive the shit out of your car and beat it up. How's that?
get out of the asphalt, man. You want to blow the tires up, dude. You can do it out here. There you go. I ain't got that with the tires. Just get ready to say, oh, but that looks cool, huh? That nice. Hard work, huh? It's pretty, huh? It's hard to blow out all four. Too small of a car. All right, well, that was fun. Now, yeah, let's go do the bunker. Bunker time. Oh, here we go. Actually, we're going to do a sightseer and a headhunter first. How's that? Go. Plan. want to do headhunter rap because we get two here and then one usually up in North Toledo we'll get the other two and we're going to be at the bunker anyway. Not perfect. Headhunter is fairly easy at this. Or I can do the sights here first and then the headhunter. You know how sometimes you're just like gaming or doing shit and then you don't realize you have to pop your ears and it all of a sudden it's like you can hear everything. Wow. Big difference, huh? Alright, so what are we going to do? Oh, I'm an MC. I got to not be an MC. Hold on. And we have to be a, um, what do you call it? The other one. That dude. That guy. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You gonna lay down or what? Come on, lay down, honey. Yeah, lay down. Yeah. Come here, baby. What? Can lay down or what? Lay down or what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Distancy now for a few minutes, okay? You just go to sleep. 
I know you want to go to sleep, but I gotta like use the controller. I mean, use the steering wheel or the pedals. If you're trying to lay on my lap, it doesn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> funny girl. Yeah, funny girl. What? What, kitty What? trying to butter me up for? I don't have nothing for you. I don't have nothing for you. What do you want? You can come on my lap, but I can use the steering wheel. You know what I mean? That's just the way it's gonna be. You want to lay on my lap, come over here and figure out how to do that. Huh. huh. You know what? why the helicopter is not worth 1.8 million fucking dollars for that simple fucking reason right there. You fucking, you can't fucking feed this motherfucker with, with one freaking bullet. You can't kill this guy. With one, with, I mean, with one rocket, I guess shoot rocket after rocket after rocket after, I guess that's fucking stupid, see? Stupid man. Never had any problems killing these guys before. And all of a sudden today I'm like this, going through all this bullshit. Where the hell is this guy at? Here. 
Let me steal this guy. Hey, turd burgers, let's go! Alright, turd burger. Ugh. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this guy's right over here, too, see? That's stupid, man. We'll have to go and uh, steal more cops to go to jail, guys. This guy's like right here, standing over here with his finger up his butt. Uh oh, disco devil! Disco devil! They're playing the Disco Devil song. Disco Devil. Who that? Who that? Who that? Disco Devil. <laughs> disco Devil and the Disco Rebel. That's right. Stop that vehicle right now! What if I don't? What if I don't want to stop, big boy? Make me stop. Huh? 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 Make me stop the vehicle right now. Right. Yes, go down. Bebop. 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 Yes, go down. I did not sell my soul. So I will not sell my soul. I will not sell my soul. This go devil. Come on. Stop! Stop! Helicopter! <laughs> what? That make you jump? Come on, this go devil. Where's it at? Come on, god damn it. Give my disco devil song. Damn it, damn it, stop you H to hell. Whoa, 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 yeah, I know, because you don't have no, it's like massive, like, shit happening, you know? Oh, Operation has gone south. <laughs> they should remove this song? Oh, hell no. Are you freaking crazy? Why would we do that, sis? That's insane, man. No effing way. Look shit, out! Shit, shit, oh. My partner got hit! Get me out of here! He had hemorrhoids. What the hell? Yeah, hemorrhoids. You look like a train. Oh, you're not dead yet? No fucking way. Oops, sorry. No way I shot that guy full of holes. How can he not be dead? Oh, give me an effing freaking break, man. Alright, you know what? It's like, see, this is what's wrong with this game, folks. It's like you fill these guys with holes. Like, really? I just shot, put 39 millimeter rounds into that dude, but he's still alive. He jumped right back up again. How's that feel? You gonna get back up from that? How's that feel? I don't wanna be here! There, you gonna get back up? Huh? You fucking loser! Ya mook! Ya mook! There. You dead this time? You sure? Just to make sure. We'll put a couple more in you. Freaking 
ding dong game, man. What type of game am I playing? <laughs> now he died from the sound of the shots? Yeah, more than likely. He oh, see, this guy's right here on the freeway. Son of a beehive. See, he's right there. He's going right by on the freeway. You know what that means? GTA 5 time! Time for impotent rage! That's right. Wow. wow! Wow! That was cool! Hey, right. you have way too much fun. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can't look at me like I've lost my mind. <laughs> a bounty! A bounty! That guy's dead as a fucking doorknob! How can you put can't put a bounty on something? What the hell? Get out from underneath my frickin' truck! You sheriff of Blaine County? God. The things I go through. Time to Oh my god, this is kind of a little bad you know, bike. Just like cruising along going, oh my god, you get out. Oh shit balls. I just have for a little ride. <laughs> I was feeling like a little claustrophobic. I thought I'd get out. <laughs> I get caught up in this. Don't worry, son. We'll be able before you know it. Antonio, what you retracted your message? No way, Jose. Oh, no way, Jose. I mean, no way, Antonio. Sorry, you're not Jose. Antonio. Yeah, I'll get it straight. This is not funny, Thomas. This is serious. <laughs> Whoa! Jing Yowie! Where'd he come from? Oh, stop! In the name of love. Come on, what the hell, man? Get off of me, dude! Oh my god. The life of a hitman. That's all I can say. Whew. You guys are lucky. Yeah. You guys are lucky. That you don't have to go through this shit. You know what I mean? Whoa! Did I get extra points for that? Alright, cool. Here we got one more target to go. <gasps> this madness will come to a stop. Oh god. I'm not ready to turn the channel. That's all I can say. But, for some crazy reason, I can't. I'm like glued to this stuff. It's like this craziness. If I can say, this guy is insane in the membrane. All right, here we go, folks. <laughs> Everyone get to the chopper. Except for the police. You stay where you're at. All right, where's this last dude at? Can we get over here and get him? You got time? Come on, Sarge. You can do this. Damn it. Whoa, watch out for that tree. Soldier! <laughs> oh my god! Who put that freaking tree right in the way of where I was going? Oh my god, where's the last target? The pressure that I'm feeling right now is beyond description. <sighs> oh my god. What do you think? Think you can get him? I don't know, man. I'm feeling a little pressure issues going on. That's all I can say. All right. Yeah, I'm sort of feeling a little pressure. Oh, maybe I can use my chopper again. Hold on. Here's the chopper. Maybe I can patch this thing up. Sea Devil, what do you think? Come on. Come on, man. It's like, little, where's the fucking, where's the <laughs> rear end? Maybe I can, like, duct tape it on. Ah, Jesus Christ. 
Alright. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we, uh... What'd you say? I can't hear you there, Sarge. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. Walk away and say, man. A new bottle of Chapa. That's, yeah. Thomas! Wow, dude. Really? Really? Really, Thomas Lee? There was a tree there, really. That's... Thanks for warning me, bro. So nice you, Thomas. Glad you got Sarge's best interest at heart, man. You just... I don't know what I would do without you. Thank God I was looking at the chat. Right. So, might as well fall down the hill, Sarge. Go ahead. Hold down. Go ahead. Might as well. You want to go get hit by a Baggio? That didn't come out right. Not come out right. Don't listen to what I just said. Sorry to say what I think he just said. Nope. Nope. Didn't, uh, didn't come out of my lips. Read my lips. Oh well. What can I say? Thank God that work didn't cost me any money. We'll go here to the bunker and see if this comes and works out any better. Okay. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Never can tell, right? Oh my god, I ran into a freaking tree? Seriously, dude. You're on the ground running. On the ground running, right? And you run into a tree. You're not even flying. You're not driving a car. You, you tell me you can't see that big ass freaking tree in front of you. That's what you're going to tell me. Just like slam bam right into the freaking. You do know what trees are in this game, right? <clears throat> They're big stationary objects, right? Round sometimes. They, they tall branches. Yep, don't move. Wow. Sard, 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 sard. Sard, 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 sard. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you there, son. What if I told you your bunker was the other way? <laughs> I think you've been running into too many trees, man. You know what I mean, bro? You know what I mean? Too many trees? Yeah? You wanna go get some peyote? Yeah, let's go get some peyote. Go do some peyote, okay? Go do that. I need it. New model of chopper. You're funny, sis. Funny, funny, funny. Go do some peyote. I gotta do something to clear my head. All I can tell you. All I can say. We can pick up seashells on the seashore. Whoa, there's people down here. What are they doing? What are people looking at? What are you doing? Oh, look at the sunset. Alright, cool. Okay. Time for drugs. Oh, they're not here? Oh, they're not here. Not here. Why? Oh, you have to get all 76 of them before they all respawn. Oh, I see how it works. You gotta get all 76 and then they respawn. If you get them, if you give them all in like a couple hours, it takes every 24 hours they'll respawn. All right. I see how that works. So I obviously didn't get all 76 of them. I can tell you that. Nope, that didn't happen. Well, oh, it looks like the tide's coming in now. Yeah, when I just went through here a second ago, wasn't in the water. Alright. 
So back to the bunker. Right, back to the bunker at business at hand. Bunker time. Then if this door ever gave out, we'd be screwed. They'd have like a little emergency hatch that you can climb up and down. Come back. What are you doing over there? Get away from there. You better get to kick your ass. Sets. you were worried about selling these arms and them not getting used, oh, we got a buyer airlifting this shipment truck. right into a hot zone. You'll need big off-roaders to get to the pickup sites, so get in the cab and get on the road. Yeah, great. You know, I look behind the couch. She just came from back there. I got fit to her. Behind the couch. Couch. Okay, these are going to be over here this time in the hills. Alright, so... Holy shit balls, where's the first one? Oh, they're by the Hollywood thing and all that shit. Crap dog, which way we're going to go? Oh no, once they go through the mountains, I'm not going through the mountains, we're not going that way. I hate this one. We're not going to the mountains. We gotta go all the way down and then across. So the uh, what is that? The one past the um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. No, we're not going to the mountains. That's like silly. I think. I think it's fast for this. When our she devil got this truck stuck, remember that time she devil? The railing over there was hilarious. Actually, might be nice if this went on sale.
that was so funny, man. She was able to drive, drive and she was hauling ass in front of me. And also, I'm like, oh, man, I got to hurry up so I can catch up with her. The next thing I know, I go by her, and she's, like, stuck between the guardrail and the side of the mountain. It's like, okay, well. But she got her, she got her stuck pretty fast. It was just, it was so funny. Where's the smoke at? They're all pissed off about something, huh? Huh. That's all I can say. Ah, we're pissed off about something. I hear what, but... Oh. Come on, Sergeant. Tree is not moving. Unstoppable tree. Let's go on. Get up there, soldier. There you go. You can get that last one out of the hill. We're going to fart off. Oh no, man. I don't know if I can handle this or not. Give me too much. Too much. Alright, there we go, man. We are successful in our endeavor. Right, now we gotta go back and resupply, though. Like, do another one of these. Wow, 
radio station when we were on the Chapa. And that, I believe, is everything sold. Club. Next time you see those club. weapons, they'll be on the news. All right, let's go to the nightclub. Check out the nightclub. I would just get ready to say, oh, I'm doing so well. Shit. Ow. Dude, will you fucking stop fucking? Can I get my bike? Are you uh, out of your mind? No, but I can be out of my mind if you want. I can, I can try to work at it. My cat is like dripping, man. She's like, tries to lay down and then she'll move. And that, the minute I try to drive, she's like, she just doesn't understand what I'm doing. She just laying on the couch and going to sleep. Let's go find a car over there and steal. Make a quick 18k. Okay. Now this works, right? So let's be able to get a Sentinel. Either a blue Sentinel or a uh, yellow one. <laughs> Low flying truck. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro.
works. Works for me. Ooh, that was close. Alright. To our endeavor looking for a car, Sentinel. Here. Oh. You're a lucky contestant. Step right up. We need your caddy. Wow. Hey, ship for brains. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. Ship for brains. If I had a mind to, I wouldn't want to be like you. Another good indicator is you can see the pink, the pink limo parked over here, then you know it's going to spawn sentinels up there. No pink limo, no sentinels. And no cars over here, it's empty, man. Two in the morning, nothing happening. Who says Los Santos is vapid, depressing, and superficial? Well, anyone without a brain, that's who. But you've got to have a brain, don't you? Yeah. 
Four strokes, man. I can't tell you how many times I've stood on this pier and watched the sun come up just like this in real life, man. Right here on the Santa Monica Pier. Exactly like this. With somebody sitting next to you that you think you're going to be with forever. You know you're sitting here watching the sun come up, and you're by yourself with nobody Good morning there. out there. Caffeinate so. early and often. Appreciate the people that you have around you when you have around you, and when you're when you're young and you're in love. Appreciate every single moment because. Another appropriate song for exactly what I'm talking about. Victorian in high school, it sure in the fuck didn't teach me about love. It's something you can't learn in a book. You can learn from trial and error. Or you might get lucky and find that special someone and be with them forever. But man, when I hear this song, I think of a lot of a lot of different people that I know.
if you ever get a chance to get to Santa Monica, man, make sure you check out the pier, Venice Beach, all that. You guys will love it. Especially if you played this game enough, it'll be a trip. Because you'll be like, oh yeah, man, you know how many times in the game I've been on that pier? One of the cool things I just said about the game was that was the one reason I bought GTA 5. I mean, I had played 4 and it was okay, but, you know, really it wasn't my cup of tea. You know, I do have all the GTAs, but I did want 5 because of the fact that I lived here. You know, so it was like, you could sort of relate to everything that's going on on, on a more personal level. So, and I still feel like that. Having lived here for 54 years, you know, it's just like, when I drive in this game, it's like I'm really driving in L.A. I mean, it's that, that cool. So I can imagine what GTA 6 is going to be like. I believe GTA 6 is going to surprise all of us. And I'm looking forward to the update in December. Right? What are they going to come out? I mean, they're being so closed-lipped about the update. Totally closed-lipped. Okay, for Donkey Kong. Oh, my God, dude. I haven't seen you fucking forever, dude. Oh, man. So glad. I hope you and your family and friends and everybody are safe. Jesus Christ, you haven't been around forever, man. Four strokes. How you doing today, man? I can work with that. Can you meet me at the Land Huh? Ah, dude, that's great, man. Oh yeah, Keith, yeah, Keith, yeah. You don't want, you don't want to drive, you don't want to drive in real life. I, I you know, I see like news stories, like the other last week, there was some eleven-year-old kid that was driving a school bus. You know, it wasn't going fast; it didn't hurt anybody. But then he used a spike strip to stop his. The bus are like, oh, why would even, how would he even know to do that and how? I'm like, yeah, that kid's probably playing GTA 5, man. Are you freaking crazy? He's like, yeah, I'm going to go out and steal a school bus. It's okay. Huh? Facing out on me. Yeah, you. <laughs> she lost something, obviously. Not your brains, right?
Oh. Okay. Well. Everybody wished they had a problem with their safe was filling up with fucking cash and you constantly had to empty it out. Yeah, that'd be just a terrible fucking problem for all of us to suffer from. God, man, I can't handle it. The safe's constantly full, man. I'm burning money all the time, man. I think that's why a lot of people play the game. Yeah, the whole appeal of GTA is, I think, in that sense. Right. I mean, it's a challenge to try to to balance getting what I want and, you know, yeah, it's like you got to make the money to get what you want. So when I want something, then I figure out how much money I got to make and then that way I can go get what I want. Yeah. The buyer has thrown in a cash bonus. Bad news, you gotta get the shipment to them looking pristine. Alright. Let's go get the shipment to these guys looking pristine. Disco Devil again. I'm gonna try how to play this song continuously so it doesn't stop you, Devil. Disco Devil, and I'm the Disco Rebel. I got the Disco Devil, and I'm the Disco Rebel. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Disco Devil. <laughs> Look at Sea Devil. She's like. Shit balls, man! <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna be singing this song. What? You're gonna be like 
in her sleep, and all of a sudden she's gonna wake up and she's gonna be realizing that she's humming this song in her sleep. Watch. She's gonna be like, oh my god, could anything like be worse than this? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Disco devil. That's right, man. Disco devil. time. Yeah, you, you want to upgrade your speedo van, you want to max out everything on it, the engine, the brakes, the turbo, the, everything, armor, everything. This little frickin' thing will fly down the frickin' road for you real quick. It works really well. Yeah, so don't, don't skimp on this. Keith, you have a you have a good day, man. Thanks for hanging out so long with us. Have a good day at work. Stay safe over there. All that crazy crap. You know how that goes, right? Good man. Three seven. Just to let you know, you I'll have a happy that. customer. I'm gonna wire you that money minus the laundering fee. Tax man's gotta get something. Good. Not bad for 13 minutes worth of work, right? Let me go back to the bunker and supply the bunker now. All right. Let's go here to the airfield and uh, get the helo. Get a helo. That McKenzie field right over here. So, see? That was pretty quick. Quick and painless.
And you can see the wind sock. See the wind sock? That way you know that's where you know the airfield is. Thanks. If you have to go to the store, you can go to the store first and I can get to eat later and I don't care. Eight, we're almost at five mil. Well, we're doing pretty good for the day. <sighs> oh yeah, there's one of those dots on here about going and getting something from somebody, but it's way too far away. In case you wonder what the timer was all about. Those are the guys that you have to go shoot and get the car and then drive it off. It's stupid. You kill them down there at Muir Lake. And then you got to come all the way out here to drop the freaking thing off for like 20 grand or 30 grand or whatever the hell it is. The reason I'm coming down here is to try to get it to spawn another aircraft. Oh, it's not going to. Maybe I can get it easy if I go away and come back. It'll spawn another aircraft. And it coats it coats the game to give us a smaller one than that cargo bob, man. Nope. I don't think so. No. I don't really want to fly that one back. Alright, so what we're gonna do instead we'll just do this. I'm gonna hate to do this because it's on a really quiet server, so I really don't wanna do this. I'm not going to. We'll just get a vehicle and just do something else. What was the last thing we drove? limo, I don't know, super diamond, whatever the hell that is, super volter, and then that one that flies, Sanchez, dune loader, eh. bocce, havoc we don't own, I could get it to spawn me up another helicopter, see? Huh? <laughs> Let's see if Disco Devil's on the radio. Hell yeah. What do you think? What do you think, sis? You gonna get Disco Devil again? I do hope so.
Uh, I do need a Joseph. Man. Oh, there's no, there's no war, man. Between the PlayStation and Xbox Series X. Why, what war? What news, Joseph? We have that you want to share. Like to know. What type of war were you referring to, bro? <coughs> Excuse me. You have some info you'd like to share there, Joseph? That we can be privy to? Young man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Crash, I can't believe. I can't believe I you got that helicopter. I was doing that last one and I crashed. That was crazy. Frickin' trees don't move in this game, man. Let you know. They're pretty tough. Frickin' frickin' a beat. Like real trees. Uh, so what, what, what's the, what's the war? Should we, should we be worried? Is this something we have to worry about? Should we arm ourselves up? Is this something we need to get, like, combat ready for? Uh, soldiers? My stream getting more bandwidth than what I need. YouTube sure is there. I'm at the airport and I haven't even got in the fucking helicopter yet to fly over here to the bunker. But yeah, when I stream on Twitch, it's like literally 10 seconds behind. But here on YouTube, apparently they haven't worked well enough with another company called Google to be able to optimize their little browser, you know, studio. So it actually sinks. There's a lot of people that have all that stuff already, Joseph. That doesn't mean anything in that sense, bro. I thought you were gonna say like they're they're showing some new game that you know that the other one doesn't have or like they always like to do. At the end of the day, man, they're they're both the same. I mean, because the games aren't that great. They had, had better games, you know, and they're not doing very much emphasis on VR, which I don't understand why, because you guys should be all, like, into VR and all that crap, right? Does that make sense? I'm just going to do this like G-Devil and everybody else does, and I'll go do a headhunter and a sightseer if it works. And go steal a car and sell it. No, I'd make that 75k back that way. That way I can go off and do some other endeavors. I don't have to babysit this place. Or waste time doing a bunch of supply runs. Apparently. But yeah, there's a lot of people that do that, bro.
That's pretty common, man. Just to let you know. As far as you know, like he won't be the only. There's so there's already people that have already taken it apart and tested it and played here. games and yeah. Stop. I mean, there's a lot of people that have already done all that. So that's not telling us anything good. All we want to know now is what games are coming out. I mean, that's all that people care about. And are they going to have cross-play cap compatibility? The Xbox is going to win out because I can fire up my PC and play with you on my PC. Because I have an Xbox Game Pass for the PC. So that gives me the ability to do it that way. See where PlayStation's losing out because they have no cross-platform gameplay for the most part. They've only got a couple things that are cross-platform. See, this is why Call of Duty is winning. Because Call of Duty is cross-platform. This is why, you know, Pug, you know, and Fortnite, those why those games are successful, because they're cross-platform. See? Games that are cross-platform, I mean, this is 2021, man. And we're not, it's 1980. This whole bullshit about, oh, we can't make a game that everybody can just join no matter what you're playing on? That's bullshit, man. That's the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. They don't want to do that. It's all about the money. It's about roping you in and keeping you in, you know, keep you on a short leash, man. You're stuck with their platform, their crap, their controllers, their games. You know, it's like, ah, fuck that, man. What's happening is people are getting tired of the platforms and they're going to PC. See, because you guys don't have any flexibility. With a PC, you can do everything. I can stop this game right now and turn on Pluto TV. And we can watch TV just like DirecTV or Dish or Cable or any other service. I can watch that for free. I can go to Netflix. I can go to Amazon. I mean, I can do so much shit on this. My computer is hooked to my 70-inch HD TV. That's hard for you to do on a PlayStation. You can do it, but it's hard. It's hard to type, it's hard to navigate, you know, it's like limited, it's like a bunch of shit, man. And you can do it on Xbox too, but same way. So PC offers you more flexibility, more games, more options, more everything. You know, so again, the consoles are, I don't know, man. I just don't see the whole value of, wow, I could have got to spend $600 on a console and some games. You can get spend six hundred dollars on a PC, entry level PC, and start there, and then just upgrade and get a better video card, better power supply, and eventually a better motherboard, and you can keep the same case. This is the other problem with consoles. They need to make them so they're upgradable. The consoles are like Macs, man, and iPhones. Every day they come out with a new iPhone, right? Used to be every couple years, and then it was every year. Now it's every six months they gotta have a new iPhone. And consoles, why can't you upgrade? Why can't they make it so you can put more memory in, right? So you can just pop. See, now the new ones are going to have it so they have the hard drive. You can just pop an SSD drive in them, do the slots on the Xbox. So the Xbox is going to have an advantage over the PlayStation that way. Because what that gives you the ability to do is take that hard drive with all your shit on there and you go to your friend's house and pop your drive in there and play your game at somebody else's house as long as they have an Xbox X. I mean, in theory, you can do that right now with a PlayStation or with an Xbox anyways. You can just take a, have your shit on an external drive, go to your friend's house, and then hook it up the drive, go into your settings and say, you know, play off that fucking external drive and you can do the same thing. But so, yeah, but why can't you guys, they should have it so you have a socket. You can upgrade the CPU and you can put more memory in it. You know, instead of making you guys buy a freaking new console all the time. Which is crazy. And seven years? How many CPUs and video cards and all that have come out in seven years? No, that's the other problem. It's like, why can't they come out once a year with a better console? You guys gotta wait forever, man. And all it is is an over-glorified cell phone. If you look at it, it's just a big cell phone. Is what you guys have. Because everything's on one printed circuit board. There's a seven-minute video. 
that shows him taking one apart completely, Sony, the Sony guy. And it's a, just a big cell phone, bro. I mean, literally a big cell phone. That's all it is. And I'm like, oh my God, you guys are like, because everything is these little dinky chips. You don't even have a, a full-size SSD drive. You got a, a little thing the size of your thumbnail that's soldered onto a motherboard. That means when that thing fails, your game's gone, everything's gone. Oh, oh and you gotta change your whole PlayStation 5 out because it's soldered on the motherboard. Hard soldered. No, nope, you're hosed, man. Those things are, they're not worth investing money in anymore because they're basically gotten worse. Because I know how solid state shit is, man. That shit fails. It's so susceptible to problems. So, nope. I would be very careful of buying an Xbox or a PlayStation. Either one of those, man. Because I don't see how your guys are getting any value over what you already have. You can already play in 4K, 4K already on the PlayStation Pro. I'm playing in 4K. And you can only play on the on the Xbox One S. I can play in 4 um, You can play on that. You can... I don't know, man. It's a lot. I'd just buy a PC. I would spend that six, seven hundred bucks and buy a PC. That's just me. I know people say because you don't need to spend thousands of dollars like you know this tactical and Sharon's gonna do. You can get a good your little entry level box for five, six hundred bucks. You can get a used one like I did on Goodwill. That's why I couldn't afford a $3,000 computer. So I went on Goodwill and I found a $2,000 one for $249 and 45 bucks for shipping. Why, wow, it won't spawn me a buzzer at all. So any, you know, it's nice that for everyone that can afford those who's gonna get one, that's great. But there's a lot of people that aren't gonna get them because they're limited supply. But I just don't see anything they don't even offer VR, like I said. They're, you're not getting a VR headset for free. There's no VR games. And Sony's had VR for a while, and VR is the future. Whether anybody likes it or not, VR games are gonna eventually take over. Just the way it is. The nature, nature of the business. But then, I saw when they took that one apart. You know what the biggest thing is? The huge squirrel cage fan that you have. That's one good thing. You have this huge fan, except for when it starts getting noisy when the bearings start going. But it's huge, man. The freaking fan. It's like six inches in diameter and you know, four inches thick with the blade, the big cage, squirrel cage fan. It's a huge one, so and there's air intakes on both sides, so one thing they have done is put a huge fan in there for you guys, so that's cool. But yeah, then they, because they take one completely apart. You know, it's a seven minute video, and then the main board though is the memory, and the CPU, and the hard drive are all little chips. And the board's about 12 inches long, and six inches wide, and I'm like, wow, that's it. All right. I mean, it's not a very big board. And that first thing I thought was, well, shit, man. And there's no place to upgrade. Like, a lot, like, um, you don't have, like, an M2 slot, which would be, like, a little a little SSD slot where you could plug an SSD onto that board. But, again, I know the, the Xbox has external ports, and you can buy the 500 gig hard drives, SSD drives, and just pop them into that slot. So I know they're gonna have that. So Sony, you'll probably just do what most people do if you need it, put it external. The big difference in the Sony is one has a DVD, Blu-ray DVD, and one doesn't. That's the difference between the two. And the reason they're having the digital one is cheaper is because the retail stores wanna make their money off the other one, off the, you know, they want you to come back to the store and buy games. I mean, that's why the Gatlin's cheaper. 
digital one, you're going to buy your games directly from Sony. Most people know that. But if you buy one with a disk drive, it's because you plan on buying from GameStop or renting from Gamefly or buying at Walmart or whatever Best Buy or Amazon, some retailer somewhere else. So that's why the price difference. Main, that's the main difference. PlayStation X. <laughs> That's funny, Joseph, having a baby. Yeah, so it's like, I just don't see any, any reason. Because people say, oh, you're going to get a PlayStation 5. I'm like, why? I don't even play on my PlayStation 4 Pro. I, mean, I don't even play on that one, so why in the hell would I get a 5? It's like, makes no, until they get, and my biggest gripe, my number one gripe on both of them, is there's no native keyboard and mouse support for the for the for the user interface or for games. Man, they got you guys locked into a fuck a freaking controller. It's like crazy, man. They will just not let you guys use the keyboard and mouse. I mean, they're just like, nope, ain't gonna happen. Can't can't use the keyboard and mouse. Oh, hold on. I guess this is Lisa from Consolidated is looking for no holidays, but this this is a recording and if you press any key on here, nothing will happen. <laughs> At all. Uh, I guess I'm okay. How about yourself, man? How's California life? Oh my god, you're cold at 70 freaking degrees. Oh my god, you poor thing. You better turn the air conditioner down, huh? Wow. Gosh, you're so cold here. I don't know what to do. But, uh, well, hey, you know what? I'm sure you, you're at home, so you'll figure out some way to warm yourself up because you're at home so um, forever. I, but, so, no tennis today, right? No.
in a Radio Mira Park, which means you're either a tryhard or someone far into the future, just rediscovering this on an old playlist somewhere. So those of you from the future, I welcome you. Those who are tryhards from the present, turn over. Listen to something more in keeping with your demographic. I gave up wearing antique denim, okay? I'm not one of you. It's over.
Well, so I guess that's all I knew. And I'm like, it's great that the guys are fun, but what the hell has that got to do with go burning some poor person's business that's flooding right now? But, yeah. Well, did you sort of notice that on the video? Oh, you didn't watch any KCAL 9 news? You got to go there and watch it, get it when you get a chance. Go watch it, yeah. It's all like, it's all the people from South Central and East LA and, you know, you know, up Inland Empire and up in Antelope Valley and you know, all the bangers, man. You know what I mean? You could sort of tell that, you know. Everybody knows that, you know, they're very diehard sports fans, right? Either for the Lakers or look what happened to the Lakers. After at the Staples Center, right? It's like every time that happens, right? Or the Clippers, or it doesn't matter. You know how that So cool. I really appreciate you know, the fact that you saw me and got that part done. And I have five people for the holiday here. That's the 11th or something like that, right? I know, I know what that is. I am a Oh, they haven't changed that one yet, thank God. You know why? Because it's Armistice Day. That's what it used to be called. The 11th, after the 11th month, right? And then it was the 11th day and the 11th hour. That's when Armistice happened for World War I. It was November the 11th and 11th. I was talking to uh, my my account manager for my business account for my communications, my phone. We don't get to talk much. He's in California, so he's got to catch up because I'm a California guy. So Jeffrey, how you doing? Hope you so far your morning, evening, afternoon is going okay. Back to, back to what we were doing, folks. Yeah. Yeah, you know me, man. What's in a, what's in a blue moon, man? I have to answer the phone. I know that sounds crazy, but yeah. Well, it's funny because I went in the other room and I knew the helicopter was going to do this. Now, I could do that Bigfoot thing with the peyote because you only have today to do it. So, where's the. Um, yeah, you only have today to do it. So, let's go across the lake. We do the peyote. Got to be between 8 p.m. and and 3 a.m. But it's foggy, so I should turn into Bigfoot. We'll see if this works. What time is it? I don't know. It's only 12:30, so must be doing a job. It has to be foggy like this, and between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m. But you know, I I don't know if it's gonna last through Halloween, the peyote, or if it's gonna just be through, or if it's just gonna be through today. 
you know, because they're being changed at about 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So whatever money you're going to make. But it's over here on this hill, right above these Kingadera's over here, where the Piote button is. But I don't want to do it last time. I didn't do it. Because, um, I wanted to wait till it was the right time. You can turn into, um, it's over here. I can turn into Bigfoot. He's on that little hill right there, or this little hill right here. On one of these. It'd be funny if I landed and I stared at it, I think it's right there. I think you can see it right there. Yeah, but I don't want to take it because I wanted to wait. So. Did I notice something? Oh, no, she devil. What was I supposed to notice? What was I supposed to notice? Huh? Nope. What was I supposed to notice this? Yeah, see? There it is over there. Okay. Right over there. In front of me. But you don't want to take it in, until it's between, like I said, 8 p.m. So we got a little while to go. Gotta hang out here for a bit. Yeah, why didn't my chopper crash? Did you notice that too? Because I could have swore I was I was waiting from the other room when I was talking on the phone in the other room, she devil. I was sitting there going, hmm, I wonder how come my chopper hasn't crashed yet. I go, it should have crashed already. Yeah, so you'll be able to turn into Bigfoot and we should be able to run down there and jack up some cars below us after we turn into Bigfoot. Let you know. It doesn't happen until 8 p.m., which is 20 hundred hours in military time. Just let you know. So let's chill here. chill here for a few minutes and we'll just wait. So, Jeffrey Scott, what is going on with you, young man? Anything exciting in the menu? Ah, cool, man. That makes sense.
Yeah, you can hear it making that weird noise. That's what it is like that. Like I said, we gotta wait till um, a little while here. It won't take long to get there. It won't take long. Trust me. We're getting there. It's taking forever, but we're getting there, man. Trust me. It's all good. It's all good in the head. You're like, oh my God, size is like taking forever, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your mother's mustache. So in the meantime, you can tell me what you've been up to, man. FedEx. Hello? Yes, it is. Good. How are you doing, man? Yeah, with just a test email, I, you know, I would need something, like, official from your company saying you're representing you know, the UEF and all that. You just sent me a test email, is what you sent me. So I was... Oh! No, I didn't see that one. I have to go check. Let me go check. Hopefully it didn't go into my spam or something. You might want to resend that then. But yeah, plus I need something, yeah, showing, you know, showing that you want me to send you paperwork and all those files. I don't mind. But I just need something, you know, yeah. Saying that you've been assigned by them to do this and blah 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 blah, like a cover letter from your company, because I don't have, yeah, I don't have anything from you other than that test email. That's all I got from you. So before I could release anything to you, I would have to have something official, some type of official document, right, with your name, your company, the the my representative from the UEF, because. I haven't mentioned her name yet, so that would be on there because nobody would know that that's trying to spoof anything. It's not that I don't believe you, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no, no. I know, I know, but... Okay. All I'm saying is, in the course of dealing with companies, normally they'll send you a cover letter, you know, to say, hey, I've been assigned your case by da 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 da, -da from the U or whatever, right? Whatever we're talking about. Does that make sense? So having not got that from you yet, I was just waiting for that before I sent you all the information that we talked about. That's all. I'm just letting you know that I don't have it. I still haven't seen that, nor did I get the one you're talking about. I didn't notice that about an appointment either. I just got one from you that said call you. It's the only last one I got a couple of days ago, whatever. It said call you. That's all I've received. But y'all be more than happy to, like I said, do whatever and check. I'll check my email today and all that. But yeah, I just need something a little more official. And I'm testing the email. Yeah. Is that, you know, I mean, yeah, that's all. But I'll, I'm excited that you found me an appointment. That's great. 
Are you kidding? And where is it at? Nice. Just like, oh yeah. No, like I said, see this is why I'm upset because like I said, why, it's just, you know, you're doing what this other lady couldn't do, which is amazing. And it didn't look how fast. You did it the first time we're on the phone. She contacted me September the 5th, right? And by November the 12th, she still hadn't made any finalized plans, you know? And then that was November 12th of last year, right? So we're almost, like I said, a whole year. And yet you and I got everything done. The only thing we just had is miscommunication as far as I just have to add some type of document so that way I can put it in there, my folder. And that way I know that you're actually who you say you are. I trust you, but Again, we've only talked on the phone and you sent me an email, right? So that doesn't verify anything at all, correct? Exactly. So by having my case number and that woman's name, the representative from the state and all that on a document, that would be hard for to somebody to spoof all that. They wouldn't have access to that. Only you, me, and her, right? Okay. And then, remember I said I would give you all that all that information from the doctor in, in Maine and, and hopefully you can help me resolve this issue with not getting paid for my appointments and not getting paid for my mileage and all this, which I'm entitled to because he's a legitimate doctor. So, as far, you know, so anyways, we can work on all that, but yep, I'll look forward to getting all that email. I'll check that today and I'll have everything sent off to you for by tomorrow. Yeah, which one do you have? I, I've been getting emails from you. Yeah, but which email uh, did you send it to? That's it. Like I said, I can go check, but I might have inadvertently, it might have gotten in the spam folder, it might have gotten deleted by accident. You know, sometimes it does. You know, it's my business email address, so you know, I go in there every day, but I could have a hundred emails in there, plus whatever's in the spam folder, you know, depends on which day. But the last thing I remember getting from you was one asking you to call me. I think that was last week, correct? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, okay. Cool. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. In Orange County. I know. I know. I remember ever where you're at and everything. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't forgotten anything, man. I'm not senile. I may be 67, but I'm not going on 67, but I'm not senile. Okay. You have a very good memory. So, no, I have. I just needed something from you so I could touch, you know, that way I could move forward. That was the only thing I needed. That was it. Oh, cool. Not a problem. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday. Yep, so that'd be great. Yep. wouldn't go through all this crap and if I do have a problem I'll call you immediately and let you know there's a problem right I can't make the appointment I would call you immediately and say I can't make the appointment for blah 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 right like there's a blizzard you know because things like that do come up we had snow flurries the other day yeah so that would be the only reason I wouldn't be able to make the appointment is because that day there was some you know weather situation that kept me from driving because I do have a four-wheel drive too Cool. Ah. Good. I will scour around and take everything down there and get my hands on. Mm, 
know, I just, again, thank you so much for being so fast and moving forward and getting this stuff done. I really appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. All right, so... Nightclub Just Tactical, what's going on? Snow Wolf, anybody want to jump on Far Cry New Dawn? You must be talking about those cool, they have some cool multiplayer maps. Okay, well I can't take this stupid Piyote because it has to be, um, it's the right time, but it has to be uh, foggy. So that's a bust. So it has to be foggy when you take it. Can't be clear sky. Jesus Christ, another call? Hold on. Hello again. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. I'm just not saying it out loud because I'm streaming live on YouTube. So I've been trying to turn my microphone off because obviously I don't want people to hear it. That's the only reason why I, I was asking you about my email and all that. I wasn't trying to be a jerk. Yeah, I just don't want to say it out loud because I did that one time and my email got bombed. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, had to, I wasn't even thinking. I was like, oh my god, I just sent my email on a live YouTube stream, man. I was like, gonna get a whole crap of crap. Yeah. So. Cool. Alright. Alright, bye. Alright. So, what's the uh, good word, man? Just tactical. Somebody else was just here earlier today, and, and he was, um, he just, he's been on console for 20 years, and he just turned around and bought a, um, PC. He's gonna buy a PC. He's tired of consoles, man. It's just all bullshit. He's so disappointed with the new PlayStation and the Xbox X. And that's why, actually, we're having that whole conversation. And I'm like, yeah, first off, they got no native keyboard and mouse support. This is fucking 2021 we're coming up on, man. So, to not have keyboard and mouse support is silly. It's, you know, it's silly. And then not to have cross-platform. You know, this whole thing is, like, this whole war has to stop between... Sony and Microsoft, you know, and we're getting stuck in the middle. Because no logical effing freaking reason that it can't make cross-platform gaming. That's BS. All you, everybody has to do is log into the freaking server. It doesn't matter what client you're running. They are so full of crap, man. They could change the whole way that the... See, they just don't want to do it because they don't want to give you guys access to the data. See, if they change the way the data is stored, they're like, oh, people are going to copy games and this, and I'm like, no, they won't. They don't do that crap now. They can't do it on the PC. They have ways of stopping it, so, nope. It's, it's an excuse, man. It's an excuse that they're using. That's all it is. Time to donate blood to the mosquitoes. Oh, gee, yeah, well, you are so funny. All right, sis. So, are we going to work on getting you a power supply or what? What are we going to do? We, see, we never resolved the power supply thing. You were very good about just ignoring the whole effing freaking thing. You know what I mean? Very good about that whole, I'm just not going to talk about it. And maybe he'll forget about it. You know what I mean? Like, I was supposed to forget about it. Huh? Huh? 
But that's okay. You go to sleep and feed the mosquitoes, and we can talk about it later. That's not a problem. But I appreciate you hanging out, sis. And we'll we'll figure it out, man. We we'll get that power supply one way or another. Got to be some place you can have it sent to you there locally, man. You know, it's got to be local. You found what? A VIP edition of what? Of what? What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Fuser? What fuser? What's fuser, bro? I have no idea what fuser is, man. Got to clarify there, son. What's fuser? Huh? That fuser, what's fuser, man? I'm not quite sure I know what you're talking about. I know you're gonna tell me. Oh, okay. Well, I figured it was a game. The game comic, you're funny, man. I figured it was a game, Thomas. I just didn't know. I've never heard of Fuser. You're awful excited, so congratulations that you got it for such a good price. 100 pounds? Good price, man. You rock, dog. Don't know what it is, but you want it and you're excited, so that's all that matters to us, right? Yep, that's all that matters as far as. So you're, uh, you're grinding on the, um, you're doing the, uh, Jeffrey, you're doing the nightclub. Nightclub is blowing up as far as um, the cash register. I have to keep going back to the cash register because it keeps going up. So it's really, yesterday I made a lot to top of that. And then I just made, made over half a million on sales right now this morning selling class. So that's good. That's why this headhunter is so easy, man. You make, you make you know, 22k really fast. So that pays for the, you know, pays for the bunker. That's 75,000. We do one of these. We'll do a sightseer, and then we'll go get um, go sell off a car. Got a shitload of cars at Los Angeles. We go sell the car off. What the work? How to speak? You gotta join the group, man. Remember I told you? You gotta open up your either Y key or U key and join that squad. And then you can press your chat key until it comes up with group, which is the green the green one is group. Right? Blue is side channel, right? Yellow is vehicle.
that makes sense? Not that we had talked about this that day we played together. Yeah, so you can figure out which key you want to activate group chat. You know, I mean, to act to switch between your channels. But that's how it works. So once you start a group and you guys are in the same group, if you're on side channel, that's blue. That way everybody can. That's what my told that guy was talking on side channel. That Arizonian, whatever his name was. And I got pissed and I'm like, dude, man, it's like, get off fucking side channel and just talk to that one fucking dude in your group, man. That everybody in the freaking game don't want to hear your shit. That's when he tried to call me a Call of Duty player. Like, hey, you should go back and play Call of Duty. I'm like, I'll fucking play Call of Duty. Get that. Go back to your head out of your ass. Thief Simulator? Oh, a long time ago, dude. Thief, well, the game Thief. So that's how you chat. You figure out which key. You go into your, you know, key bindings. Mine, I have mine set up for the, my, my period and my comma, right? Is how I have mine to turn it on. And the backslash is how I change between channels and all that. And then when you're in that channel on the lower left, You'll see your name as you talk, your name will light up. It'll tell you what channel you're on. Does that make sense? Just tactical. Does that make sense? What you're gonna do, you gotta wait and you can do a sightseer one next. That's 25k. Now, like I said, that helps pay for um, all your shit that you're doing for the day. Are you in your game right now? I can't show you. How can I show you? How am I supposed to show you, bro? I don't know how your keys are set up. Yeah, you you have to do that. Are you in a game right now? If you're in a game, we can just open up your key bindings and do it that way. Yeah, but how okay. No problem. Alright. I'll just wait till I play the game and we'll do it that way. No problem. That, that's not going to help you talk to other people right now. You're trying to talk to other people, correct? So, waiting for me is not going to rectify your question, which was, how do I talk to other people in the game? I think that's what you said. You want to know how to talk to other people? Okay. So, you're in the game. Which game are you playing? Which which version of co-op? You an insurgency one or a regular one? Yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. Oh my god. What we're doing is showing you how to do your shifts, man. Okay, so you're in a regular game. Press your T key or your Y key and see if a group thing comes up where you can start a group. Y key or T key. Either one of those. Y, either T, Y, or U. You. You see, if, see if a thing comes up about starting a group. I can show you on a video that part, yeah, on a stream, but I already did that, I think, on a one. But I can show you that part, yeah. When I, that'll be easy. But I want, ha I want you to go check your keys because you can talk regardless if anybody's in a game or not. So go into your key binding, right, and go to multiplayer. You know how they have that drop-down menu? 
and has all the different ones. You know, if we combine the different keys. That one. We'll go do this first. Yeah, because you got to know what key bindings that you're using or it won't make any sense. And you'll be like, you'll be like a little confused going, well, fuck, I can't do this shit because it's not making any sense, dude. Once you, oh, can you open up your, um, where you do your key mapping? I want to do it that, this way. It'd be easy to do this way. Yeah, because I don't know where your, what keys you have mapped. So until we know which keys you have mapped, none of this is going to make any sense. gonna have three keys that you have to worry about one is well I have two to scroll back and forth between what type of chat and the other one is to enable chat set up as a default when you go to multiplayer communication okay do you see where it says enable chat right Whatever key, what key? See, mine I have set up, I get it for my comma, my period, and my backspace, or my forward slash, because they're right there at the bottom, right between the M and the right shift. That's why I use those three keys, because it's right there, and I can hit them really fast from my fingers off the arrow keys. Ah, cool. All right, so if you press the one, that allows, allows you to talk, right? That's gonna enable the in-game communication, okay? Then the other key is gonna scroll through the different channels, right? Which is the white one is command, yellow is vehicle, okay? Blue is side channel, right? And green is group. Does that make sense? Correct. Okay, so now go back into the game, right? Okay, so close, oh, close out of your menu, right? Hit escape a couple times, right? Yeah, you have press to talk. I don't have press to talk. Mine, I have voice activated because I, I can talk and not have him hear all the fucking shit in the room for the most part. That makes sense. But, okay, so what you're gonna do, you're, okay, so press the forward slash key, right? And when you do that, on the left hand side you're gonna see some type of icon come up right it's either gonna be blue but blue or yellow or green or white correct because that's showing you that you now have chat enabled in the game doesn't mean you're talking yet to talk you gotta hold down the cap lock key this is why holding down the cap lock key is not a good idea because people talk and they don't hold the cap down long enough and it cuts off what they're saying. You don't hear the beginning, you don't hear the end. So it's better to have a voice activated. Okay, so it's green. So press the cap lock key, hold it down. In your head, count one, two, three, and then say testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, and you should see your name pop up on the screen. On the left hand side. That shows your microphone's working. Make sense?
want to go ahead and get my snacks. Hold on. Just snacks to get up. Does that make sense to you? Just tactical, what I just said? But you got to make sure your microphone is set up correctly, too, in the settings, see? But when you hold down the cap lock key, you should see your name as you talk. If not, then you don't have your microphone set up correctly. Regardless if there's anybody in the game with you or not. You won't hear yourself talk, but you'll know that you're talking because you'll get that... You'll see your name pop up on the actual game, so you'll know that you're talking. This They have it done that way intentionally, so people know when they're hot micing. Because their name will keep popping up on the screen, if they're smart enough to realize that. If they're not, then they won't. So, that's how that, that's how that works. Alright, let's go get our snack. Windy, windy, windy. Everyone knows it's windy. Beep, beep, beep. And windy has stormy eyes. The flash of the sound of lies. And windy has... Sorry. Oh. Yo. Snacks, man. Thirsty? Yeah. I want bourbon. I want scotch. I won't be here. Okay. Well, I ain't seen my baby right. since the night before last. I wanna get wasted. I wanna get blast. I want bourbon. I want scotch. I won't be here. All right. So that makes sense to you, bro? Everything I'm saying? Maybe. Whiskey. Whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah. I can handle my booze, man. Not like you little wussies. Sard can handle his shit, man. You know, I've been drinking for years, man. I can handle this shit, man. It takes a lot. Ow. I'm trying to do the secret mission. In case you guys wonder what the hell I keep doing this for. There's a secret mission you can do. If you get drunk, you wake up and it starts the mission. And there's two in the casino, too, so if you notice it, that's why I keep doing this. Hoping one of these days I'll wake up doing the secret mission. Um, don't think it was this time. <laughs> nope, but I do need vests. Okay, well, go back into your menu first off. Right? And let's check your audio. Go to your audio settings and make sure your microphone is set up. Make sure your microphone is set up and your voice and all that. Right? Hold on. Do you realize how many times I've tried to get you in my heist last night? Well, first off, if you're trying to get me into something, it might help if you actually type on the screen right there, bro. Like you are right now. Because people send me shit on the phone, I can't hear that freaking phone more shit. Right? So, sorry. I can go try to turn the settings up in there again, see if I can get the freaking... To have it on. Right? See? Okay, so I do that fucking ringtone. Is that enough for you guys? Yeah, because I would do the heist with you fine. Not a problem, man. You want to do the heist? I'm just chilling, man. But yeah, you gotta you gotta type shit on the screen, man. If you don't type shit on the screen, I'm clueless as to what's going on. You know what I mean? Okay, so Whoa. I'm inside this place that I can't get out of. What the hell's this? This is bizarre. Why am I inside of this caged area that I can't get out of? You guys ever had this happen to you? This is a new one. I yeah, never had this happen.
like totally bizarre like why am I in here <laughs> I'm like locked I'm like a rat in the cage man yeah why am I in here yeah but why am I here you know what I mean it's like bizarre I mean, it doesn't make any sense you know what I mean you know, why am I here is it part of a mission that I didn't realize you know what I mean Taking, I'm not taking shit, Thomas. You kidding? We're gonna go. We're going frag out, man. Going frag out, son. Frag out. That's the how you do it in Santa Blanca territory, man. When you're in fucking Bolivia, say, yeah, and you need to get to a fence. Because those peachy gringos, they don't give us no wire cutters. They don't give us no fancy torches like they get on Aurora. Oh, hell no. So what do we do? We drive a vehicle through. We get a grenade out. Oh, yeah, man. That's how we take down fences in Bolivia, man. Ja. The Santa Blanca way. Santa Blanca. That's our theme song, by the way. I wrote that. Hey, don't you have some, like, a Frappuccino game to go play or something that you said, dude, that you just bought? Some Frappuccino game? Get out of here, man. So anyways, are we going to do this heist? Is that what you're going to tell me? Because I'm buying it. I'm buying a vest. I'm buying vests right now, man. I'm vesting up. Oh, you're going to tell me they're all over. And you just like telling me you're going to hire me for a heist, but that was yesterday. Wow. So, you're a day late and a dollar so charge. Oh. there, Sarge? Yeah, we're going there. We are going there like nobody's business. We're going there like nobody's business. We're not going there. We are going there. We are going there. Do you want to go there or not? We are going there. We are gone. We went there. We went there and we came back already and we went back again. It's like seconds of the buffet, man. You know what I mean? Seconds. At the buffet. Alright, just tactical, man. Are we like back on the same track there, bro? And Mr. Um, V2K, what's up with you, man? What, what are you going to do? What's on the agenda? Quiry minds want to know. Senor. Oh boy! Ah! Oh, oh, damn. Fuck me. oh yeah, I can go kill these guys right over here. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Oh, 
What the what the what the? Bank heist is cool, man. Anything to make money, bro. I can do anything, man. Okay, back in the mobile player screen, right? All right, Joseph, we'll see you in a little bit, man. Okay, do you see like an option in there for chatting and stuff, like volume? If not, go to your audio. You might have to go to your audio, just tactical. Okay, let me take this vehicle with Mesa. If you want to do the casino, we can do the casino. I gotta go right by where you're at right now. As a matter of fact. Yeah, right there at that vehicle warehouse. Yeah, I gotta go down there and drop off this drug car. Literally like right there where the drug dudes are. sell a couple vehicles too so now's the time to sell because you don't get attacked because there's another player in the session so that's funny because i'm literally going to drop this car off and go there and get a high-end car and go sell a couple high-end cars if you want to do the heist after i drop this off and do the heist that's fine i just i just you know want to buy that stupid motorcycle because today's the last day to get that bike won't be around again until next year so but I really need it but I believe that today will be the last day if I'm mistaken I might be mistaken but I don't think I was going to drive to the warehouse and this blue dot came up next to me. And I was like, well that's funny because I'm going to drop this off right at my warehouse. Or stop perfect.
that that Kara lady that I um, was telling about yesterday. The D game was the game. Yeah, this is your home for all the music you used to protect. Oh no, that, that's not just me. Not that with everybody. I'm telling about the DJ. Yeah, what the game yesterday was telling us. This lady, how about this lady? I'm like, what lady are you talking about? And that's why he was he was saying, oh, the one in the game and stuff. I'm like, holy shit, dude, you guys, do you know the names of all the DJs? And, I mean, know Laszlo is a DJ, but he you knows know, all the names of all the DJs. And I was like, wow. Audio settings that your mic and all that is set up. And then under multiplayer, just go in there and see, make sure your microphone. I don't know, I can't remember if it's set up. If you set the microphone up there, or if you set the microphone, if you go under audio. But it's not like your microphone might, might not be turned on. Okay. because I was going to go to my warehouse and here I am, like here. 10K and the warehouse is right here. Bizarre. That's why I was going to fly down the, I said, well, let me go to the arcade and I'll go buy and buy some best. And then I'll go over there and source out a car while I, um, you set up, if you want to do the heist, we can do that, so. Keep sending some, selling some of the. I got to gotta be careful because the top ones have um, some of them are a part of part of um, collections. Yes, yeah, so you got to be careful. So I'm gonna check this one, Regal. Eight eleven.
Nope, I don't see that there. Cool. There it is, right there, damn it. Well, maybe this one isn't in there, this one. I know the other one is. With that weird blower on it. Another Franklin. Oh, no, that one's in there too. King Gowie, man. This one. Citrus. Oh, there it is right there. Holy crap, man. How about death for you? First one. So which the ones that were in collections, you can't, you couldn't pick them. You could just put them in the collection and it would just stay there instead of doing it, you know, like jumping all over. There's make make bank. I don't see turbo, hold on. This one. I don't see that one. That turbo one. Nope, I see make bank, but I don't see turbo. So cool. Okay, let's get it ready to ship. Your own personal DMV. Wouldn't recognize oh, it. Oh, wheel. Alright. And you only have so much time. There's a timer, two minutes and 43 seconds. That's fine, we'll do those. This one looks like. Okay. My new ringer, so I can hear it. There you go. Look at that.
All right, so did you check uh, your shit, bro? Fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. I'm going to casino, I think, and do my spin. Well. I should be able to hear that ringer when anybody calls from now on. Huh. Oh shit! <sighs> Fuck okay. me! Fuck me! Shit! I didn't do it. Gotta be there then, bro. Gotta be there somewhere. We need to check and see why your microphone's not working in the game. Gotta be under the audio, either audio or there. Gotta be somewhere. A reminder right. to our VIP members. Take advantage of our luxury valet, limousine, and helicopter services. Spin that wheel, Sarge. Come on, man. I haven't won a car for a while, man. Right, man. Oh, my God. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just tell you guys? <laughs> what did I just tell you? <laughs> what did I just say? Huh? What did Sarge just say, huh? Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Huh. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner! That is freaking hilarious, man. Oh my god. I'm cracking up, man. Take a picture of this. Yeah, let me get a picture of me with my finger up, pointing at the thing. The car. I came in here, I said, oh, let me spin. I said, about time I win the fucking car, man. I win the car <laughs> for a couple of weeks. And I spun, guess what happened? This would be number seven in two months. This is hilarious, man. Huh? I'm being greedy. How am I being greedy? Yeah, how am I being greedy because I win freaking cars, man? That's the car I just won, this one. That one. I, yeah. Yeah, that's what we just bought. Just got. <laughs> Look at B2K. How? Thank you, bro. But how much money do you got, B2K? Let's let's put it all in perspective, bro. <laughs> right? 
How much money do you have, B2K, right now? You could probably go out and buy a couple of those and not even put a dent in your bank account, right? I bet you got well over a hundred million, if not more. Thomas got like a billion freaking dollars, man. You guys are here. Oh, good. And that car's like three million or something, so a billion dollars, right? What? You only have a hundred thousand dollars, bro? Seriously? Is that why you want to do the heist? Wow! Don't tell me that, man. I feel bad. Is that what you're telling me, man? Don't tell me that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a guilty conscience, man. You make me totally feel guilty. Totally feel guilty, man. Which car is that? Yes. Oh, the S S eighty R. Right, S eighty R. You guys are so funny, man. So funny. All right, so there you go, man. Now we got us, got us another one. Got another one under our belt, folks. Number seven in two months. Okay. That is so funny. I can't believe, you know, because I said I've done this a couple times. I walk and said, okay, because remember yesterday or day before yesterday, say I said, oh, fuck, let me go win my fucking t-shirt and get it over with. That's exactly what I got with the t-shirt. Day, the day before that, I said, oh, I bet you I'll get, I'll get, I'll get rep points because we're doing the Bigfoot and you get 5,000 rep for each one. Right? And I said, watch, I bet you get rep points. And sure as shit, I got 15,000. I'm like, hell, I already got 60,000 doing 10 peyote frickin' buttons. But I've seen people, they say they land on the mystery gift. The mystery gift, right? And you know what they get? Check this out. It fills up all their snacks for them. <laughs> That's their mystery gift. They get all these snacks filled up. So you can't complain, right? Because it's a wheel of fortune, right? So, but yeah, it, it is a little funny. Though. That's all I can say. All right, so let's see if we can get this car delivered here so we can see what it looks like. Let's call our car. So are you going to set up the, uh, you got a heist you want to set up there, sir? That's a nice set of wheels. I'll take a spin. I'm gonna. Yeah, so if you're, you want to set up a job, you want to do that job. Sounds good to me. You need something, huh? When he rides, let where me know. The, where in the hell is this at? Is that B4? All right, where is it at? Oh, this one. It's on the way. S80 R S80 R R native car. Car with the R car. I can't believe that shit, man. I mean, totally, that's hilarious. Totally hilarious. I walk in and say, Mazel with the car. Death Row? I'm delivering a container. No, oh, man, Death Row, you just go deliver your container all you want. Man. I'm going to stop Death Row from delivering this container. Crazy. Why would I do that? I'm going to go do our livery on our car here, man. Go take it over there and see what... I'm sure, I hope I... I bet we have a, a bubblegum robot princess we can put on there. We have to pull up in front of the casino, though, so we can get a picture. Right. 
the radio work? That's all I want to know. Oh, hell yeah, the radio work. Finger down. Wow, really, dude. Like, stop. Stop pointing. Weird. You are weird, son. Go on, weird mofo. Pushing me, man. There we go. Got us a winner. Just like that. It's perfect. Do it like that. And take a screenshot. Wow, oh, man. You rock, dog. See? Good man, Sarge. I got a guy cooperates here with me. I'll get my screenshot in. I think I got one. We check it out. Oh Work over. Congratulations there. Sir. Alright, so there we go, man. Sarge is rocking it. We're rocking it. No, no, don't, don't kick me for being idle, dude. Get my car, man.
All right. So. Let me go do a livery on this thing, huh? This is a crazy looking car, I'll tell you that. Doesn't even have a spoiler on the back right now. You notice that, right? It's got bars with no spoiler. It's very similar to the one I just delivered. That's so weird. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get back to our grind. I would like to get that bike. It was only gonna be here once a year. So. But if BK, if you want to do the damn heist, um, do you have it all set up? Like, do we have to do the setup missions? What do we gotta do, bro? So I can retire as a CEO and you can hire me and we can get on with this shit. Whatever it is that we're gonna do. That's why I don't get of doing something else. I can go sit on the PlayStation, man. I'm like a duck and go in on the PlayStation today, too. What's wrong with her now? Another free car, you mean, bro? Why? We don't need four people. What do, okay, what do we need uh, four people for, bro? Why? Oh my God, look at those things you can put over the wheels. Those are crazy, man. That's crazy. Okay, let's go check out delivery. Yeah, why would we uh, need that, man? They don't give you a lot of livery options, though. Uh, all missions are four players for the high for the casino heist. You're talking about the casino heist, right? They only money you twelve hundred dollars to sell this car. That's all I'm saying. Twelve hundred bucks. Twelve. Twelve hundred bucks, man. Twelve hundred bucks to sell the car. Yeah, for twelve hundred. That's it.
Hey, hey, is Canadian race cars for player smokes? Oh yeah, players? Yeah. I just smoke those. Oh, none. Oh, mine's back again. Oh, it says, no, hold on. It says none. So it must be a bug in the game or something because it keeps, it's not giving me my spoiler. You know what I mean? See, it's, I'm supposed to have a spoiler and it keeps, it's not showing you. But I like the one on the car better anyways. If I'm going to have one, I would do a body mounted one. Trunk. That was like bizarre, I can't believe that. Uh, I don't really like the livery. Livery is okay, but a little, a little disappointed. See, that looks better already, see? I know what I'm talking about. Get the flow going on, man.
that's pretty cool. cool. secondary color at. Oh, inside. Yeah, it's inside, I think. Those are nice too. those right there.
I changed the color of it. Changing the color. The one I, you know, the one I just won, it was like red just now. Let's just change it to this one. Just trying to do rims. I forgot which rims I want. You got great taste. They won't huh? shoot these. Oh, you try to sell this car, they give you twelve hundred twelve twelve thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. But the car costs three and a half million. Cause you want it on the podium. They only want to give you twelve thousand dollars. I was like, so it's three and a half million dollar freaking car. Hey, Sharon, what's going on, man? Yeah, it's like a bunch of crap, huh? Nah, I don't think I'll do logos on the tires. We'll just leave them plain. I'm doing okay, Sharon. How you doing? Got my new... I have a, the pink pearl essence, so that's why you see the first pink, the pearl, as it goes in the sun, see the pink on the paint. Well, it's actually purple paint, you yeah. But the pearl, but you usually lay down purple, and then you put a pearl pink over the top of that coat. And you put a clear coat, and that's why in the sun, you get that sheen like that, but you're seeing that purple sheen, or that pink. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So how you doing, bro? And then we're gonna open up all the doors and see what it looks like inside. Okay. Nice, huh? Oh my God, check this thing out, man. Oh, shit balls, that thing looks cool. Nice. Uh-oh. You feel like the weight of the world is on you, Sharon? I think we're all starting to feel that, bro. You know what I mean? It's like we're all having this pressure on us. It looks cool because when you open it up, it says depth. It's like you stand here and it's like, it looks like, see that? It's like artwork. Yeah, it's like artwork, huh? It's like a mask or something. Looks very nice, huh? Just like that. Doesn't look like a car, huh? You couldn't even tell you're looking at a car. Looks like a billboard. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. A lot of detail on the engine, though. Look at this. Yeah, and the kit color and the suspension, the wiring. So Sharon, man, how's everything else going besides the fact that you feel like you got the weight of the fucking world on your shoulder? And why do you feel like that, bro? Something you want to talk about? Why eat my lunch? Listen to the radio? Why 
you feel that way, bro. Oh my god, this car is so effing freaking fast. You don't have to say anything, Sharon. I know exactly what you're talking about, man. It's like fucking stupid as shit, bro. Stupid as fucking shit, man. Stupid as shit. Totally stupid. I know what you're talking about. Retarded man, totally retarded dog. But I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, exactly. Exactly, bro. I know. I know. Nothing is game by the way people are doing shit right now. All it's doing is alienating people. It's just causing more problems. You know what I mean? It's, you know, are we gonna, are we gonna microanalyze every single fucking thing that happens now? And then sit there and play armchair quarterback and say, well, that kid could have done it like this, or they could have done that, or they could have been like this, or I, oh, I'm like, come on, man, seriously, folks, you guys need to shut the fuck up and just let people do their jobs, man. You know what I mean? They wouldn't be there if there wasn't a situation. See, this is the whole problem. Right or wrong, you know, that, like sometimes, you know, things aren't being handled correctly. I'll agree. But, to get to that point, something had to happen to get to that point. See, this is the problem, man. Why is it getting to that point where somebody feels they have to have somebody intervene on their behalf? Well, I just won the car, by the way. 
I'm chilling out, right? We're just hanging out, okay, doing our shit. And I tell, I tell everybody, I said, damn, man, I said, I better go spin the wheel and win that effing car. So I came in here and that's what I did. Came in here and won the car. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so, so that's what we're doing right now. And then I, I bought this penthouse because I want to have access to those missions. You know, we got these missions. Well, let me turn my head back on. That way Th Thomas doesn't freak out on me and get lost. Thomas would be like, sorry, you don't have the radar, I guess. They... Yeah, so I bought this office or this penthouse so I get access to those six missions because, what the hell is that? That's my closet, okay. Um, because when you do that, you can, um, you get a car at the end of this thing, an armored vehicle with machine guns and shit, you do all six casino missions, so I'll be able to get a free car. Plus, every now and then they have perks and all that. Oh, thanks, Jerome. Yeah, it was so funny because everybody like, fuck, Sarge, you won. That's my seventh car I won in two months. People are like, dude, I haven't won one car. So I'm like, well, sorry. All right, so somewhere over here, there's uh, my gun safe. Uh, here it is, weapon safe. Cool. All right, I'm going to eat. Oh, my God, this looks pretty snacky. Wow, I should take a picture of it first. Huh. Why am I having a bug with like picking shit? All right, well that's like all acting stupid right now, so I won't worry about that. At least I know that works, huh? Now, well, what the hell do I keep in this safe? Am I supposed to have money in here? Uh-oh. Julie, what did I do wrong? Welcome, Julie, by the way. <laughs> what the hell did I do wrong, Julie? I don't have nothing in here. Shit balls. I'm in trouble now, folks. Julie's going to talk shit to Sarge. What did I do wrong, Julie? No, don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, that's all? Just a regular internet access? So we can come in your office and look at porno in your office? Okay, cool. All right. What? 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 Hold on. Wait. Why am I not right for getting all those cars? What happened? I don't deserve those cars? Is that where we're going? I'm not right for getting all those cars? Wow. Julie, come on. Wow. All right. I know what to say. Hey, the other day I got a t-shirt, Julie. Just to let you know, I do win t-shirts. I got a t-shirt the day before that. 
right, 15,000 RP after getting 60,000 for eating peyote and turning into animals. <laughs> so, no, just weird, just, you know, luck. Thank God I didn't do anything wrong. See, why do we have to sit down? We don't have any food. So what's the whole deal about sitting? What, you just sit around and talk to people? I want a drink. Fuck sitting. <laughs> hey, sit down, Sarge. I'm like, no. Let's go on the terrace, man get in trouble. That's our office. We don't need that. Oh, it's about time, man. So we've got all this booze here, man. How come I can't drink it? I just spent one and a half million dollars for a penthouse. And then they tell me, oh, enjoy your apartment. I'm like, wait, wait, hold on a second, dude. I thought you said penthouse. Now you tell me apartment. Huh. It's a big difference from penthouse to apartment. Yeah. I don't care it's booze. Sentry! I know. I know, Sentry. Julie's upset too, man. She all she gets is t-shirts and chips. <laughs> wow. Now, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, man. I know. You're going to say the fix is in, man. Oh, yeah. I'm bribing somebody at Rockstar. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm So there's a secret mission you can do too. So if you gotta get drunk and pass out while you're at the casino. So we're seeing if we can attempt this. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. Plus I wanna see how straight I can walk. You didn't get ten shots in me before I pass out, so we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll see if we get this mission to trigger. Turkey burgers? Who's eating turkey burgers? Sharon? Oh yeah. You're making, I've already eaten, that's why I missed your whole comment on the turkey burger. Nice. Love turkey burgers, man. Century, man, you're on it, man. You spotted that comment real quick. I'm still walking? Wow.
Go walk him. Come on, sorry, you can do this. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is cute. Yep, sorry, getting inebriated. Wow. Guys keeping track of this, right? I'm losing count. How many I've had? I think it's four over there and three over here or something. Uh-oh. That's it. But we finally got the place cleaned up. Yeah, almost. Hello. After all this women's work, it was time to get down to business. Rufus, I'd like to pitch my new movie. Okay. I infiltrated Chinese business, and I bombed all the factories where the kids make the MP3 players, mm -hmm. and I bring all the jobs back to America. And then I get to I have to take into my microphone to earn RP points. Wow, really? Don't, oh, you better get some soap on a rope there, young man. What are you bending over doing down there, man? You better be cleaning those orifices. That's all I got to say. All of them. Yeah, man, mozzarella cheese, butcher, bacon. Yeah, we have those. We like, we eat um, turkey burgers. Right now I'm having like um, chopped, chopped up, chopped up chicken with gravy on bread. Yep. Jesus, where I get that big ass bruise from on my chest, man? Well, don't worry about that one. All right. You got pants on, dude. What the hell? Who takes shower with pants on? Oh my god. You're weird. Totally weird, dude. Get out of your bathroom. In the shower, duh. I'm not doing my laundry. <laughs> All right, not this casino skullduggery. Get out of here, man. Let's go to the, um, how's the weather in New York today, bro? That's what I'm wondering about. Are you ready for an unforgettable experience? You guys have been having some up and down the weather. Table games. Live life to the limit. Play around. Taylor, stop it! So embarrassing. <laughs> Is 
There you go, Sun 3 is 8. What I tell you? That's how it works. Nobody's in the jacuz. By accident, one day, I was up here with She Devil. We were doing the casing, taking the photos, and she accidentally jumped in the jacuzzi. And next thing you know, she was standing in her bathing suit in a bikini. And she was like flipped out. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I saw you in your underwear. Yeah, she started freaking out. So, yeah, oh my god, I saw you in your underwear, She Devil. City lights while you finish my food. Nice. We need music out here on the patio, man. They should have music. One of those persons walked around giving us drinks. Huh. You know, I could host this with drinks. That'd be cool. Huh. Huh. I didn't tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she came over here and, and walked in one of these jacuzzis. Next, you know, she was standing here with, with her in a fucking bikini, and she flipped out. She's like, what? And I'm like, oh, uh, I got I to see what you look like in a bikini, man. I said, I'll never see that again. Thomas, you're amazing, bro. That's quite the accomplishment. So Julie, how goes the battle in um, the Elder Scrolls Online? Doing pretty good in that. That's it. You don't want any more. 
All that bagging and shit, that's it. What about you, Snotage? Huh? Huh? You wanna come on and get in on this action? That's good here, Joy. I'm just wondering how you were doing in the game. Like, I know Chet's doing the, the higher player versus player crap, and you said you were just doing the um, story mode. Phrase that. <laughs> that sounded weird. My butt cheeks from sitting here. Try we phrase that. Butt cheeks from standing here. Remember that? That make more sense. I need to get rid of that slice of toast, man. Got to be a better tattoo than I can get than a slice of fucking toast. Really? Is that the weirdest? Tattoo. I'm not sure why, but. And they have no piercings in this game. You know what I mean? You can't get any piercings. Oh, Chet the Chill. Yeah, Chet plays the shit out of that. Yeah, you. Since I was just in the shower. Just trying to show off my sexy body I have in the game. That's all. Too sexy for my clothes. Too sexy for my clothes. Too sexy, I know. I am a model. I'm up on the catwalk. Oh, yeah. So one of these days, Julie's going to go kick ass and take names, apparently. When she gets strong enough and gets better armor. <coughs> now, is that something you can buy? Like for real coinage? Or is everything in the game? Like, can you go steal that? How's that shit work? I suppose all the cats started looking up. Huh? 
That's a quick change. That's a fast change. I couldn't even put my clothes on in basic training that fast after I took a shower. That's crazy. All right, let's get. Let's where are we gonna go? <coughs> Excuse me. Strong shit. That's why I'm barely smoking, man. Holy shit. What? I can't spin for 22 hours and 56 minutes? Oh, hell no. There must be a bug in the game, man. There's got to be something wrong. All right, Julie, we'll be here. All right, welcome back, Julie. That was freaking... You messing with my mind there, woman? You messing with my head? All right, let's go do something. Let's go make some money. So I can buy that sucky bus. I gotta go buy my sucky bus. That sounds pretty nasty, huh? Doesn't it? I'm gonna go buy a sucky bus. Is that what it's called? Isn't that what it's called? The sucky bus? What? Not suck a bus. Oh my god. Seriously, folks. Get your mind out of the fucking gutters, man. Jesus. Oh, you're one to talk, Sarge. I want to hear that fucking shit next. Go on. Say it, say it, say it. I will suck a bus. Mm, that's all. Death Row Air Freight Stop! Death Row from delivering at all co I have my break out my hunter, man. Let's get my hunter out. Let's sick um let's sick Merryweather on him. Let's send a mercenary team after him right now, right, right in the middle of him doing his shit. And we'll send a mercenary team after you. How's that, bro? Does that make you feel good? Huh? Huh? Because a mercenary is gonna send the mercs of Merryweather, man. But there's like ten Jeeps with four guys or twelve Jeeps with four guys at each one. You ready? You ready for it? Oh my god, sorry. I wouldn't do that. Alright, so Julie, that was the fastest pee I've ever seen anybody do in my life. Like, totally. I mean, I don't even think as a man I could pee that fast. That was, a, that was pretty amazing. Let's get him, folks. Get those up. Aw, oh, damn it. We went right by him. Turn around, Sarge. Go get him. Don't let him get away. Get those. Look, get those supplies. Take them to your club. Quick, get them. Blow them up. Call Merriweather. Call a global airstrike. Call the whatever that global cannon thing is, man. Light them up. Like a choo-choo. Like a 4th of July fireworks. Do something. Damn it. People are watching. Oh! No hey, hey, hey! Let's get off that. I will beat you with this guy. You quest and and they give you to you, you finally kill you. Okay, cool. I was gonna say it's sort of like cool, really cool shit. You know how like in the division, right? And different games we have to look around for crap that's hidden places. Or like Breakpoint, where they make you just do all the microtransactions because they want to steal the money from you. That's why I said, you know, some games reward you for just going around and doing your shit. But I was wondering if, they, if you were lucky enough that they were going to do that. Which is cool. Good to know. Alright. Oh my god, man. Reiki. Down to half a pound of cocaine. What the fuck am I gonna do now? Better go to call up fucking El Camino. My old connection there in Bolivia. Oh yeah, you know, we we let El Suino go, man. He said he was gonna like cut us in on the whole cocaine market. I'm like, cool dude, because I need that for my retirement. I can't be a ghost forever. These days I want to be an old ghost.
All right, so here we go. We're going to sell some crap, right? Because we want to get rid of the crap so we can get better cars in. So to get better cars in, we got to get rid of the crap cars. Cool. Not all the crap cars. We got to get rid of mid-range crap cars. Make sense? All right. Stick with me here. Stick with me. There's a wide boy there. We don't see wide boy. So export to confirm. We know what we've got to do. Yeah, we got to remove the tracker. No one's looking for that plate. Nope. Nobody's looking for the plate, huh? Do a nice subtle color that nobody will see. Okay. Nice subtle one. You'll be able to see it. was a fast machine, she kept her motor clean, she was the best damn woman that I ever seen. Hey, I, 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 you're back, bro. Nice, man. Welcome back, bro. Wouldn't recognize it. Back when you're 200 mile an hour, your 200 mile drive. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, after what we put into this one. There you go, man. How's that look? That's a car Julie could drive. Or any lady, any guy. Wants to drive a hot paint car. Run. Radio, right? Better have a fucking radio in here. I would be pissed. It better be a radio. Ah, oh, I know where you drove. I know where you drove from. I know exactly where you drove from. You drove from St. Petersburg on one side over to Miami on the other side. Or Hollywood or something or vice versa. Yeah, 
what the fuck? I like this fucking thing. And these ding dong. And now they're going. It's a red freaking. Am I colorblind or what? So I lose my mind in this game. Fucking cat, man. God, what the fuck? Hey. Fucking shit, man. And I went to turn and just wouldn't let me back up. This is car, so it's okay. That's what's the R, man. I don't know what that was. Weird. Nope, that's me here. That's why it's easier for me to drive because these are pedals and steering wheels. Especially when I have to deliver cars and shit. Usually you can tell when I'm using the keyboard. Because the car gets jerky, it jerks a lot from side to side. When I use my steering wheel, it's a lot smoother transition. Oh, watch out, man. That, that's the better part. That little snafu that we just had right there, we would have had a perfect sale, but it's okay though. There's only a, not a big deal. Three or four hundred bucks. Oh, two hundred and thirty-four dollars. Big deal. I go beat somebody up and get two hundred and thirty-four bucks. Well done out there. The money's in the bank. Cool.
it. Right, let's go check the bunker, man. Oh, bunker, no bunker should be ready to go sell the bunker for 210. Let's go check that. Oh, I bought them. Remember, I told you, you might as well just buy them. And then as long as every hour, hour and a half, you go back here, you'll have 210,000. So, you know what I mean, for 75, you make 140 in 15 minutes, and you got to go back and buy another 75. And, you know, so, it's all relative. Again, you know, whoa. Dummy. Yes, it's all relative. You know, as long as you stay on top of it and get back up here constantly, then you can make that. I probably could have done it a half an hour ago. You know, instead of dicking around and doing whatever else I was doing with you guys. You know, as long as you know exactly how long, like she double probably could tell you exactly how many minutes it takes. From the time they get the supplies, until you can do it. Next time she comes when she wakes up in the morning, and she probably be able to tell us exactly how long it takes. Knowing her, she's, she's sat here and timed the whole thing. But yeah, I just went ahead and bought them for the 75k. Like I said, you'll make the 210 every time. So it's usually a four-wheel drive truck. You know, you have the five drop-offs. So. But yeah, that's the fastest way. That way you can do in the course of today. I'll do you know three or four of those. I just got to make up uh, the 1.4 million to buy that whatever the hell that thing was. I gotta buy. I can't remember whatever it was. But I just won the podium car and I had to fix it up a little bit because I didn't like the way it looked. So I had to go do some shit to the podium. Podium car make it look a little better so that that ate up about three hundred thousand dollars almost. So I'll get there man, I'll go back the other way. Well, and I also sold like 400 or 500 and something thousand at the club already too. I already sold a shitload at the club already too today. Yeah, see, I'm back up to 210 already. It doesn't take long, like I said. Yeah, it's not showing you earlier from earlier today, you know, all the shit that I was, um, that's when I was fixing up the car just now, whatever, but yeah, I was, um, like I said, I did, um, I did two runs at the nightclub, two runs at the nightclub, one for like 400 and something thousand, and then another one for over a hundred thousand, and then I already emptied out the safe four times with 70,000 in the safe four times. And then I did a bunker run for 210. 
and then I did a headhunter for 20,000 and then so Yeah, well, that's what I just said. If you do one run, you'll come back here. It's 140000 if you want to sell it locally. If you take it down below, it's two hundred and ten, And that's with one restocking of seventy five k. That's how it works. So, but you got to come back up here and restock the bunker, bunker after you do this. You got to make sure you come back and restock. So you can resupply. Oh, wait, you know what? I bet you I can do it this way. Why wasn't I thinking of doing it that way? I can resupply and then I can sell. I'm being stupid. So you resupply and then you sell, then you don't have to come back. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, AIE. Yeah, see, now I've resupplied. So all I gotta do is go sell this. Okay, we're dropping these shipments out of the way. So all I gotta, does that make sense? Yeah, you do. If you get over two, if you get over two hundred and forty-one thousand, it gets to be two. Then you're screwed. Yeah. So no. Oh. Yeah, that's the whole problem, and you, you're going to get screwed totally. All right, these are all. Remember, we've done these before. These are at the beach. Yeah, that's the whole problem. That's why you do these short runs. What you do is you buy 75K, then you're gonna go sell this, right? Then you run around and get some cars. We're gonna go steal cars and deliver them to the warehouse and sell cars. And then an hour from now, 60 minutes in real time, you're gonna come back and sell another 210, right? So every hour, you can do 210. Does that make sense now? And I said, so this is a lot faster than dick around the motorcycle business. You can use this. You can even sell cargo at the warehouse, the cargo warehouse, but those are too much trouble. Because when you get to the jewelry and those, you got to be running back and forth three freaking times and all that. So the best thing to do is the bunker, the nightclub, and stealing fucking cars, man. Because you steal the car for free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Even if it's a low-end one. You know, you can still steal it for free. But you don't have to accept that one. What you can do is you can quit the game and come back in and then source another vehicle until you just have nothing but high-end ones. You know what I mean? You can force the game to give you a high-end car every time. This way you can fill up your warehouse with nothing but high-end ones. It only cost you 20 k to fix them. That's 80 k profit. So you can sell three of those an hour at 80 k And in the days that they have double, you know, they'll have a double or triple on vehicle sales, then you really go to the roof, right? And then you're making 160, right? Or you're making 240, right, on each, on each vehicle sale, so. But the motorcycle one is good. Like I said, one, if everything else is coming, and you don't want to do vehicles, and you don't want to mess with your bunker, maybe you're doing research, right? I'm not doing research, because I don't own an Avenger, and I don't own a uh, MOC. So the research, you can't do, you can't unlock any of the weapons and all that crap, because I don't own it, any of the stuff you do. So to waste, so it's better just to make the money, then one of these days, then you, I'll do the research. after I buy an MOC when they go on sale or whatever, either Twitch Prime or whatever. But yeah, right now, you know, we're just trying to make money.
I just bought that. Yeah, remember this crazy one? You have to go down the steps and all that shit. I got effed up and you go down. You want to make sure you're facing away so you can come right back up on the road again. Take the railroad tracks and all that shit. I remember this one. by the airport.
fast way. I could have gone the other way by the oil, but I could have too. Yeah, if you remember my warehouse is right here, I'm gonna go grab my Deluxo and drove away. Fitters are 210 right there, man. <laughs> Put that train there. <laughs> Yeah, remember the one time, the one run I did, we it was 960,000. That was three vehicles. But yeah, anything between two, once you get over 240, between 240 and four and 450 or something, it's two vehicles. And then after that, it goes to um, three vehicles. But you see, you do these short runs. See, I bought the supplies, right? So they're already doing it already. So by five o'clock, my time, another hour, um, it'll be over. I mean, it'll be, not, you know what I mean? Like, I can go back up there and do another one about once an hour. It seems like. Whoa. Ow. Sorry. We gotta call the sheriff. No, we don't. Oh, oh I almost shit my thong. Yeah, I'm gonna ship my dog. I love when she says that. Oh, I'm gonna ship my dog. Jesus. Jesus. There we go. 212,000. Sell a car real quick. Because we got all these cars to sell. That's what they're here for. Right? Correct? I didn't realize that if I didn't insure them, I could just take them around the corner and then sell them off and get more money. Like a dummy. So, yeah, you just have to be careful when you drive them. Los Santos. Then in the vehicle warehouse, when they go on sale, that's a 40 vehicle warehouse right there. So what you just saw me do sell those cars, I can fill this warehouse up with high-end cars. Then the cargo bobs, you get right there at the airport. So what you do is when you pull the car out, you don't leave here. You pull the car out, you get one of your cars, and you know you grab a car, and you go over there and get a cargo bob, and come back and lift it up, and you carry it to where it's got to go, instead of letting the guys chase you around with guns if you're in a solo session. But if you're in a multiplayer session, you won't get chased. It won't be, you can just steal, and well, you can, when you steal them, you might get chased by the police. That's a different story. All right, so we just made that. I'm gonna take and sell this one right here. Like I said, this, you know, we get these up in Hollywood, right? At the club for free. So these don't cost us a dime. That's why you bring them down here and just, just store them here. What you do is as soon as you steal it, you just take it over to Los Santos and then you leave. You don't do anything to it, right? And then you stay, just send back to storage. And then what you do is you come over to this warehouse and you have your mechanic deliver it to you, right? See? $20,370. See? And you sell that. Then you can go steal those. You can steal those every hour. I mean, you can steal them at nighttime as many as you want. Between 8 and 4, you can fill up a whole warehouse with them. And then once an hour, you can sell one of those. So you do the bunker, and when you're done with the bunker, you come over here and sell a car. That'll help offset the cost of the $70,000. So if you do one headhunter, right, one sightseer and sell one car, 
that pays for all that supplies for the bunker. So, that makes sense. Unless that doesn't make sense, just tell me it doesn't make sense. But that's, you know, people say, well, you, you have to drive those cars all over and they're ins not insured, you know, and I'm like, nope, you don't do that. You just take it to, like I said, we steal those right there in Hollywood. That's only two blocks. To Los Santos, you just pull in and pull out, get out, send seven vehicle to personal storage. And then you come over here, and have your mechanic, you know, get it, and that's what you do. Pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty easy. Now let's go steal some cars. Start car stealing. We gotta cars. get out of here. Fuck! Oh. Ah! I just blew yourself up. Don't fire mom. That's crazy. Don't fire mom. Well, because you're going to get the RP when you do that shit too, right? You know, you're going to get RP constantly. Like right now, you should be going around and doing the peyote butt. Because they're 5,000 RP for each one. So that's 330,000 RP you can get. Then those reset every 24 hours after you get them all, it resets and they'll respawn and get on the map. So, once you get them all. So in theory, if you knew where they, you know, we already know where they're all at, so that's how we were finding them. So if you do that every day, you would did the peyote button, that's over 2 million rep points in a week, which is quite a bit of rep points in one week. That's why I leveled up so fast. That, and you want to hang out with somebody and have them hire you because you get 200 rep points every 10 minutes or some crazy shit like that, you know, for being on their staff. So that's the cool thing about hanging out with somebody is they just hire you and you get money and you get RP. Oh, and we're gonna go sell, um, we're gonna go steal cars. Oh, I gotta go check the space. My thong. Ain't seen you in forever. I mean, granted, I've been streaming for a while, you know, eight hours, so but I made like a million bucks. Basically. And, you know, spent money too. And want a car. Right. How much is that freaking car worth that we just won? Or do I have to deposit money? That's just two grand. This one right here. That's what I just want on the podium. On top of the million dollars that I made today. So far. Well, you know me, A AIE, man. I, you know, I may not be the smartest Cecily Mia, there she is. What's up with Cecily Mia? How's that exercising coming? You got six pack ab there you can show us? Huh? You sporting that, sporting that model's body from all that working out at the gym? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nice tone, definition, arms, six pack abs, right? Good tan going on. 
Got your nails done? No, not, not yet. Oh hell, what the hell, soldier? Do I have to come over there and frickin' Do I have to come over there and be all um, DI on your ass? Huh? You want me to go DI? I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, I, I have it parked over here at the garage. Do I have to go all, all DI on you there, Cecily Mia? I can. I could. Nope, not yet. No. She's. I know you are. You'll get there. We know you will. But other than that, how's life? How's school? How's everything? Good, I hope. Yeah, now I have to make room for this car. I actually have a spot for it, I forgot. I can put it over at my apartment, I think. So this is what I want on the podium. Oh, you're you're okay? You're okay. I don't have to come over there and do your um exercise. Make you exercise more? Fine. Alright. I can. I don't mind. I could. Could do that. We can work out together. Oh, this is how Cecily Mia works out. This is cute. Go look at this gif I'm sending you. This is how you work out, I bet. This is a Cecily Mia way of working out, huh? Let's see if she's going to get a laugh out of that one. Oh, you just started drawing. Oh, nice. Drawing what? And drawing with what? Like what medium? Pencil? Charcoal? Crayons? <laughs> and what are you drawing? Pencil? Nice, nice. Good. Let's see, I want to hear what you, I want to hear what you're drawing. What type of drawing you're drawing. You can see this thing has a uh, purple and hot pink pearl paint job on it. See? Purple and hot pink. Nice. Look good. Look, does it look sexy? Is it all sexy looking? Is that a sexy car? Oh, Medusa. Wow, really? Oh, I, I want to see. When you get a chance, if you want to share. <laughs> oh, you like that? Is that how you do your push-ups? I bet that's how you do your push-ups. How much, how much I can bet, man? Huh. Huh. Mm-hmm. I bet. That'd be interesting seeing the Medusa. Let's see if this works. See if people can go look at that. See if you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. That's how Cecily Mia, she just sent me this picture. This is her exercising, everyone. So that worked. Yeah, Cecily Mia is exercising. Good afternoon. Yes. Well, I have I have good news. I'm getting you another computer from Acer. Yes, I am. I'm waiting for the box to come, and I haven't heard from them, so I'm going to give them a call because they said they were going to send me a box. You know, with the with the RMA. Um, maybe, maybe not. No, maybe. 
No, and I said, I haven't sent it off. I'm waiting. They're supposed to send me a box to send it to them. And they didn't send it yet. All they did, all they did was send me a email saying, how is our customer service? And I'm, so I'm going to get a hold of them and say, well, look, it's already been a few days, you know, because they asked me my address and everything because they said they're going to send a box and to put it in the box and put the label on it and send it to them. And they're going to either fix it or send another one for free. Get what other one? Oh yeah, you can get that anytime you want. I don't give a crap. Uh, yeah, you want to stop real, real quick and pick it up? I'll be right back, everyone. Huh? What? I have a customer here. I gotta go drop off. I'll be right back, folks. Got another customer showed up. Pick up their shit souls without calling me, but that's cool. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
She has to go down there. Okay. <laughs> Can't be the bus driver. <laughs> the bus. Wait, what bus driver? You guys have lost me, man. Welcome back, DH. OX, Michelle. <laughs> as bad as bad as I um, drive, you guys would be in trouble if I drove the bus for you, man. Trust me. We would all be in trouble. I don't know what... what um... So anyways, yep. That was a podium car this week, which was nice. I had a customer show for a computer and I took him to the wrong computer. <laughs> said, run back upstairs, run back outside. So what are you guys up to, man? You're funny. I, I'm assuming all three of you guys know each other because you all made the same statement. So one would assume you guys know each other. D.H. Michelle. O E X O E I X. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but yes, I do. you want to beat your meat? Well, go ahead. Don't let us stop you beating your meat, bro. Just make sure you got some handy wipes around and some, you know, lotions. So you don't chafe that thing up. Don't want to get no chafing on it, man. Right. Uh, let me check it out. Yes, I do. Ah, uh, it's pretty damn good so far, Cecily and Mia. Pretty impressive, man. Oh, yeah, the snakes. Yes, cool. I Are they going to have bangs? <laughs> so far, really cool. Yes, I do. Good work. I didn't know you had such talent. <laughs> Someone who told you that? Oh, okay. Somebody's spreading stories about me. I need to find out who's spreading stories about me. Somebody said you do a good job. I don't know, man. Not one for beating, beating meat, beating clits. Maybe. How about beating meat? Well, it depends. Do I beat my meat? I don't know. Yes, I do. Let me ask you this, who doesn't beat their meat? Huh. Yes, do. Let's go the other way around on that. Yeah. Who does not beat their meat? Huh? 
Huh? <laughs> Can you? Uh, I don't know, man. At my age, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, do you have BBC? BBC? Wow, man. DH degree? Why? I think what they're trying to do is try to get, they're trying to shock me, like, we're trying to shock this guy. Oh. Wow, are you guys gonna do that to me? Really? So we're gonna go, we're gonna do this all over again, DH. So, are you going to take care of your friends, bro, or what? What are we going to do, man? I thought we had all this stuff worked out, man. Well, I know it wasn't you, but who are these two other people that showed up on the stream? That crashed my game just now. And somebody crashed my game didn't crash by itself, right? We know that. We just went through this the other day, bro. Huh? And <laughs> you don't have friends? Uh, that's too bad. It crashed the last time the same way. And how would that be? Uh, probably that little dollar sign right below the chat. Nah, DH, he just crashed my game, dude. Your friend just crashed my game. I'm not going to do that, man. You and I both know what happened, okay? I'm not going to have you, you know, we're not going to go there, man. Your friends are a little immature, man. No, you, your your friends are out of control, man. You guys, all you want to do is disrupt my stream. Is all you want to do. You want to spoil everybody's that here that's watching for some reason. I don't know why. Because for some reason you got some power trip that oh we got control over this guy. So I'll just simply play a different game. You know what I mean? We'll just go and play Arma. You know what I mean?
Well, yeah, Julie, I already went down this road already. See, and he's saying he's sorry, but he let, he's letting these people do this shit, see? They're modders, and now they're coming on here, you know, and they want to disrupt me, and they want to disrupt the stream, and you know what I mean? So I'll just play a different game. That's all. Yeah, but I have no choice because they can... What they do, Julie, is they come in your game and they're hidden. They hide themselves so you can't see them. Their name doesn't show up. They show up as a hidden character. And then they can crash your game that way. They're physically there in the game and they're crashing my game. Is what they do. That's what they do. They're in the game. They come in the game to crash it. You know, hey, it's okay, bro. I only fucking served my country for all those years. I'm disabled. I'm trying to make the stupid 120 fucking $2 a month that I get from fucking YouTube. And now you want to fucking take that out of my mouth? No problem, dog. I get $782 a month for fucking disability from the fucking government for getting my ass fucking shot off. Right? And a lousy 122 a month from fucking YouTube and whatever I make on my computer business. Oh, by the way, it was a black woman who came today that I fixed her fucking computer for free. You know why? Because a bunch of asshole white people broke into her house, damaged her fucking house, broke her two fucking computers. So I basically gave her a brand new computer for free. Transferred all her data. Gave her. She tried to give me money and I told her no. I said, this is my way of showing you that I'm not some fucking asshole racist white motherfucker. You know, so then I get this fucking bullshit. Well, I'm sitting here trying to fucking stream, trying to fucking make a, just a little bit of fucking money while I'm starving, and your friends want to come along and fucking stomp on my fucking dick. Oh, you're reporting me for bad words, see? 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 Listen, then that was going to crash my steam, newbie. See? See? Hey, no problem. Let's do this. Here. See, since I'm a newbie, here, we'll just do this. I'll just close my Steam up. How's that? There. There you go. So I'll go open up a different launcher and go play someplace else. How's that? Oh, you can still crash me, huh? Wow. That's nice to know, bro. Okay. No, Julie, because they're using fake names. Julie, what a modder does is a modder uses everything fake. Everything's fake. Their rock star account is fake. Their usernames are fake. Everything is fake. I've already found out all this from somebody who can probably do something about these guys. Once I, I hit her up, because she's a professional hacker. 
You know, so no, these guys, like I said, man. You know, DH Degree, he knows how to unblock himself from YouTube. I blocked him on YouTube from my channel. He came right back 10 minutes later. So, DH Degree, if you are that sincere, why don't you tell us how you unblocked yourself? Let's show, you, show people how honest you are. If you really fucking care, how did you unblock yourself? When I, I, I block you on my YouTube channel, how do you unblock yourself within 10 minutes and you're right back again? How'd you do that? Well, you can show support for me all you want, Mystic, but what do, you, what do you want me to do when somebody crashes my GTA 5? Then threatens to crash my Steam. Then, you know, threatens to crash my PC. What should I do? What would you like me to do? So again, DH Degree, how did you manage to unblock yourself from YouTube within 10 minutes? Because remember, I blocked you and you were right back saying that's not going to work. So how did you do that? That doesn't keep them from crashing your game, bro. They can still come into your game and crash your game. If you're on a public GTA server, they can find you. Yeah, I'm not talking about my PC. I'm talking about them crashing my game and interfering with me playing. And then I asked DH Degree nicely to answer my question. See, because I'm not going to go into a game with anybody that has the ability to hack my account. Because once I'm in a session with them, they can hack my account and take my whole Rockstar account. And then I got to get all the Rockstar. And, and I know DH Degree, he's already said he's sorry. He already apologized the other day. He's acting like a civil guy, but then he lets these fucking people come here and fuck up my fucking stream. You know what I mean? And, and threaten me. Okay, but why don't you answer my question? Could you please answer my question? How do you manage to unblock yourself from YouTube when I block you from my channel? How do you unblock yourself? Because I'm assuming it's working on the fact that you have a VPN. See, because now I don't want to play GTA 5 anymore, man. Literally. I'm just going to uninstall GTA 5. That's my end of my GTA 5. You, you guys have just ruined it for me. Okay, so you just get a hold of YouTube and say that this guy blocked me for no reason? And they unblock you? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, well, but like I said, I'm not playing GTA 5 anymore, man. That's it. So your friends won. See, they won. So. And apparently I can't play Steam because your friend's going to crash me. So I can't even play Arma to show people Arma 3. See, because now your friend's threatening to crash me on Arma 3. You know, this is like crazy, dude. Good luck. Good luck with what? <laughs> the problem is they don't have anti-cheat software in GTA 5. If GTA 5 had anti-cheat software, they wouldn't be able to do this shit. But because GTA 5 doesn't use anti-cheat software, everybody can do whatever they want. GTA 6 is going to have anti-cheat software, just to let you guys know. I do know that much. So.
All right, well, I'm going to take you at your word, dude. Because, you know, people want to see shit. I got to do something, bro. Okay, so let me answer. Let me do the steam shit first. Are you still here, Mystic? Would you like me to answer your questions? About Arma 3? First, and then we can get back into the GTA like I'm trying to do and just enjoy my fucking life. Oh my God, man. At 67 years old, man, I shouldn't have to put up with this shit. That's, that's the problem, man. I'm way too old, man. I'm not some young kid who, who gets into this shit. Mystic? Why am I mad at you? How am I mad? Oh, never mind, dude. I am, trust me, I'm not mad at you. And if you're, if you keep saying that your one subscribership is going to make or break my life, bro. Trust me, it's not. Okay, I'm trying to answer your questions. Would you like me to answer your questions about Arma 3? If so, I'll be more than happy to fire up Arma 3 and I can answer your questions. If not, then I was going to fire up GTA 5 and go back to my game. But I was trying to be nice and answer your question since you did take the time to type all that crap in. But no, I'm not mad at anybody. So quit being so sensitive. Okay? Holy shit, man. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm just trying to work out some logistics here so I can get back to what I'm doing. Right? Which is either do this, do that. So, but if you don't think with 5,840 hours I can answer your questions about Arma 3, I won't bother. So let me scroll back up and I will try to answer your question. Okay? We'll go that way. Go. Cool. Alright. Now you just bought Arma 3 for $7, right? That means you picked up the base game for $7. Alright? Means you did you did not get the full game yet. This is why I want to show to show you what's going on. All right, you picked up the base game, bro, which is a great deal, right? Seven dollars and forty-nine cents, correct? Arma three, fantastic. You're gonna have a lot of playability. The problem is you need this version right here, the Arma three Apex Edition. Okay, because this version doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't give you the helicopters. It doesn't give you the marksmanship, the tanks. It doesn't give you Tanoa, so you're basically not going to play on anything. You're going to be stuck on a couple of vanilla maps, so you're not going to be a happy camper. Does that answer part of your question right there? So, what you need to do is, since you have this one now, right, you need to skedaddle back there and go buy that one, and they'll give you that money off of that price. But until you buy the Arma 3 Apex Edition, you ain't playing shit. Because this one doesn't have anything in it. That has nothing in it. This one has everything. The other one has nothing. See? There. Does that answer your question? I... See? So what you want to do is, the reason you need it, because you got the base game. But you don't have helicopters, marksmanship, and Apex. Apex is important because that has Tanoa. So you're leaving out a big portion of the game and weapons and aircraft and, you know, a lot of shit. So better off to buy the uh, Apex Edition, bro. Cool? All right. So did I answer your question satisfactorily? I'm O-E-I-X. How am I? I guess... I didn't say anything about you being a subscriber. It said you were trying to support me. And I'm saying, well, how are you supporting me? Is he, are you a subscriber on my YouTube page? Are you donating me money? 
Are you a subscriber on Twitch Prime? I mean, you know what I mean? If you're trying to support me, supporting me isn't coming here and getting upset because I'm trying to work something out with some other people. And then you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't want to get in the middle of it. And I'm like, nobody's asking to get in the middle of it, man. But don't be impatient. And, you know, we answered your question, see? You got the wrong edition. Now you need to go back and buy the right edition. But people are going to answer questions the way they want, not the way you ex exactly want to hear it. So, again, you know, you're not ruffling my feathers, but I had other things that are going on, right? So, yeah. So, see, it's all pretty simple. Go back, buy the right edition, you'll be a happy man, or keep the one you got and play a limited amount of Arma 3. See? But I would suggest you make sure you do the virtual training, right? And then do your basic training, okay? And then go ahead and try to do the campaign before you jump into multiplayer, and everything will make a lot more sense to you at that point, you know, instead of just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, so there we go. So we back to semi-normal again here, everyone. Everybody's relaxed. Can I go back and play now? Or am I going to have some type of effing issue? <laughs> That's all I want to know, man. I just want to go play. Whoops. Sorry. Picked the wrong game, man. See? You guys got me so... I'm so flustered over this crap. All right, so I answered your question, okay? Good.
man, it's starting to turn cold here, man. I don't know where, well, if you live in the southern United States, in Texas and Louisiana, that part of the country, you're going to get another tropical storm, which is like bizarre. But it's pretty cool up here in the northeast right now. Sort of bizarre. So, weird, weird weather. We're getting hots for sure. Yeah, I'm pissed off getting, uh, about getting kicked out of that session because I was in there with my friend and it was cool because he was stealing cars and cargo and I was and you know, it was like all nice and mellow and and we weren't fucking with anybody at all and everything was working out perfect. <sighs> my dude, man. Hi, how are you? The job is awesome. I love yeah, so my like, mom. I don't know why you guys had to come yeah, stick around. I all that shit to sell my tea. Especially since there's so many other people out there to mess with. I mean, I get what I get. trust me, I the plethora of people out there to mess with. Agatha, the casino and resort. Yeah, yeah, lady. What about it? We're getting into some Superman lover right here, baby. What? Jupiter, there you are. Good afternoon to you. Hope you've had a good day. Witch, dropped a sub. Thank you so much, Witch. Very nice of you to do that, man. 
what's up with yourself, man. Hope you're having a great day. Hope your day went by there fast, Jupiter. Which, thank you so much for the compliment. okay until about 20 minutes ago when a couple people decided to get into my game here at GTA 5 and hack in there and crash me to the desktop and then come on the stream and threaten me on the stream. That's all. Never played GTA 5? GTA 5 is a lot of fun. One of the main fun, fun things about it is you're in a big city called Los Angeles. So it's actually fashioned after Los Angeles, so it's very, very realistic. And, you know, you can go around and steal cars and do all sorts of crazy crap. So GTA 5, yeah, very, very fun game to play. Coming for the Exorbio 720 gaming system. Some video games that would be very good, Jupiter, if you could help me out. I would really appreciate it. There's a shooter set in the most culturally terrifying That'd be great, because... Like I said, man, I wasn't bothering anybody and, you know, just sitting here trying to relax and make my 120 bucks a month on YouTube that I get, basically. I pretty much average the same thing every month, so, yep, so, not trying to hassle anybody or mess with anybody, so, is it possible I show you around? I can do that. Where would you like to start? Where would you like me to start? I guess I could open up the map first. That'd probably be the best thing. All right. Well, here's your main city. This is Los Angeles, right? So this would be in the real world. Okay. This would be downtown Los Angeles. Okay. This area right here would be the port of Long Beach. Okay. And the port of Los Angeles. Okay. In the real world. Port of Long Beach, Port of Los Angeles. That's a Terminal Island Bridge. This bridge that goes back and forth. This island over here, where you get into El Burro Heights and Marietta Heights, would be Lincoln Heights and Boyle Heights in the real world, okay? This area over here, which is Vesuvio Beach, and the canals is actually Venice Beach in Los Angeles, California, and that's Santa Monica Pier, so this is back after Santa Monica. The movie studio, which is here, is actually Paramount Movie Studio. This is actually Pacific Coast Highway, this would be Malibu, the community of Malibu. UCLA is here. Then you have Beverly Hills, you have the Playboy Mansion. Then it'll go all the way up towards Santa Barbara. Then technically this is the Salton Sea, which is actually below Southern California, but in the game they put it above Southern California. Does that make sense so far? <laughs> so this is all based on Southern California, basically. And you are on an island, right, surrounded by water, but you never have that perception, except for when you're along the coast. You know what I mean? For the most part, you sort of get the feeling you're on, you just, you know, like here you sort of look around and it's Los Angeles. You don't think, oh, I'm on an island, right? It looks like LA, that's downtown LA. That big round building is the, was originally called the Arco Tower. That was the first 75 story tall building. This hospital right here is really there, it's in Inglewood, right? And that courthouse behind me, that big building behind me is the Inglewood Courthouse, and that's the Inglewood Sheriff's Station, they're really there. So a lot of, there's 450 real landmarks. Okay, this is actually the coroner's office in Southern California, it's located by the General Hospital. That's really what the coroner's office looks like, right there, right? So lots of, lots of real stuff mixed in with obviously the rest of the fake stuff. You know, this area right here would be South Central, Los Angeles and Compton. And then it turns into Long Beach right away because I've lived in this area here for many years. That would be the 
forum in front of us because the Staples Center wasn't built yet when the game came out, basically. And actually, it's the Coliseum, sorry. Yep, Playboy Mansion. Yep, uh, Snow Wolf says, show, show the Playboy Mansion. But you can see, you get a feel that you're in a real city. You know, the streets are dirty and gritty and cracked and the sidewalks got bubble gum on them and you're not like in a pristine game world. You know, it looks like a real world. Grass is overgrown and, you know, it looks like a real world. It's like when you would drive, not some fake, fake, doesn't look fake. That's the one thing that makes it so cool. So this would be the LA Coliseum, but they took the Coliseum and sort of combined it, put a roof on it. So it's like a Staples Coliseum, right? Then that would be LAX over there, Los Angeles International Airport, right down to the pylons. You even have the colored pylons if you're familiar at nighttime. They light the pylons up if you've ever looked at Los Angeles International Airport at nighttime. They get the pylons and they light up at night. And then even have that restaurant, right? The world famous restaurant, everybody knows what it looks like. Looks like a spaceship, right? And there's the control tower. See, that restaurant's there, that control, that's the deck. This is, this is the upper deck, right? Upper deck is for departures and lower decks for arrivals. So this is exactly what LAX looks like. If you drive to Los Angeles, LAX is exactly what you would do. That's the Bradley International Terminal. We do international flights. Have that terminal on the right. Yeah, so there's so much real shit in the game. That's what's so trippy. Especially if you lived in the Los Angeles area, then you're very familiar driving around and you can just drive around and do everything without even thinking twice. Uh, yeah, there's a strip club. That's correct. Wow. Aren't you the, the quick one? Is there a strip club, sir? Someplace? Yeah. There's a strip club, Virginia. You're funny. Everybody wants to know about this strip club. That would be the Vanilla Unicorn. Right? That's over here. But, you know, the recycling scrap places, that's there. So it's, again, it's very realistic based on Los Angeles. So it's not a fake. In that sense, it's very real. Let's take a shortcut. Not that I know where the strip club's at, but that's, uh, yeah, this is your, uh, the Vanilla Unicorn, so we even have a strip club. We can go get private dances in the back room there for 40 bucks a pop. Okay, strip club. Can I go inside? Uh, no. No. Sorry. Can't do that on this stream, man. I'm sure you can find more than enough people that can, on YouTube, that can show you the inside of the club. That probably won't be a problem. I guarantee you that, man. I'm sure they're out there. So, nah. No going inside the club, man. Can't, no, can't do that stuff. No picking up prostitutes. There's prostitutes you can pick up, so no, can't pick up prostitutes, can't go inside the club. Big no-no. I can go inside of my club. I go to my nightclub and show you my nightclub. We're gonna do that. Before I join Jupiter. So this is a Venice Canal. So this is all real. This is Venice Beach, right? This is all real. Right, you go over here. This market right here on my left, that market's really there, right? That tattoo shop, I have a tattoo on my shoulder. So I got it at that tattoo shop. It's not called the pit, but that tattoo shop is really there in the real world. Got a tattoo to prove it. So 
Whoops. My bad. These workers have never finished that fucking hole ever since in seven years. That's typical workers. Is it possible you could help me get money? Um, get money how? Like what? Like do jobs, do heists? Explain to you how to get money? It's pretty easy. You gotta buy a nightclub or you gotta be a CEO, you gotta be a motorcycle MC. The easiest way to, is to go on GameStop.com and spend ten dollars and get a criminal starter pack. And for ten bucks, a criminal starter pack will give you all the above businesses I just mentioned. It'll give you the bank, it'll give you this nightclub, it'll give you your motorcycle club, it'll give you a parking garage, it'll give you weapons, clothes, tattoos. Can I help you with work? In which way? Like, and how? On what platform? What, what platform are you on there? That would probably, I need to know that. Let me see if Jupiter's on yet. I can go join her. Oh, she may not be ready yet. If you buy the starter pack and a PC, and a PC, get the hell out of here, man. You you would really you'd be willing to buy a PC? You haven't bought a PC yet, okay? I mean, of course, I would help anybody. I'm, I'm more than willing to help anybody. You can ask anybody on the stream that, but that's um, that's quite a jump buying a PC. So you don't own a PC yet? Oh, okay, you have a PC. You get, okay, well, just go to GameStop, right? G-A-M-E-S-T-O-P.com. Well, you send me a friend request. All right. Copy that. You sure you can do that, right? Just joking, Jupiter. I know you can. That's just a joke. Well, you go, just go get the criminal starter pack, install everything, and you're going to send me a friend request on the social club, correct? And then we would start hanging out together and doing missions and running around getting your businesses set up. That's pretty straightforward. How's that sound? So you have a PC that you actually own GTA 5 on the PC already? Like you've already have GTA 5? Because you can't, the criminal starter pack isn't the game. 
the criminal starter pack is an add-on to the game. So you, you would still need to have the actual game itself. And then have a Rockstar account. That's how that works. Ah, okay, so you already had it, so cool. So once you put the pack in, like I said, and you go in there, you're going to go into your maze bank, and at that point, you'll see all the free properties that you own. They have like little dollar signs when you go to maze bank property. You can go here and go to maze bank. And the ones that you own for free, like see, I haven't started this motorcycle one. So the ones that you have for free will have a dollar sign like that. And that tells you that's your free property. So that's your motorcycle one. And then they're going to have the counterfeit businesses over here someplace. Wherever the hell it's at. Oh, oh, you don't see the counterfeit business here because you got to do the motorcycle. But you get the motorcycle, and then you're going to get your nightclub, and then you're going to get your office and all that shit. Uh, on there, the other the other ones are on the other property. Over here on your dynasty property. Executive, this one. Come over here, and you'll see the other one that you own for free. It'll have a dollar sign like that. For your other properties that you own for free, they'll have dollar signs. <laughs> you think you bought it? You're funny. Let's see if Jupiter got on yet. Did you? Oh yeah, she's on. Hey, Jupiter. I see you made it on. Okay. Cool. Good. All right, so she's going to go do some shitzels over here, take care of business. I was going to move one of my cars anyways. Ah, oh, cool. And that's going to work for sure, huh? With no problem, Jupiter? Okay. They can't sneak in with all the invisible tags and all that crap. Because I know that's what they did to me. They wouldn't have crashed. They couldn't crash my game unless they came in, right? I mean, one would assume they'd have to be in the game with me. Oh. No, I'm just saying what happened was is I was in the game with um, v VK2. Right? VK2 was doing his thing. I was doing my thing. Right? And then these guys came in the YouTube stream and got upset about whatever reason. And then they crashed my game on me. But when I went in there, I didn't see anybody at first in the game. But then it crashed. So one can only assume that they came in and crashed my game. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know how else it would have crashed. So... Unless it was just a coincidence, which I don't believe it was. Could be. Could be. It could be wrong. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. All right, anyways, let me come over to you and... Oh, shit, she just left. Where'd she go? So, anyways, this is a podium car that's on the week. Does it look better than it looked when I bought the podium? Yeah. Whatever, dude. Huh? Oh, your nightclub crashed you? Alright, here's the car right here, Jupiter. This is the one I got on the podium just now.
There you go. This is your podium car this week. I'm assuming you're coming back there once you get your game uncrashed. Q. Here we go, man. Well, this is crazy, man. How am I going to put all these cars? Where am I going to put all these cars? That's a podium. That was a podium car, what, two weeks ago? That one? That was like two weeks ago? Podium car? I won that one two weeks ago. And then I won that one, this one over here. This one, like, last month. And then I won, what is the other one? That one over there a long time ago. This one over here. This is a podium car. And the other podium cars I have are in the other garages. You get seven so far in two months. Man, I'm doing pretty freaking good. Pretty good. But this is a nice one here. This one came out nice. This is the Turismo you get with the criminal starter pack, which it's first off, um, Jupiter. Jupiter is a she, right? It's not Jupiter's not a he. And she's not gonna bully anybody at all, and she doesn't do any modding in the game. And you can add me, uh, like I said, it's Sergeant Nick Fury. If you just want to add me on... Like I said, send me a friend request and we'll start there. But yeah. Jupiter is a she, <laughs> not a he. She's pretty tough. <laughs> she beats me up a few times like LC Devil. Send me a friend request on the Rockstar Social Club. You said you already have the game installed, right? So you can go log into your Rockstar Social Club and there's a, a tab there that say add friends. Right, and you can type in my name and say search for me and it'll send me a friend request that way. It's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, even this bullet came out, this vape bullet, it came out nice. I did it with that um, silver, whatever that silver gray with a pearl. So it actually came out pretty freaking nice because I hated it the way it looked before with those crappy rims. And this is your Deluxo. This is what's on sale right now. So if you're going to get one of these, you only have till like 4 a.m. to get a Deluxo and it's going to be gone. So don't cry. Don't cry if your Deluxo disappears. 
But I don't know if I want to leave this one here or if I want to move it over to my other warehouse with my other racing type cars. Because it sort of doesn't fit in this garage. You know what I mean? My name is the same as my name here on the stream. You know what my name is here on the stream, I, I hope, right? I would, be, I would be highly upset if you did not know what my streaming name was. You would hurt my feelings. And no, that's not a beer. That's just an energy drink, like an Arizona iced tea. So don't get all excited. You know what I mean? Make another one? Is that what you just asked me to do, Jupiter? Is that a beer? No. No, no, no. No beer, man. It's an Arizo Arizona iced tea energy drink. <coughs> You're funny. A beer. Yeah, I don't think I want to keep this car in this garage, man. It doesn't fit in here. I'm going to take it over to my other car. At my other car. Garage. Yeah, nope. That's um, not a beer, man. I drink beer occasionally, but I'm not a big beer drinker, so I, I haven't had a beer for a long time. I'm more of a tequila man. I like tequila. Te tequila tastes good. You know, like margaritas. I'm oh, yeah, more of a margarita. Cars fast, man. Not that fast, but one twenty. What the hell? Hey, welcome back, Jupiter. Where you at? Got your club again? Come over there. What type of beer do you like, witch? Huh? What type of beer do you like? I'll figure out where she's at. I think I'll join her up. God damn it, man. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing way out there? Jesus H effing frickin' Christ, man. I'm not driving all the way out there to the desert. That's not happening. I should have scratched my car. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, beer, beer. I'm not a big beer, beer drinker. I like Guinness beer. Guinness beer is pretty good. I like Japanese beers. When I go out for sushi, definitely like drinking beer then. Yeah, I'm not, not too much of a big beer drinker. 
for sure. For sure. So a good trick is when you get some scratches on your car, you just send it back to storage and call it back and it'll come back all nice and pristine for you. You have to roll over to Los Santos and get it fixed every time. Just to let you know. I only had a few scratches on there, but it bothered me on the front fender, see? And we're all nice and pristine. No more scratches. But this is a podium car today. You want to know what the podium car, the S80RR looks like? podium car. Well, it didn't look like this at first. It actually looks pretty crappy. I sort of changed the paint. And you can get several different liveries. So what I did is I went with a purple, dark purple metallic with a hot pink pearl on top of that. And then the debonair livery. But shit, man, this car is $3.2 million. And if you go to sell it, they want to give you $12,250. I'm like, wait a second. The freaking car's worth $3.2 million, and you want to give me $1,200 or $12,000? I'm like, you crazy, game? I just keep that sucker, man. Yeah, that's why I said, oh, hell, we just might as well keep it then. No sense, no sense in selling it, man. That if I could sell it for a couple million, I might sell it. Sort of don't really need it. I'll keep it, but I don't really need it. Cars and cars, right? Just for free.
you at. Funny. Oh man, I gotta send my car back and. Oh, you've been chasing me the whole time? Let me go in here and get a. Get freshened up a little bit. <laughs> chasing me? Trying to catch me, huh? I fucking saw you into that. Is it hundred bucks? You bring her back to me. <laughs> Trying to catch me, huh? Like fucking that dude's hot. I'm too fast. No, seriously? Really? You just bullshit me, right? All right, cool. Good. You're gonna love this car. That I'll let you drive it. You were doing, I was doing 142, about 142. <laughs> I don't even have the engine maxed out. I'm going to go back and do max out the engine and shit. Hey, you're going to like this one. The livery came out really nice on it, this uh, dark purple. That, that dark purple with the uh, hot pink pearl works perfect on this thing, man. Oh, here, here she comes. Yeah, this works perfect, man. You're gonna, you'll like this one. Then we're gonna check out. She's got a couple cars too, I'm gonna check out. Oh, you got your Futo. Isn't this fuck? Isn't that Futo a badass car? Now you have it maxed out, right? You got the turbo maxed out, everything, right? Yeah, but see, so 107 isn't bad for that little car. That's like a Toyota Corolla. I love it with the livery. That's that's the, this Futos are so you guys can get these for free. You can go steal one of these, and they're really nice little thief cars, like to run around and do your stealing and robbing liquor stores and shit. They're super fast. All right, so what do you think of this one? Didn't come out too bad. From the considering what it looks like on the podium, on the podium it's got that red matte. It's got that red matte paint job on the podium that looks like shit. So jump in that and go drive it a little bit. Yeah, go drive it, because it's a single seater, so you can take it up the highway, up towards it. Oh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> she goes, you asshole. <laughs> she tells you, yeah, go drive it, but... <laughs> yeah, I was like, did it work? Hold on, it said crew and friends. You're on my friends list, right? Hold on. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, now try it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go towards up towards the tunnel and all that and back. You'll be fine. It's really nice to drive. You should get one. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna go wreck. Go wreck. Let's go see if we can drive her a little Futo. These cars are really nice, man. And they got a cool livery. You get the, you know, yeah, you get the robot. Where it says bubble gum. Yeah, these are nice cars to drive. I love these cars. Mine, I was like, mine rocks, man. Let's see how fast this one is. Let's see how fast this one is. Oh, yeah, she's got a max. I was quite surprised how nice these little cars were. I was like, damn, yeah, man, you can get them everywhere. Matter of fact, how I got mine was this lady was coming by the club. That's a, it's a nice car, but it handles really nice. It's not squirrely fast. You know what I mean? It like sticks to the road. It's got good aerodynamics. You know? But I love these little Futos because, you know, it's like good little cruiser cars, man. You know? Oh, there she goes. She's going back the other way. Let me turn around over there. Yeah, these Futos are really nice cars, man. And they're free. And, you know, to like totally liberate it out and all that, it's like less than a hundred thousand bucks. And they got some, if you don't want the bubblegum robot princess, they got some other cool liveries, man. So, but they're nice little cars, they're pretty quick, and with the bulletproof tires, and fully armored, is like 30K, and the tires are 25, so. But they're good little height cars. And they look cool just to drive around, they're nice little cars. So. Yeah, 
Yes, I do like these cars a lot. I like the food goes, man. Good little. Cool. So you think that car is pretty quick? He didn't crash it. Oh, I like your t-shirt. Yeah, you didn't crash it. And what, uh, what pants you got on today? She had on the robot bubblegum princess pants on the other day. And see what designs they have. Yep, he didn't crash it, so thank God. She didn't hear me say that, by the way. All right, so she's got some other cars she's going to show us, so. Yep, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and send this one back. She's going she's gonna to call up her other car. This is her all-new favorite car. Buddy, she's going to go call it up here. And I've been trying to get one of these Impontes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my God, look at that. No way. That's a Pantera. That's a Ford Pantera. Cool. Let me guess. This is the one that can go underneath the water now. You're going to surprise me. Oh, it's got, yeah, it's got the machine gun. Right. Cool. Be careful. Be careful. You know, these are freaking trees. Yeah, they don't move. Oh. I'd be having a heart attack. I don't have to put a snorkel on or anything, right? It would actually work it. Thinking it, thinking it's worth it. Oh! This is the one. Oh my god, man. I want this car. Fuck that bike. I want this car. I can go buy this? Tell me I can go buy this. How come I can't go to first person? Oh my god. Tell me I can buy this car. Tell me I can... Oh, there it is. Tell me I can buy this car. I'm buying this freaking thing. I'm going to go buy it right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This car rocks. Oh, I can come underneath the ocean and just come down here and relax and put the radio on and just forget everybody. Remember you were trying to do it with that car that day? Look at this. Check this car. Look, look. It's like the James Bond underwater car. Wow. Wow. So how much is this going to cost me? Uh, don't. Hard to drive? Okay, don't tell me. Let me go look it up. I guess it, I bet you it's on war stock, right? I would, I would imagine it's on war stock. I don't even want to know. Don't, don't tell me. No, just don't tell me. One hundred bucks. One hundred bucks. No, come on, Thomas. You fucking. I don't see it. Which? Where's it at? Oh hell yeah, I want to drive it. Are you kidding? Is the frickin' Pope Catholic? So does it drive like a plane in the water? I'll try to go to H. Okay, it's a miserable model. Yeah, hold H. Okay, I got that. Oh my god. drive. Yeah. I drive the shit out of this, you kidding? Wow. Do, 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 they look so nice in the water too. You don't think that and they have all this coral and all that in the water. Here. So do we make it dive the same way that um 
Like, how do you dive? Does it dive or? Ah, there it goes. Okay, I got the diving. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I see. Cool. Wow, sweet. Really? Why did they block out your word? Is tortoises a, a nasty word? <laughs> Last time I checked, tortoises is a nasty word, Rockstar. Tortoises is like, I'm like, why did they block out her? Or torpedoes. Oh. Well, see, now I'm back on top of the water. So I guess when you're in shallow water, it goes shallow. And then if you go to deeper water, it'll go like, there you go. Oh, so you can switch. Ah, torpedoes. Oh, my God. That's like crazy. Yeah, there you go. Nah, oh, man. All right. It's the white one, Thomas? Okay. Yeah, you play the radio, too, man. The radio works, too, bro. We got radio. AIE yeah, says, is the radio work in that car? You're so funny. <laughs> Everybody wants to know the radio. Does the radio work? Yeah, radio works. Wow, this car is so freaking cool. Alright. Let me go land it. She goes, put it back up on shore. She's going to show us the next. All right. Cool. Let me go up on shore. The General Lee? Oh, my God. That's the Duke car. That's the one that um, Thomas Lee has. Yeah, Thomas Lee has that one. I am going back towards shore, right? Oh, no, sorry. I'm going back towards shore. Huh? Yeah, see the map. That's why I was having a hard time too. I'm like, well, how in the fuck do I know if I'm heading towards shore? If I'm going out to the deep water, I'm gonna get deep. Wow, this is so freaking cool. So we got a flying car, we got an underwater car. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, you never think they have all that cool shit. You know, the coral and all that. You don't see it. So when you come up on the shore, does it automatically come out of hover mode or you have to hit H again? Oh yeah, hit H again and go back in the car mode. That is so freaking look that looks so cool. Huh? That is so cool. Alright, he's gonna show us another one. That is freaking awesome. Let me go look this one up. Well huh? Huh? Really? Oh. I didn't notice. Well, maybe it'll go on sale tomorrow. You know what I mean? Maybe it'll be the sale one tomorrow. Um, AIE. You know how all the, they have a different car every week? So maybe I have that underwater one. He said it's the white one over here, Thomas Lee said. It's the white one. That one, the Strongberg. Yeah, so it goes in the water. That's, that's all it is, is three million? That's it. I hope that goes on sale tomorrow for the Twitch Prime, 80% off, or 60. Hell yeah, I will buy it tomorrow. I mean, I could buy it right now. Oh, look at this one, this one's cool too. Well, this is the one you saw drive with the tires where you can see the tires and you were all nervous you could see the tires. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Remember that? Yeah. You were all nervous because you go, I don't like that car because when you're inside. <laughs> oh, that's not the one. It's a different one. That's just like a different one with that, with that the tires. Where you can, oh, yeah. This one. You're still as low, you would see the tire if that wheel well was cut open there, yeah. Go, man. You're kidding, man. It's not on sale on the PS4. Just on the PS... You know what? 
I bet you AIE that's a PC exclusive offer on Prime Twitch. Because you can't get Prime Twitch on the PlayStation. I just remembered that, right? There is no Amazon Prime on the PlayStation. That's a PC. You got to go to the website. So you're right. So you guys, but you get a million dollars a freaking month, right? Oh, I got a crew request from somebody. But I like these. This car is a nice one, too. Oh, shit, balls. <laughs> Your driving isn't as good as my driving, as you can tell. But that's okay. We're not laughing. We're, we're sitting here with our eyes closed, so we don't know what. I just hear banging every now and then. I sort of peek. To see if they were in one piece or we're flying through the air yet. She's hollering fucking ass, are you kidding? Oh, look, chip balls. Really? Are we going to the back cave or what? Well, I know it's armored. I have that armor too. Yeah, it's 100% armor. Thank God. That's the first thing I did to mine when I that I just won the ones at the casino. Yeah, if I plan on racing around 140 miles an hour, you got to armor them and put bulletproof tires, man. You're gonna have to your car pretty quick. You may, you may break the glass out and scratch it, but you won't mess them up. This is pretty cool. It's hard for you to see the speedometer, but I can sort of see it over there. Yeah, it's pretty good. This would be a good race for the other one, for the um, S80RR. It would be good to race these two to see which one's the fastest. Have a race. Cool. Yeah, you get the money for Twitch Prime, so you should get the discount. If you're getting the money, you should get the discount. That doesn't make any sense, huh? It must be a PC thingy. Or you don't have your account linked. When you go to Twitch Prime, right? You go to Amazon and go to Twitch Prime, AIE. You have to link PC, PlayStation, Xbox. You gotta link them to get the rewards. You might not be linked right. All right, cool. Turn on the radio. If you don't mind. Yeah, you might not be linked right because I had to link my PlayStation. I wasn't linked on the PlayStation. I was just linked on the PC. So you'll see where it says link accounts and it'll have a checkbox, green checkbox, next to each one that you're linked with. Hold on one second, please. And um, if you're not linked, it'll have a red X. If you're linked, it'll have a green check. So you might not be linked on the PlayStation. You might want to go check that to see if you're not. Because that could be... Oh, you did? Okay. Well, I don't know why you're not getting the offer then, bro. Sorry. Sorry. I do like that underwater car. I plan on getting one of those when they go on sale. I bet you Switch or Prime will have it.
like to get you in the crew one with me. I could drive 265 miles an hour in a couple of the cars I own. That's real fast. This car's really nice. I like this car. It handles a little bit. They could be the tires. What tires do you have on here? Because the tires do hand do make a difference. The different tires, but it handles really nice. Very smooth, easy to drive. It feels like it wants to shift one more time for me, though. It feels like I need to shift like one more gear up. The tuner tires, good. I was gonna say those are the best ones to put on. Are the tuner tires, good. Yeah, it feels like it wants to shift like one more time. I could just hold him back one gear. Okay, nice car. Whoa. He's up there. Good. Oh, you mother. So sorry. Not okay. I don't want to bang your car around. I don't know if you went and spun your thingy yet. I spun mine. So you gotta, have you spun the casino? Okay, go spin. Maybe you'll, get to, maybe you'll win this car. It was so funny, Jupiter. I literally got here as I was walking inside and I walked up to the wheel I told everybody alright well, let's just get this over and let me just win this fucking car so I can get out of here and get on with other shit I gotta do and tour shit won the car I was like oh my god and of course everybody's like laughing and shit I go god damn Sarge you are so lucky when it comes to those freaking cars man I go I know that's Keep number seven track. in two Each months the man I'm like that for glory. Come enjoy the thrill of horse racing. Okay. New now if you want when we're done looking at your cars if you want to help me do that Miss Baker one and start doing the casino one just to unlock them because you know when I do all six of those I get that armored Enos right with the machine guns in the front and all that shit for free right I want to do a couple of them with She-Devil, but do I, they're all two people. Every one of them is two people. If so, I'll just wait. Because I'd rather do your doomsday. What? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. We, we can, but you want to go spin and all that bullshit? Go spin. Oh, you can't spin yet? You want to go talk to Miss Baker? Let's go. You want to go do that? What do you want to do? You want to show me cars? Let's show me cars first. She goes, God damn it, Sergeant. I'm gonna fucking slap you, man. It's about two seconds. Show me cars first. We'll show the car. We'll do all the cars. Get all that cool shit done first. First. Then we'll go. Miss do Miss Baker ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Get the side. But didn't you want to show us the Dukes of Hazard car? Right? Dukes of Hazard car, right? That one. Yeah. Miss Baker ain't going nowhere. Oh, you don't have to buy it yet. Oh, I know which one you're going to buy. You're going to buy the Imponte Dukes. You're talking about the Imponte Dukes. Yeah, when you get a chance, get that. And But you want to go talk to her, let's go talk to her and see what the fuck she's got going on. Yeah, cool. Where's her office at? It's over here somewhere. I remember that. Yeah. That's the one, because you can, you can put the orange paint. Now, do they have the livery? The livery, because I know you can get the horn. Obviously, we know you can get the Confederate horn. And you're going to do it orange, but did they have the livery? Because I don't think they're going to let you have a Confederate flag on that car. <laughs> I don't think politically correct. I don't. It might, though, because the game came out seven years ago, right? So, you know, we, we don't know, folks. We, we don't know. Okay, let me see. We're looking for management. George says management. It'll have a blue circle right there for us to start the mission. That is so funny. Oh, this way? All right, go. Cool. Where'd you go? Come on. It says management. Yeah, it'll say, ma oh, that says staff only. Yeah, you'll, you'll see a blue circle on the ground. It'll say management. Because you know what I did? I already went in and took a photograph because you get to take a photograph of the safe and then give it to Lester. That's what you get to do. 
It's over here somewhere. One of these freaking doors, man. Freaking casino so big. I get lost. I <laughs> believe it or not, folks. Andy, I get lost. But it's one of these ways, that's restroom. You see one that says management? Restroom. Oh, you know what? Come over here, this restroom. Oh, that way? Oh, no, you already, did you do the ones from the movie studio where you got the Indian headdress out of that stupid restroom over there? When you had to go do Solomon, the guy at the movie studio. Oh, come over here and get this. Well, you might have to go talk to him first. You haven't gone talk to the dude. If you go talk to the dude at the movie studio, he's going to have you go around and pick up all those um, shit. That's how you get that thorax the alien dude. And one of those is a headdress and a other bathroom over there. But this, we're going to go into the mission. Yeah. We're going to the mission. We'll do this. Hold on. i got to press E. And that's going to put us in the cutscene. And hey, welcome back, man. Is that engine maxed out? AIE, <laughs> AIE, yeah, she, I even asked her, bro, because that sure sounds like it was revving like a mofo, huh? Sounds like I was going to blow that thing up, man. All right, so we're going to, um, we're from current session. going to bite. Cool. She's invited. Alright. See if she joins. There it is. She's joined. And we're going to play. This is so funny because when I started this with She Devil Jupiter, I'm sitting there talking to people in the stream, and your character smacks me and tells me to pay attention to this lady. And I'm like, that's typical, man. That's what I'm talking on the stream. She Devil even typed to this thing. Well, shut up. She's trying to tell us stuff, Sarge. So it's so it's so funny, yeah, because your character like is like your character sort of in. runs everything. You can sort of see oh, that. Good. You know what Thank I mean? Thank you like, for you coming. Keep me in line. I think I mentioned we have some ownership problems. Mr. Duggan. Exactly. Yeah, you're standing Duggan in front. Family. A little bit more of the front place, than I am. First, they mean to destroy it so they can rebrand it. Like a body it, language off all thing. Its debts I can and get it cheap, then turn it into a tacky dump. I feel awful asking See, you're for paying attention. Help, Look, <laughs> and did you smack me and tell me to pay attention? You're trying to avoid a trade war or an international dispute. <laughs> oh, the Chengzhou are so considered respectable like, businessmen. <laughs> They're not. The Chinese government cannot stand them. I know, but they pay me to say that. At the same time, Tao, Tao Cheng, our owner, who you met, has disappeared. And then I'm like all <sighs> leery about wanting to do Cheng this shit, and you like days. totally agree no to go deal. out and do this mission. Party few crash car and everything's fine when I write a few checks but this time he go out to score crystal and he don't come back he said something about a contact in the desert a meth dealer he had met and now we think he's been kidnapped by some bikers out near sandy shores really the last thing we need another scandal is there any way you can head out there and have a look for him <laughs> champagne anyone Yeah, so you're like, you're like, <laughs> see, let's kill everything. All right, well, let's, let's see if that's what we have to do first, because, you know what I mean? Except for let's not kill, what's his name, the dude we got to go rescue. How's that? Do we not kill him? Oh, and did you notice what happened inside the casino? Did you notice inside the casino what it looks like? The diamonds? Do you notice the diamonds? Hold okay, on, on, hold we on, think Mr. Chang is at an old down, abandoned motel in Sandy it. Shores, and hopefully alive, too. Calm down. Calm it's down. still not clear if this is a kidnapping or an extended after party. Yeah. It's probably a bit of both. Yeah. But we, we need him back here at the casino as soon as possible. The oh, Duggins have take... stepped up their takeover attempt, and we need our owner here to keep things calm. Okay. No matter how wired he might be. Look at that. We're I don't think the Duggins are behind the kidnapping itself. The They're major investors so in a private military company, so if they wanted Tao taken, they have plenty of big men with guns to do it. No, these are just regular old meth-dealing bikers right. who are not going to like seeing you show up to spoil the fun. All right. Please, just find Tao and bring him back here. All right. Take a deep breath, Jupiter. Everything's okay. Calm down. Calm down, soldier. Calm down. 
Ah, uh, there, there, you're gonna be fine. Slow down, there you go, slow down. It's okay. Aliens aren't invading Earth, the meteor's not coming. We just have to go get this guy from some freaking mess fighters, right? <laughs> the fate of the free world does not hinge. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, damn it, I'm listening to you talk and then you made me miss the exit. Shut up! <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, yeah. The fate of the free world is not in. So when we get there, let's make a plan. Let's not just drive up there guns blazing, okay? Let's just like stop, formulate a plan, like getting out and, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> fuck you. No, 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 soldier. Damn it, this is too reminiscent of Hell She Devil, man. Yeah, this is like, take a deep breath, stop a little bit back, and we'll like, you know, make sure we cover our bases. And... Okay, there we go. Calm down. Calm down. You ready? Alright, calm down, folks. I gotta get my weapon out, man. Don't, I, I gotta get my weapon out. He's going all, he's going all fucking lazy. Ow. Alright, don't destroy everything that moves because we don't want to kill this guy, right? We gotta find this guy. We don't want to kill him. Okay, so try not to kill everything that moves. Right? Only half the shit that moves, right? Is that cool? Oh, there's a nice pot plant up here. Taking care of those guys, I'm looking for. Will you stop fucking shooting me? <laughs> fucking crazy lady. Hey, got trigger happy on me, folks. I'm not the bad guy. Bad guys would be the ones shooting at us. Just to sort of let give you a like a what's up. Just out of for shit and giggles. Oh, that's the van I want. Oh my god, I want that van right there. Oh my god, I gotta get this van. I don't care about the mission. I want the van. I want that van. I want that slam van. Look at her, man. She's like, Got him? Shit, I gotta put my armor on. Hold on. Alright, let's go get him. Couple more. Find that doctor, the dude yet? The Kang dude? I don't see him yet. Got him? Dude, he's got a fucking pipe wrench, dog. I got a fucking LMG, man. What do you think the outcome of this is gonna be? I think I already know, but I'll tell ya. Got him? this truck right here. Can I take this truck? Oh my god. 
He, I know he called you. I know what he called you. I want this. I want to keep this. Okay, I want to keep this. I want this truck. I want that truck. I'm keeping this truck. I don't care what I gotta do. I don't care. If we have, I don't care about this mission. I want this truck. <laughs> I want that truck. Got to be a way to keep it. Got to be a way. I'm gonna figure it out. Through this mission. One more. There you go. Oh no, there's a couple more. Where the hell are these guys spawning from, man? That's what I want to know, huh? Got them? I want this slam van over here. I guess we'll have to look for this guy, huh? Gotta be in one of these stupid rooms here. Find him? You ain't welcome around here, chump. Hmm. I haven't found him yet. A hell of a lot of NPCs. Is that him talking? I'm talking to one of these other idiots talking. Fuck you and your mama. I think they just keep spawning until we find this guy. Oh, nope, there we go. Found him. He's over there. Okay, cool. Alright. Where's he at? Got him? I want this van. Is he supposed to pick him up or what? I'm coming to you. Crap, I'm in a firefight. He's over there fighting these guys off. Got him? Alright, so what is this guy supposed to do? He's supposed to come to us. Yeah, put him in that slam van. Let me get this other one. Trying to figure out how we can keep these after the mission. See, they used to have, you could have an MOC and you could keep these slam vans. him over there in a the car. Alright, cool. Okay, following you. Yeah, because they won't mess with you, they'll mess with me. behind you.
I'm trying to keep him off of her. She's going so fast, she's going to be back to the hotel before I make it back. But you're doing great. He's alive. We're alive. We're doing really good on this mission. We did all the guys we had to kill. And I picked up $455 too. Yes, yeah, so maybe it's the guy we bought the we bought the penthouse from. I should call it half. So. See, but they are coming after me, so that keeps her. Don't trigger it yet. Like stop before you get there and let me get up there with you. Yeah, don't trigger it. Please. That way I pull up there with you. Is I want to be able to park this car and see if it's going to be outside when we come outside. It probably won't be, but this is the one that you have a 0.009% chance of winning as a mystery gift. Is this car right here? This one. We can come up with there. Oh, with you. Yeah, this is a mystery. This is a mystery one. Cool. He kicked ass. We gotta go over here to this dot. All right, here we go. Right here. See where she's at. Here we go. Perfect, Jupiter. That was cool, man. He lived. Thank he you. didn't die once. Well, we didn't die we at all. We are all really grateful. Nice. That worked out. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we do six of these missions, and then we get that armor well, and Enos with the thank machine you again. guns. And anyway. I hope this will be the last of it. I think and we actually make the get duggins. it. Go away. So see how fast these are? We'd be able to knock out the next five pretty quick, I bet you. Okay, cool. All right. And we got cash. Nice. <laughs> Look at her. Lots of cash, man. Well, we do in them all, we get a million dollars. When we do all six missions. We'll get a million bucks. So we got five more to do. And you see how fast they are. It doesn't take very long to do. At all. We knock these things out real quick. Those guys. We were effing those guys up so bad at that motel. I don't have to put one armor on that time. That was pretty cool. Man, she was rocketing them. Lasering them. It was like, it was funny. Yeah, I kept thinking, well, how many more of these guys, how many more ways are we going to get, man? Not that I complain. I got $455, too, from running around. So that was pretty cool. Everyone, huh? Wow, we got 19 likes so far in the video. Nice. You guys rock, man. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, AIE was asking if the engine was maxed out on that car, man. He said it sounded like a blender. Like, I said, dude, it to me it sounded like it wants to shift one more gear, man. It's like, that's why I was asking you. Um, oh, cool. You got everybody kicked. She's already kicked everybody out and everything, man. She's on her shit. Because they're not whitelisted, so it's we come back. All right, so you ready to do number two? Yep. Number two. Like hell yeah, you kitty. All right, let's go. I'm assuming we go over to her office and do the same thing. Yeah, that was so fast, man. I can't believe how fast that was. Easy peasy, man. Permission to beat your yeah. And you did you see what they did, right, Jupiter? Oh, wait, wait Stop till she comes in. Let me go put my money in the bank. I'm carrying more. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice little money here. Nice little chunk of change for frickin' 10 minutes. Where's she at? She's not here yet. Oh, did you see what they did over here? Because of Halloween? I'm assuming she saw this. Yeah, she's over there. Miss Jupiter. Oh, she's 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 doing shit. Let me give her a second. Oh, 
Oh, here we well, go. We're all grateful for the safe return yeah, of Mr. Chang. Big big I don't know how this place With would run without him. Is that a diamond? Anyway, it's good to see you yeah, doing your part to keep this Halloween. ship from sinking. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. All right, so I think we go to her office again and do the same thing. Did you spin the wheel, by the way? I don't know if you spin, spun your wheel or not. I'm not forcing you to, but I can't remember if you spun it. Right, let's go, go to her office and we'll hit up number two. Nice. Do you remember where her office was? I've already lost it yet. Oh, it's this way. Go, and then over here. Alright. Go. This way, that way, this way. Okay, that's not it. That's the restroom, that's not it. Shit balls. That's the restroom. I think it's over here, right? The other side over there? Yeah. Uh, ah, management. Okay, so we're, um... Now, hold on. Do we need to go talk to her or what? I'm not sure how we, what do we do to do the next mission. I'm not sure how this works. Hi, sir. Yeah, go whatever. Ahead, Agatha can see you now. Hello again. Forget something? No. Well, I didn't forget anything. Are you going to eat? All right. Go eat. I'll figure out how to do this next mission. Move away from there, please. All right, so how do we trigger the next mission for the casino? Goodbye. You guys know? Thank you. Have a good one. So I go over here. Are they over here somewhere? I gotta wait for her. How long does that take, bro? I am with her. How long does that take? I mean, does that take like a day, an hour, 20 minutes? Can we speed it up? Any way to speed it up? That's how you got my club. I really was at my club and everything else. Hi there. Get your solo body and trap yourself in the Break the machine. Broke that, broke it. Oh, my God, sorry.
Thomas is like, you must have broke the machine, so yes, I guess uh, I gotta do my YouTube here because I'm behind online. So is it ever gonna stop? <laughs> They're just gonna keep going like this. Alright, has anybody ever had this happen to them? What do we do at this point? Thomas is like, nope, Sarge, you're... Sarge, if anybody can do it, Sarge can do it, huh? All right, if anybody can break it, Sarge will break it, correct? We're gonna do sit here for a few minutes and see what happens to the machine. Hey, maybe we'll hit three diamonds, huh? Funny, huh? Well, I am with her. What do you think, man? It's a virtual slot machine. How do they break it? You think they could do anything wrong, Sarge could, huh? I'm telling you, man. It's a virtual freaking machine. I wish that Jupiter comes back. He's gonna be pissed off. He's gonna be pissed. Good slot machine. All right. Anybody um suggesting? <laughs> suggesting? I figured about you know if I just hung out for a second, it would just like go to normal. Chat works. All right, the chat works. And it says pulse. That's rules, but what about this pulse? What the hell is pulse really just talking about? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, get three diamonds. Get something, you ding dong. Yeah, that's rules. I don't want that. That's like bizarre, man. I don't know how I can. I don't know how everything's working, but the slot machines is going crazy out here. Come on, man. Not funny. Joseph's all clapping. We rescued him, Joseph, so it's a good thing. 
I'm just tripping on what's going on with my uh, slot machine. You seem to be stuck. game will just like unglitch itself if we just sit here and wait for when Jupiter's going to go get something to eat. So I'm hoping it'll like pop and then unglitch itself. Pretty funny, huh? If anybody can break the game, Sarge can break the game, huh? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, but it's weird that some keys work and other keys don't. That's why I can't figure out what's going on. Been doing? I'm like, uh, stuck at the, stuck at the slot machine. You'd be like, what? Uh, stuck at the slot machine. Yeah. Yeah, I can't figure out how to unstick myself, other than quitting my game. I can't even get in the escape key to get into the menu to like, start another session. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm stuck in the slot machine. Welcome back, by the way, Jupiter. I'm stuck at the slot machine with the, with the dials just going around in a circle. Unless they're getting rid of land on three diamonds. Yeah, I'm like really stuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just joking that I'm stuck. Come over here and watch. Come over here and look. Well, come here and look. It's the, the dials are just spinning around on the slot machine. It's hilarious. We I've never seen this before. Yeah, I spun the handle and then... <laughs> Isn't it hilarious? <laughs> I asked everybody, how do you fix that? Oh, okay, Gonzalez, thank you for watching my videos for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Is there, is, there a way of, is there a way of fixing it without getting too stupid? 
Or should I just wait for it? It's going to kick me for being idle. You want me to wait for me to kick me and then join your session again? I'm just hoping it'll land on three diamonds. <laughs> That's why I haven't touched it. Because I'm like, well, maybe it's going to land on three diamonds. I might get 2.5 million, man. Shit. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm like messing with all my keys and I am definitely like in stuck mode. Literally, since you left, I came down here and I played one, and then I went to play the second one and been sitting here, so. If you can figure something out, that's cool. Anyway. Never had this happen. Oh. I'll get invited to somebody's apartment. I'm nervous. I don't know whose apartment I'm in. Uh -oh. Mystery. Mystery. Mystery person. Are they downstairs? Are they waiting for me in the boobois? Oh. No boobois no here. Oh. Wow, I got 86. I got 86, man. Oh, I know what she did. She invited me to her place, and that kicked me out of the casino. All right, cool. All right. So we gotta wait for Miss that lady to call us. Oh, here she comes. Hello. I'm sorry. Something else has come up. Can Good. you please come back to my office? All right. Here we go. So, I'll um gonna come back to the casino right now. Meet you right there. So we got mission number two. That's good timing then. Yes! Yes! Oh, sorry. I knew that sounded a little bit weird, but she was saying no, no, and I was saying yes, yes, but did her no, no really mean no, no, or was it like a no, yes, no, no? You know what I mean? A yes, no. That type of no, no. You know what I mean. All right, so I'm going to come back to the casino and we're going to do another mission. You ready? What did you eat? What was, what was for chow? Fire in my blood enough. Warmed up some chicken? Wow. Yeah, Jupiter, she has free ranging chickens. So what she does sometimes when she gets home, folks, she feels a little crazy. So she'll put on her shorts and a little halter top and go out there and grab a chicken and wring its neck and just like pluck the best, best feathers, like lickety split, and then grill that sucker outside, man. She makes it, she gets the whole survival thing going on. Like the whole naked and afraid thing going on. She, that, she told me she does that shit. Just to let you guys know. But, okay, I'm glad that the, um, Videos helped out for you on the Wildlands. <laughs> that show was so much fun, man. I love watching that. All right, where are you at? Let me go find you so we can go do this mission. Thanks for rescuing me, by the way. From the fate worse than death. That's a good trick to bite me in your apartment. That works fine. Right All right, she's over here somewhere. I'm, I'm coming to you. Yeah, so apparently it's only a couple minutes in between her calling us. Literally like 10, 15 minutes or whatever between the calls. So that won't be it. Oh, oh listen to the song. Hi there. You are my fire, my one. You are my fire. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh, that. This is the one I sing for AIE. This is AIE in my song. Man. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a sad mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way mm, You are my fire, my one 
That one? That song, right? That's AI. AIE. Yeah, he's laughing. That's our song, man. Can't take that away from us. They can't take that away from us, AIE. Huh. <laughs> he's laughing his ass off, man. Okay, where's this lady's office at, man? Let me go see if I can find her office. I'm always lost. Where's management? Tell me why it's nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it's nothing but a sad mistake. Tell me why I never wanted to be safe. I want it that way. I gotta make up a video for that, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to think of a good video that I can do, like some little montage video where I can use that song. Man. Oh my god, I'm back at that. You know what? First thing I gotta do is learn how to get to this lady's office. I think that would probably, because I'm like totally fucking lost and trying to get to her office. That's like the crazy, that's like the funniest thing. I can never get to this woman's office. Don't you laugh. It's like, I'm right next to the door, you dumb shit. All right. Mission number two. Should you accept it? Are oh, you doing the El Pupo one? Ah, oh, hell yeah, man. El Pupo's easy, man. All right, so we're going to go one and a half times cash. Um, we're going to buy our armor. Keep her the armor. Confirm the settings. Current session. She's gonna join, and we're gonna knock this puppy out. Yeah, I said to an invite. So when you give it a chance, you put her just there. She goes. She joined up. You always make sure everybody says join first. Don't start the mission. Just because you sent them an invite, that doesn't mean they accepted it. So if you launch the mission, you're going to hose them. They're going to say, what happened? You're going to say, what happened? Everybody's going to uh, say, what happened? Here they are. Hey, I'm so glad you came. So I presume you've read some of the bad press we are getting or heard yep. the news. Yes, it's a real problem. And we've got the best security in the city. Which is why it's a setup. Indeed, it's a setup, madam. My team and I are doing our best, but we have to be vigilant. You don't want any problematic Check out this homeboy, uh, man. George, huh. Check I him love, out. No, I love his hair, don't. man. Not anymore. Fucking guy's hair is cool. cannot afford any additional lawsuits. Well, our acquaintances here look innocuous enough. And from what I understand, they can handle themselves. So how about we take a little tour and deal with any miscreants? Miscreant. Interesting word. Very. What would you like me to call the assholes the Duggins pay to start fights? Whatever you like. But stop them as soon as you can. And next time, how about not letting them in? My friends, shall we perambulate around the campus? Uh, before what? you go... Yeah, he's got a real champagne? deep voice. Dude, this guy always wants us to drink champagne, huh? He's got the Barry White voice going on. Love is in the air. Can you feel it every way? All right, follow Vincent. You know what's happening, right? Uh, the Duggins no. are paying people to start fights. All They're right. happening all week. And cool. social media is starting to take notice. Okay. Looks clear over here. Right. Kill. Let's head over to the main floor. All right. We are. We're right behind you, Vincent. Disorderly conduct blemishes you must our eat a lot of fucking carbs, bro. Like, what do you like? And it could put us out of business Way entirely. like, I don't know, like 245, Come on, really? 260. Whoa, the sorry, bro. Didn't mean to get up in here. Knock out the hillbillies. We gotta knock them out? Alright, cool. Ready? Oh, sorry. Get him? One more. I went right there. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, they even got the podium car there. Oh, he's gonna steal the car. Oh my god. 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 Here we are at the casino. 
<laughs> oh, we get. Oh, see, I want jackets like these, man. He's got like a bat. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, this is hilarious. Hold on, let me put my first person. Where'd they go? Oh my god, this is hilarious, man. Oh shit, balls! Fuck me, man. Oh shit, man. God damn it. <laughs> Can't even stay on this effing freaking bike, man. It's like a stupid bike. What the? Yeah, let me, like. Ah shit, man. What the hell did. I'm trying to get on the bike and some guy just shot me. God damn it. All right, are you on the car? All right, I see it, I see the dot. Got the car? All right, hold on, wait for me, wait for me. Wait for me to catch up to you. I'm down the LA River, I'm right below you. Jupiter, coming right up on you. Oh no, no, stay where you're at. Just stay there, don't. I'm trying to come to you, hold on. Damn, man. I'm trying, I'm trying, man. I'm stuck here. I'm over here by the LA. There you are. See? Where are you at? You in the river? Are you down in the river? I'll come to you. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck you're at. You're on the road? How the fuck am I supposed to get up on the road? Oh my god. This is like insane. Let me try to figure out how to get up. Oh, here we go. I'm out. I'm out. Alright, up up on top. Gotcha. That was insane, man. I couldn't figure out where you were. Coming to you. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, we gotta stick together to do the mission. We can't separate. You want me to drive? Huh? All right. Well, just don't wreck the car. Yeah, just don't wreck it. I'm not worried about the bad guys. Fuck the bad guys. I don't want to wreck the car. I can say I can deal with the bad guys. Yeah, just don't. Get the logic is not to get the car wrecked. But yeah, these guys. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about them. This is a nice car. Yeah. See, there's nobody chasing us. Just to go get resprayed and then, yeah. That's all. It's easy. But you want me to drive? After we get we gotta get it repaired. And then not get it damaged afterwards. Quit snorting cocaine. <laughs> Alright. In other words, I just want to make sure we do this mission straight up. Are you following me? These are all Bring my missions, right? Bring it back to the correct, right? We're on the same page, right? Everything's straight up. Bring it back to the casino and pay me the papers and we'll pick this up. Make sure. Easy now. We don't want to dance. It's all over. Mission's all over. So we're going to use drive back over here, drop it off. Number two. Ah, 
I love this car, man. And I like the paint. Just the burnt orange, I think it's called. The dark one. You rock. Easy over there. Don't no, keep going. No, no, no. See the dot. Where we gotta go. Yeah. Right here. Perv. You rock. And look at our cars are here too. Our, your what fucking car, my car, is badass. Business. You see how close Thank they you. are. Thank the you for your help. Well done. I think we managed to quell the unfortunate ah, rock, uprising, Jupiter, man. Thanks. Well done, that Vincent. So. Any ideas? I imagine that happened so fast. To besmirch the good name I got my ass kicked, uh, man. Yeah, Yo, we know that. Sorry to interrupt here, Brucey Kibbutz. Can we talk about health and wellness for a second here? Excuse me? Bruce, my Kibbutz, back tire got shot off the on the bike. Is what happened? So I was right on the now. rim. I'm kind of busy. So I was trying to drive that fucking bike and it wanted to keep spinning around in a circle. So it's like shit, man. I gotta dump this bike and get a car, man. And then I thought you were down in the LA River. So that's why I anyway, jumped down in the river. Thank I thought, oh, you. down in the LA Again, River. I hope I don't have to ask for your further assistance. Oh yeah, you will. I I shall. Yeah, so that's not what she's down in the river because I saw the dot. Where you rock? That was easy. So it'd be like 10 more minutes and we'll do the next one. Because she calls about every 10 minutes. That's a pretty good timetable. Oh, I can't believe how close our cars are matched still in color and everything. Alright, so that's number two. So four more to go. And that was like. They had my bike not blown the tire on the back. I could have kept up with you. I was doing okay until one of them hillbillies shot my tire out. Bastards. car oh she's got to join me again I guess we somehow we are not in the same session so yep she'll be back we'll go, we'll go knock out number three I think Mrs. Baker will be in touch too cool The solo challenges are so hard. Yeah, you can always use your AI, Cade. Your AI are pretty good about helping you. But if you follow my videos, you'll be fine. I've yet to have anybody who follows my video who has not been able to do the challenges, ever. So, you'll be fine. Yeah, I thought I would spin a little bit of casino cash. If you guys never see me spin on the casino, right? If it stays foggy, we can go out and do the big the Sasquatch because I already know what that fight is.
Are you busy? There's been a development with the attempted buyout, and we may need your help. Please swing by my office as soon as you can. Welcome back. Alright, so she already called us already. So we're going there and do number three. You're never going to make a spot for hills of this race. That was so fast, man. Look who it is! Del Perro Bull. Just try to let me keep up with you, Miss Speed Demon. <laughs> Shit. Make me feel like a rookie. Oh, shit. More than I am. You know, bum, man. Oh, shit. A reminder to our VIP members. Take advantage of our luxury. See, uh, LA Joseph, that's what and you and Thomas services. really have in common, man. You guys like all those cars and you know about all the cars in the real world and all that crap. So, you guys do have that in common. You are here, right? I believe you, I believe she's here. I don't know what happened. My stream stopped for a second. So sorry. It, it should come back up. Alright, thank you, invite. I don't know why it stopped for a second, but I just started the stream again. So, should be fine. My pulse for a second there, but yep. As soon as you join Jupiter, we'll be rocking. All right, good. All right, she's joined. Go on, and do this one. Go. Cool. Here we go. Yeah, let me check it out, Sophie Mia. That was fast. Nihal. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Listen, Mr. What's Chang wrong? has agreed to a meeting with the Duggan family. What's I'm wrong? worried. It's a very Jupiter? complex situation. They're clearly what? not above some fairly heavy tactics. And given the dubious nature of the Chang's fortune, I can't really ask <laughs> Jesus. for help. Jesus. Can you come Christ. with us? You Thank sure? That's funny. You sure? Everything's okay? You sure? Absolutely. It you don't have to pee or anything? You don't have to go pee? Personal train of Poop? <laughs> very excited. Very angry. Lots of exercise. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Juiced up meth head and an angry pair of Texans. Debbie, can you I have two you were cards tell me that. I can't do the mission yet. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I gotta, I'm trying to pinch it off. All right. There we go. This is number three. These are actually pretty fast. 
All right, I'm gonna drive though. <laughs> Who's driving? Who's in Take the us car? to the model one. Oh, thank God. You know what we are doing there? <laughs> we are meeting Avery okay, and Dalton Duggan, Texas muffin. investors. Slow down. Slow down. They've been down. trying to you buy the go casino. Slow. We gotta stick together, man. This is a teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more. Don't talk, not Mr. Chen. It's a race, and I'm fucking racing against some methods. stranger. In they have been very aggressive. Yeah, you can. Very go. dishonest. You gotta stick together, man. People want to see us together. With dirty tricks. They don't want to see us together. They were behind all the bad behavior at the diamond recently. Except for Mr. Chang's. Oh my God! We are getting God's stuff time. done, but we, I'm Mr. entertaining is people. His it's entertainment. They are very heavy. It's not you racing around. It's me entertaining my nine thousand subscribers. Nine thousand people. Okay, it's not about you and I. It's about all people, right, that are watching that are watching afterwards. Do they want to see the action? They want to see you. I mean, I'm mind right behind you, body. but so far, I don't want to lose you. Like the last time, you went and got the car, and nobody got to see drugs, what happened. And very they were ready to go back to the casino, and the mission has been over. That's not. You see, it's my stream. It's not angry. your stream. So you got to let These me pills, run the stream. Not they're you. They're worse than the crank. Right? Don't get upset. No, you have to be sorry either. I, I love your enthusiasm. Mr. Chang is like very excited. Devil, but I have to rein her back. It is a very important meeting. Americans keep, gambling and alcohol addictions in the name so of entertainment and of peace. Thing yeah. with whatever you're doing to keep people from joining, or somebody's doing something. So whatever you're doing, you might have to stop because you're knocking my stream offline. Oh, what do you think? What do you? Well, it's something because you're you're rubber banning. Your car's rubber banning. So something to do with some. Uh, no, but I'm just saying. Okay, so something else is happening. All right, let me go in front. Let me fuck. Let me. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay, because I can only go. Our game will only be as fast as the slowest person in the game. See, when I would play with She Devil, she's in India. It's the same thing. I'll, I'll get like this weird rubber banding, then I think it's me, but I know what it is now. See, our clients have to keep up, right? We have to stay in sync because we're both basically seeing the same thing. Yeah, so, yeah, correct. Right, so what happens is the server has to constantly push the packets, and if you're dropping a packet, we'll get that little bit of a hiccup, that's all. But why my stream is dropping, I'm not quite sure. That's, I thought it might be something to do with um, you might have been working some magic or something. Yeah, see, it's not, it keeps saying that we're not getting enough bandwidth, but I have it at 7.9 megabytes per second. So I know that's not it. So, so I apologize, everybody, if the stream gets bonky, but we'll just keep pressing on and put it back on. We're not doing anything on our end, I guarantee you. It's just GTA 5. Whoa. That was close, Jupiter. Yeah, just GTA 5 is what it is. It's just their servers and I mean, nothing we could do. It's okay, it's not bad, but yeah, for some reason my bandwidth is bouncing all over the place, which is bizarre. But anyways, besides that, folks, just sit back, relax. And don't go slow down, slow down a little bit. There, stud muffins, I don't lose you. How could you lose me? You're right behind me, Sarge. Fuck it with you. Fuck it with your head. No, I don't want to kill these people. I don't want, like, you know what I mean? Because I don't know what's going to go on. You don't know what's going to go on. We're driving, and next you know, we can have attack helicopters or roadblock or, you know what I mean? Right? So I haven't played these, and you haven't played these, so like, I want to, you know, make sure we don't... I like to do everything flawless. I got pissed because I died last time, so I don't like to die. So when I die, it pisses me off. Because then I feel like I'm not gonna do my shit right. Even though, again, I have no control over the tire and get blown out on that vehicle, that sort of stuff down. But there's gotta be something that's gonna happen. I can't believe we're just gonna drive these people up to this winery and nothing's gonna happen, because I think that's where we're going, is a winery. I can't believe nothing's gonna happen. But we have plenty of time. 
I know you're, you know, you're watching. Ah, time. it's up here. We are almost there. I gotta put body armor on, so stop for a second so I can put my armor on. Thanks. Make sure you have body armor on, you got me your max armor on. Just in case. I have a feeling we're gonna get in a firefight when we get up here. Maybe not, but I, I have a feeling we are. Someone stole my bike. Alright, I'm ready. What's wrong with people? But just I just have a feeling there's something. I can't believe we're just gonna drive these people to a meeting and that's the mission. Uh, you know that, right? right? Something's so gonna happen. I use this stuff myself. So just be ready, folks. And, and anyway, yeah, just be ready bike, and yeah. just in case we have to I'm drive off and save their asses or I came back, the bike. we don't know what's gonna happen, Before we just know asked, something no, is gonna happen. Might go into a cutscene. We don't know. So slow down a little bit, we'll pull it together. You can park up there. Yeah, something's going on. We got mission. You gotta pull up a little bit. Yeah, you gotta pull up some. So I can pull up next to you. Oh, you can't? Alright, hold on. They're here. They're waiting for you out on the terrace if you wanna follow me. You know something's Jesus. gonna be happening, so be careful. Let's see Just what be all ready. private military investments have got them. So glad you could come to the vineyard. A little Cabernet? No. I don't Want trust do these guys at all. Uh, excuse me, son? Want to do burpee? Box? <laughs> uh, neither me nor my nephew have a problem that I'm aware of. We love China. Always have. <laughs> Ever since I ate my first egg roll. Looks like well, Ted see, Turner. I never liked eggs. And an egg uh. roll don't have eggs in it. <laughs> I thought to myself, I like China. I just did. What my uncle was trying to say is... Excuse me. <laughs> I was not finished. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's not a problem, Thornton. Well, now, boy, you're going to sell us your casino. Don't get no confusion about that. See, I want it, so all we're here to discuss is a fair price. You can't Mr. Chang's very sorry, but... Casinos funny business and well, not for sale. You boys are making a very big mistake. Thornton, will you excuse us for a moment? Uh oh. And why don't you take Miss Uh oh. It is Miss, ain't it? Uh oh. Miss Agatha Baker and show her the expansion proposals we were discussing. Okay, Uncle. I think I should stay. I strongly advise that you should leave. This is significantly above your pay grade. Very good. Just follow me, Miss. Oh, get ready. Get ready, Jupiter. I think shit's gonna get real here. A ball buster. Get ready. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Mr. Chen. Cap that motherfucker if you can, tape. man. Fuck this bitch up. I don't give two fucks about who your family is or how many ninjas you got up your sleeve. Am I making myself clear? Uh-oh. <laughs> Where I come from. You don't get to pull a gun unless you're willing to use it. Oh, hell yeah. Shoot you that know, motherfucker. Shoot him. In your Wang Chun, now, shoot that I motherfucker. Return, we will continue this conversation as gentlemen. Now, on second thought, I ain't a gentleman. See? Shoot the bastard. Get him, get him. Get that motherfucker, man. Get him. Butts a cap in their ass, Kill man. Him. we we'll show you how we do it downtown, bitches! Los Santos way! Hell yeah! Feel the wrath of the fury and the fury angst. Hell no, we're gonna fuck these bitches and hoes up, man! Bitches and hoes! Get up, come, come! Come get some! Got the left flank! Coming up! Get up! I'm a Christian soldier Wanting not to war Yeah! Ah! They got me! Ching Dao! Hold on. Translator and Chung's alive though. Chung Meister's alive. Don't let him go.
Try to put my armor on, man. I gotta try to put my fucking armor on. Come get them, bitches! God damn, man. I gotta put, I gotta put my armor on, man. Where are we going? Got him? Coming over here. Got him? You're a shit what you are, man. I'm a fucking Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies, bitch. Buy some. Buy my mint patties right now. Buy my mint patties. I will kick your ass. Buy them. Buy those mint patties, motherfucker. Hello, what's happening? Oh, nothing, Miss Baker. We're just negotiating the with the cowboy dude. Everything's going fine. Nothing to worry about. Beautiful day, beautiful negotiations. Lovely place, I'm telling you, man. But, oh, shit balls. Damn it. I ran out of lives. I forgot to fall back. Sorry. I'm going to have to do it again. Quick restart. <laughs> I forgot to put my freaking armor on, man. Yeah, page up. Quick restart. Go. Yeah, I forgot to put my armor on, man. It's all good. I'm telling you, you're blowing fucking shit up everywhere, man. Why can't I get my weapon, man? What the fuck? There it is. Come get them, bitches! Got him? Alright. I gotta put my armor on, hold on. My health is almost dead too. Alright, I'm ready. Ready. Cover me while I reload. Somebody fight me. Here they come. Flank him on the right. Hello, what's happening? Oh, nothing, Miss Baker. Just we're just chilling. We're in negotiation. It's called. We're in critical negotiation. Yeah, 
Critical negotiations, ma'am. We call this. Critical negotiations. Don't worry. It's all good. What hell happened? What happened to all the bad guys? We take all the came in, okay? Come on. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 I'm done it. <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> take us to Pacific Plus me. Country Club. All right. lay low. <laughs> Tell him don't lay low. Well, what was weird is all the vehicles, all the vehicles they disappeared. It was like, oh shit, a lot of vehicles here. That was incredible. Oh my god, Jupiter, that was a fucking that. I can't wait till the next ones. These are fun, and they said the doomsday ones are even harder to do. But you said you did those already. We got helicopters. Uh oh, we got a helicopter. Us. This is Can not going to them? end well. Shoot those motherfuckers. That's what I wanted to drive because I need to be better with shooting. The Duggins mean serious business. They don't know serious. They are dead oh, men. Shit, Me and man, Pussy kicked their ass. I'm not sure if Mr. Kibbutz is right man for that job. We're okay though. We're okay. 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 Rock radio. When is this going to end? It's a long way from gotcha. over. Now is war. I hope we can survive long enough for that. You hit them. Oh shit, balls. Sorry. I'm gonna have to put my armor on real quick here. I told Miss Baker to meet us there. Ah, good. Good work, so far back. Don't tell me, calm down. This is not your destination. Yeah, we're actually going faster than the NPCs. It did trigger the issue. Buddy, huh? Okay. I think we made it. Nice headshot. Oh hell yeah! Hey, Good how did the meeting go? Number three oh, down. Well, I only died one very, time. Not very well. That was incredible, man! I can't believe how many freaking guys we killed just now. See, that's why I said, if they have missions Jesus. like this, you know, I don't Even mind doing business school. Thank cool you shit. Help. Hell yeah. That was easy. Well, an easy money. So, number three, three more to go. Yeah, it's only taking an hour to do three of them. It's only 7, 16. Nice. Joseph likes uh, the offices, office manager, Mrs. Baker. He says they touch her, he's gonna beat their ass. So cool, that worked out fine. Yeah, I just keep forgetting to put my armor on. It takes a second for me to get in my menu and get my armor on, so. And I did better with the minigun the second time with the minigun was much better. I put out a lot more rounds faster because I don't have to reload. You know, LMG is nice, but I got to reload and they get up. They don't get up when I cap them with that minigun. They just go down and just like she has her zapper thing and rocket launcher. We were uh, we were kicking ass. That was fun. That was fucking fun. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfuckers. As... Oh, there's, there's another Die Hard movie coming out. You guys know that? Another Bruce Willis is doing another Die Hard movie. He's coming back. So that should be interesting, huh?
I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling extremely anxious about all of this. I need to try and keep Mr. Chang calm. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, I thought his name was Wang, not Chang. Sorry. <coughs> I thought his name was Mr. Wang. <coughs> Welcome back. Oh, it's not back yet. Alright, so this is the car, the podium car. Whoa. Continued to worsen. I think the grad school term is a clusterfuck. All right, back Come to, to my office, down. okay? There's a meeting that I need you at. Go. I may or may not be there. Back to the casino. Definitely armored mine too. All right, so we gotta go back to the casino. Keep her shows up. Welcome back. Ready for number four? Uh, you know. he already called already. No, man, they kicked my fucking ass, man. Those guys. They totally kicked my ass. Right, I believe we gotta go this way. Interested in a certain lifestyle? Visit the roof deck and make some new friends in a hot tub. to the wall and stay to the left and you'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Next, number four. Go. Alright. Let's keep the 
or an invite. Oh, these are going fast. All right, she joined, here we go. Go ahead and go to the casino high so I can that cool. See, I used to be caught up in material things. Sick rides, what luxury the hell? estate, snapmatic followers, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but I let all that go, yeah. Woo! This is a yeah. spiritual war, yeah, people! A spiritual it's war! Like stretching for your head. It's not about looking good without your shirt on. Well, you definitely will. It's about complete power. Oh my god. The whole experience. Ah, the Brucey's thing. truth, baby! Yeah! Now let's oh do another god. round! Well, this might be a spiritual yeah. war, but I can't know anything about it. So I'm just going to leave you all to it. Have, uh, have fun, I guess. Oh my god. Good luck. I'm going to inspect Hilarious. the kitchens. Oh, and for the record, I was not at this meeting. That's probably for the best. Take it easy. Yeah! Brucey Kibbutz. I don't believe we've been introduced, but yes, I am going to change your life. He's like, you uh, what's his name? These days, it's a mental it as well as a physical quest. Ouch. I'm so strong mentally, I could... I could... Break that just in half! Just with my mind. I could, but I won't. That would be dangerous. Mr. Chang's uncle. He's like a Van Diesel type guy almost. For your and assistance. He has What's the other? Uh, no, what's his name? We are Howie going Long. To war like a Howie. With Howie, the Long. Howie, Howie Long. Howie Mandel. Howie Long. Avery Duggan runs a the multinational corporation. The game Their principal show. interest in San Andreas is oil and gas. Currently, they have four tanker trucks in the city. You destroy them, then call us. Move to the big target, okay? Ah, good luck out there. I wish I could go with you, but we got another round to get in. Let's do it. You might not notice, but I'm also working on uh, the smallest muscle in my body. Oh my God. My brain. Uh, sharpen that tool, folks. Whoo! Hold that blade. All right. So we're gonna go destroy four tankers, and we're gonna get all of this guy, and we might have to go buy some more armor, maybe. We'll see. I might have enough. The main name. Play to win. All right, destroy the adversary's tankers. How do you want to do this? The oil tankers. Whoops. All right, let's hit them. They're um. Let's go get this one first. Hey. Whoops, A, it's on the freeway, it's on the interstate bias. You know they're headed south. Yeah, don't go that way, go this way. Go, goddamn fucking game, go over that way. That way. Oh shit balls, no. Fuck. What? She kicked me from her car. I was gonna get my speedo van. My speedo van has a machine gun on top. That's what I was gonna get. Was and we just drive around and use that to shoot. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, it's currently not available. So why did we lose that car? Why did you get here? Let's just grab a car. Here, come on. Time's a waste. Just grab anything. As long as you can shoot, right? Doesn't matter, correct? All right, yeah, let's jump in this one. We'll just take this. Okay. Oh, what happened? Hold on. Damn it. No, come here. We gotta do this together. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Jesus fucking Christ, I never seen anybody can't do shit as a fucking team, man. This is not an individual operation, okay? Now, you yeah, have the mark where we're going. That's how I would drive and you shoot, because you're a better shooter, I'm a better driver. So we're totally doing everything backwards. But that's cool, I'll let you drive. See, 
See, this way you can navigate better. See, because they're moving. So see, now we have to move. You know what I mean? You understand, right? Like one's over in the terminal. One's up by the oil field. You know where the oil field is? Let's go there, right here, up here. Correct. Where we got the helicopter, we stole the helicopter in the briefcase for the doomsday, so yeah, up there, perfect. Up here. He's gonna be up here somewhere. That's why I figured you have, you know, better weapons and you have to throw sticky bombs and grenades and all. No, you can, he's behind us, he's behind us. He's behind us. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, he's right, he's up here. And these oil fields right up here. Fucking, fucking NPCs, get the fuck out of my way! Sorry. Yeah, he's over here. He's right up here. He's right up here. car is not exact. This is the worst car for you to get for us to do this. This is the most squirreliest car that doesn't fucking... This is the worst car, man. This is it. Hichiwawa. We just need a normal car. Okay, there it is right there. See that? Go. Nice. Good work. Alright. Yeah. It hey, looks like you gotta take one? a truck. Three more to go. Yeah, this one's just real. This car is the wrong fucking car to do this. We cannot. You got a car that can't, is out of control. These are these cars are one of the worst fucking cars to drive in the fucking game. They're, they're, you know what I mean, they're like, your other car was perfect. The one you had was perfect. The other car handled well and everything. You know what I mean? I don't care if you love it. Who gives a fuck? We're going out and destroy. It's not a fashion show. We're not going to a car show. Jupiter, we're, we're, we need a car that handles that we can go destroy shit with. Not one that you can't fucking drive. Fuck, see, it's like, oh, I kind of love this. Okay, you know what? Then let's do this. You drive, I'll destroy them then. Since you love this car, because I can't drive it. I'm going all over the fucking road, man. Like I said, it's like... It doesn't handle at all because you got to That other car you have sticks to the road. That other car you have was, is like perfect. Yeah, this car is crap, man. All right, let me take this marker off. We don't need this. We don't need a marker on the map. Fuck. Oh, that's your mark. Okay, this guy's on the interstate, going down the interstate. Unless you want to go for the one down by the dock. Yeah, he's going, he's down on the interstate. Right there. What, don't throw bombs out of the... <laughs> oh my god. You're on the wrong freeway. Ah, we got 
something that's gonna work. No, you don't have to drop. Okay, just 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 kill the truck that we have to kill. <laughs> Buddy, in the game. Okay, calm down, this murderer. See, put it this way: if they took a hundred thousand dollars away from you for every NPC you killed that wasn't a target, I bet you guys would stop killing people in these games. Okay, he's on the cross bridge. We got to get off. Okay, go ahead and get off up here. And get off up here. Get off up here, and then go make a left. Keep going straight, keep going straight. Take that Y right over here to the left. There he is. Nope, keep going straight, keep going straight. He's right there. See the tank right there. You want to get him? Without killing up. Okay, you really have to slow down, man. What is the, what are you tripping on, man? Come on. Jupiter, man, come on, man. We're not. There's no timer. Do you see a timer on the screen? <laughs> Can we like put the bomb on him and drive away and then set it off? But your enthusiasm is nice, but... Why am I rushing you? Wait, wait, no. I'm not rushing you. I'm trying to get you to slow down. I'm not rushing you. There's no rush at all. You're hauling ass all over the place. I just want to go make sure we're on track to go destroy them. Yeah. No, okay. Like I said, you, I enjoy your enthusiasm. It's really good, but yeah, that's... I, we, only have, we don't have no lives left. See, so I want to die because we have to start the mission. Right? That makes sense. So you're doing fine. Drive away and blow the truck up. No, it's all good. Like I said, you're just you're just like she devil. You're very enthusiastic. I'd rather have somebody enthusiastic than not. You know what I mean? So now you're doing fine. Just, I didn't like your banshee because I couldn't drive it. <laughs> your banshee sucks. This would probably make more sense to have a bike or something. You could, that way you can roll up with all the fucking bombs. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing fine. Actually, you're doing better than fine. I, I don't want to say I'm impressed because then I will get a fucking swollen head. That's why I have to keep like trying to say, no, don't do that. You're quite amazing how well you can do the fight you that way. There we go, sir. Okay. Perfect. No, like I said, you, you do really, really, That's really it. well. You're you took out the whole network. Player. Now we have to <laughs> finish them <laughs> off. Um, they own the Los Santos Gas Company facility near the port. You're much faster. So this is a good way to keep up with you is if we stay on a fucking bike. So let's just go to the LP gas stuff <laughs> together. Armor? Yeah, I my armor's up. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. See? Now you're doing good. Now you're being like an NCO. You're protecting your soldiers and you're running your op. See? Good luck. You're doing perfect. None of this individual is here. Fuck that crap. Everybody knows we don't do that. Team. Together, everyone achieves more. That's what team stands for. There's no I in team, but there's an I in dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a me in team? 
No, there's no me in team, because that would be spelled backwards if you were to elect it. There's no me in team. No, 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 no. There's a T A. <laughs> a T E. Like a T E E. T D F. No, you're doing fine. Like I said, I, do it, so I gotta slow you down so everybody on the stream can enjoy. They are enjoying, by the way, Trev. Everybody enjoys their answers. We all do. But yeah, I'm like the cameraman, so if I can't kill them, I can kill them. Hold on, we got bad guys. Slow down, so I've got no proof. Oh, god damn, they shot me. You put it right in the fucking face, man. I mean, I, fade, I saw the bullet hit me right in the fucking... One shot, too. Full body armor. Oh, you mother fucking bullshit. Well, it's gonna start us right here. It'll start us, I think, at this part of the heist, is what it does. But yeah, right in the face, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah, page up, we'll just restart. But it should start from right here. I think that's how it does. We don't go all the way back. Remember how the, like, the, the Luxo one starts? We start each section, yeah. But man, full body armor, full health, one bullet. <laughs> <laughs> to the face because she stopped in time and everything she did everything perfect she stopped right where she said stop and everything let me put my other armor on that's it you took out the whole wait a second wait a second okay no we didn't take out anybody at all we didn't shoot anybody at all so what the fuck happened to all the bad guys Yeah, what the fuck happened to everybody? And where are you going? I just Alt F4 out of the mission. If you're gonna leave and do that, I'll just Alt F4 out of the game. So, uh, what, where are you going, man? What are you doing? This is a my, it's supposed to be me. Yeah, I'm standing here because I want to know where in the fuck are all the bad guys that were there a second ago. That's what I want to know. Where the fuck were all the bad guys that were there? You know what I mean? Like, when you start the mission again... This is like bizarre. All right, so, all right, so let's go over there again. That's like weird, cause we're actually here. Uh, this game's like driving me crazy. See what's wrong, there's this weird lag too. There's this weird rubber bandy lag thing going on. So it's like driving me, it's driving me crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's like, I'm getting a weird, like your character sort of freezes and we move and so yeah, it's, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell happened. Because it's right there, so I don't want to trigger it again and get killed again. So let me put my armor on. I mean, I literally had full body armor. I mean, full heavy armor, full health. Because it's right there, so be careful when you drive down the street. Because I don't know who killed me, but... That's why I'm tripping. I'm like, well, where the fuck are all the bad guys? Because... I don't see him on the map yet, so I guess you're right. We gotta go like two blocks and it's gonna trigger. Well, yeah, this one sucks. I thought maybe we beat it. You know how sometimes like when the cops are there and then you die and then you come back and the cops are gone? But I'm getting this weird delay, a weird delay in the game. You're not getting that, like a rubber bandy thing where you sort of move around and I don't want to go up there, man. Yeah, I'm getting it too. It's like a weird rubber bandy. And it was hard. See, well, as soon as we pulled over there, I died. Like, as soon as I got on the other side of the street. So I'm like, well, what the fuck just happened, man? Yeah, see? See how the car's getting the shit shot out of it? We're not even fucking close to these idiots, man. 
How the fuck is that? How, 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 are, we, how are we getting shot? Well, I know we can go kill them. I just don't know where they're shooting from, right? You know, I just don't know where I'm getting shot from. Does that make sense? Oh! Jeez. What the fuck? Alright. We're gonna separate. There's a tanker, you gotta get that tanker right there. I'm gonna take care of these guys down here. Let me get out. Man, this is bizarre, sorry. I don't mean to get um all bitchy, stupid, or I just don't know what the fuck's going on. They got this weird. I thought, well, maybe you killed everybody in my game switching. Because I've had Sea Devil say, can't you see these guys? Well, we're in the division because they're being, you know, I got the rubber band in India. Oh my god, no Sea Devil, I don't see anybody at all. Like, yeah, there's guys right here, I'm killing them. I'm like, yeah, I don't see anybody at all. So, I thought, I'm just different. that tanker? Is that a weird fucking thing? See the tanker? It's like driving up there on that bridge. It's gonna come by us. There's another one of those orange tankers we gotta get. You wanna go after it, go after it. You'll see it on the interstate. Oh, I see you. You're down there somewhere. Let's go. Okay, let me come up behind you. Yeah, if you want to go after one of those tankers. Yeah. Ah, shit balls, man. Sorry. Damn, man. I gotta get I gotta get armor on man my butt kick. I don't know how the hell you manage not to go through your armor so fast. Unless there's a shortcut key that I don't know about. What they are, they're snipers up on the building. That's what they are. In case you don't realize, that's we shoot man, that's the stupid snipers. Alright, you got that you gonna go after that tanker? Jupiter? I have to kill that last guy and get the helicopter. 